I'm Eric July, founder, owner, and writer. Welcome to the Riververse. The Riververse is the result of a comic book lifer that wanted to be a part of the solution instead of always griping about the problem. Now, don't get me wrong, this was always a part of my aspirations. However, the current climate certainly sped things up. You've watched some of your favorite comic book characters be bastardized to the point to where they're completely unrecognizable. They're just used as career stepping stones for a lot of writers that don't care about the lore. Some even despise their fans. Those are people that just want to tell stories that represent their social political views, even if they don't make sense for the characters that they're writing. And of course, these mega corporations that control these properties don't exactly make it easy for you to get in and understand what's canon. So maybe it's time for something new. We are a comic book company first and foremost that will never be forgotten no matter how big this venture gets. And we are guided by a set of principles known as the Ripperverse ethic. You will find this on a page in every single book that we release. And it's a set of standards that we certainly want you to hold us to. There are three main things that we will always emphasize. Number one, respect the customer. We aren't owed your dollar, but we'd love to have you as longtime supporters. It's going to be up to us to keep you interested and invested. Now, anytime there's passion involved, there's gonna be those conflicts, but we'll respect you, so as long as you respect us, it's all about reciprocity. Our second point of emphasis is canon and continuity. This is an ever-expanding universe. There's gonna be many of characters that will be introduced, but when you buy a book from us, you own a piece of history. It matters. These events will not be erased by way of time travel or some multiversal aspect. And number three, a comprehensive timeline. No matter when you jump into this space, we wanna make it easy for you to get caught up on some characters that you're interested in, so we're going to keep the reboots to a minimum. Now don't worry, we know that picking up the pieces is part of the fun, so we're not gonna exactly hold your hand. And while I personally value liberty, we're not gonna beat you over the head with on the nose current politics and current narratives. That will completely contradict what it is that we're trying to do here. So whether you're into our main character in our first book, I Sum, or you're into Yaira, or you're interested in, all of them will certainly have you as a customer. Your ethnic background or genetic makeup is wholly irrelevant to us. Now, previously being part of comic book fandoms myself, I understand the importance of them. We'll do our jobs to preserve the sanctity on the business end, and we hope you will help us preserve a more healthy and thriving fandom. If we manage to do that, we're going to be very competitive in this market, and we're going to make our mark on this industry. We're not gonna be perfect. Errors will be made, but we won't let that stop us from being great. So visit Ripperverse.com where we have our own unique store that is tailor-made for our audience. A lot of our stuff will be released in campaign format with limited edition items, and once they're gone, they're gone. We'll be making books that expand across many different genres, so I'm very confident that we'll have something that is right for you in a series that you'll make your favorite. And one last thing. I started this company with no external investors, and that's something that I like to remain true. Sure, we want to expand in many different avenues, video games, animation, maybe even live action movies, but not if it means selling off assets. We only answer to the customer. We don't want to make the same mistake as the other guys. Disparo a la cabeza Editado por Pierre Richard 
Well, I disagree with Gary. Uh, I, I like the binge model, and it comes down to good shows. Everybody's looking forward to the next season nope. of Cobra Kai. Kai. No, no, it it's all make, about it's all about. It doesn't quality. make them any it's money. It doesn't mean, Jeremy, that if Cobra Kai wasn't released weekly, that it would still have that same hunger for it to come back. Right. right. You, you, you you know what, what Gary's saying is that they can take, they can get a lot more bang for their buck. Stop making woke bullshit, and you can still release good stuff all through the year, and you don't need to prolong it because you're going to have good, good stuff. Like Squid the Game stream. became the yeah. biggest thing we've ever seen on the streaming platform, and it was it was the binge model. I agree. So you're saying we Game of Thrones would have been down. just as big if it was a binge model? Stop it doesn't matter. It. You can bring whatever excuse you want, but the point is, is it's not <laughs> what in the heck did I just walk into? <laughs> how do we get TV ratings? Fucking they, they how do, nobody has ever known how we get TV ratings, Nielsen ratings. What the fuck does that mean? But Gary don't want to ask questions on that because it fits his argument. <laughs> what argument are we this, having? Yeah, we need well, the empirical we, data. Uh, we need the numbers. Give me Odin, shit that I Odin, like. Odin, you dumb shit. Entre tanto. Sabes amor, yo nunca te he olvidado Te recuerdo en cada estrella siempre que aparece Sabes amor, Pollo. siempre te recuerdo yeah. Why the fuck do we care about helping companies that clearly fucking hate us? Listen you dumb cocksucker, this is not about giving Jeff Bezos more money Did Who this? fucking not because- cares? Shut the fuck up. But the do you have is, the numbers to support Jesus that? That's what I want to know. Again. Oh, oh Jesus oh, fucking shut, Christ. Shut the fuck up. I, I think I it's the best question. I don't oh, fucking God. work there, dipshit. <laughs> Odin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Continuará. <laughs> We are here. We are live. Are we? Whoa. Are we? I don't know. I have no oh, idea. Wait, wait. <laughs> I don't even know if people can hear the applause. So yeah, I, I, I'm dead. Yeah. yeah I, look, I'll, I'll on look. What end quote. Repeat the line. So oh, yeah, Friday yeah. night. <laughs> are we actually live? What is going on? In quote. Uh, we're live. Repeat. Yeah, we're he live. Had so, we he had so much enthusiasm when he said, "Repeat the line." Uh, <laughs> it was so Isn't bad. It- <laughs> uh, in the district of Karambamba. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I haven't done this before. Do we take off our clothes now or is that halfway through? That's after the show. Wait. Okay. Wait after after the, show. the intro. Okay. We, yeah. We, we, yeah. We wait for some uh, enough super chats. Uh, we, we just got to make it worth their while. So. <laughs> what the hell just happened to Gary? <laughs> Get, Gary, Gar- listen, uh, I, I, we're waiting until later in the show, but Gary is a strong supporter of Black Lives Matter. Yes. <laughs> so that's why yeah. he decided. There we go. <laughs> He's a month late. It was last <laughs> month. You're always late. Hey, no. Late. Uh, Black Lives Matter every day of the year. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> my right, Eric. Murder. My right. Very true. Very true. Wait, wait. wait this wait. is like what, like the two hundred fourth episode of this shit, or something like that. We Fine. still cannot yeah. get right. But are you a YouTuber if every stream you do doesn't suck just a little bit? Like, I mean, are you actually? I don't think YouTuber? so. I don't think I it's really not. streaming in that case. 
Dude, I was having a call with Ryan, uh, Ryan yesterday. I said, hey, we got to get this thing set up. I didn't know what it was. He goes, how the fuck did you grow your channel to the size it is? You don't know what the fuck. <laughs> yeah, J Jeremy, like, doesn't know what an RMTP server is. You know, for, like, on the back end for streaming. Uh, he, he sounded like Biden trying to get through a speech, trying to tell me what he thought RMTP servers were. So, well, I do like uh, your guys' bisexual lighting. I was I was commenting on that though. I have the twenty dollar Amazon portrait, but I didn't get the memo that we were supposed to have the Chinese uh, RGB lights. I feel yes. left out. No. Yes. Hey, I don't have uh, them either, so I'm I'm working on it. I'm getting my you bisexual have your own lighting up. Yeah, yeah, he has. Yeah. A, well, you'd usually have that man bun, which is yeah, far gayer gonna... than any amount of lights <laughs> we have. Wait, so. only when I need yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome uh... to Friday Night Tights, everybody. How you doing? <laughs> yes, we're going to talk about Thor shit and poop a little later, but um. <laughs> Well, uh, but we've got like some big announcements. We got some big guests, so let's uh, try to get through the intros in under two hours tonight, guys. Okay, <laughs> we'll see. I think we can get we'll see. As we'll isn't here. As isn't here. So that's true. <laughs> we usually forget him anyways. So I think it'll who? be the same. Forget who? Uh, it's like uh. a New Zealander, I think. Yeah, he took the day off to hang out with his brother. I don't know what that's about, okay. but. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I thought we were his brothers. Right, yeah, 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 really. That's not. Hey, man. Guess not. Uh, hi, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. How's it going? Hi, Gary from Nerdrotic. Uh, I suddenly agree with everybody on Twitter that hates you since you're wearing that stupid fucking shirt. Uh, I'm joining <laughs> your reply guys Better now. Together, uh, you are nothing but an angry grifter, and uh, I am joining the reply guy, the Gary Reply Guy Brigade. Uh, nice. So and uh, end quote, repeat the line. Uh, hi, Gary from <laughs> Nerdrotic. <laughs> it's Friday night tights. Let's get this party started. We've got black people or at least one black person. So that means we're not racist. Fuck. That's the only reason we have Ripa here. Thank you for joining Ripa. You can leave now. We're good. We're covered. Yeah, check the box. <laughs> the box is checked. Uh, you got the thumbnail. <laughs> Never mind, Ryan's here. We need to keep Ripa because Ryan will say yeah, something yeah. racist at, at any moment now. So we got to keep. Oh, it and Ryan's up. looking extra white tonight too. He really is. Yeah. Yeah. Like me? He's what like, do you mean? Yeah, yeah. The suspicious amount of whiteness <laughs> around Ryan today. Uh, you <laughs> glow. My filter. I don't know. <laughs> I heard somebody when Ripa was live. I was watching the stream. Someone was like. <laughs> Surprise. They said something like Ryan's gonna be unhappy. There's too many good too black, many good people, black people. Yeah, in the <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. In that trailer, Eric, I'm a little worried. <laughs> right? uh, it does look like there's a lot of representation there. Yeah, bro. I just I was promised that I that I would get to see myself in the Ripperverse. So I'm still I'm still holding on to that. So as long as I get to see a, a 33 year old man who is nearly canceled for his eight out of ten review of the Batman because he's so racist, <laughs> as long as that's in the Ripperverse, I'll be good. Oh man! <laughs> I got you. Oh man! I got you. But yeah, uh, I love it. I love it. We're happy. We um. Love seeing all of you in the chat and all that enthusiasm, man. And it's great, man. It's great seeing Rip alive earlier. And every time he brought up FNT, you know, everybody decided he was going to be on. So we got a lot to talk about. We got Elijah Schaefer here who didn't yeah. know who the Ooh. fuck I was when I came to the Blaze. He's like, I think I've met you. No, the fuck you have an Elijah. Don't yeah, play that Elijah bullshit looks, with me. <laughs> Elijah looks like, straight in my eyes. He's like, we've met, right? It's like. No, get out there. I pretend like I know what I'm talking about. I get paid just as just, an actor, right? That's what it is. The right wing grifter of, of the of the show. But no, I was gonna say I, I'm happy to be here. I'm glad that we uh, we got to meet in person and it was a really nice time on our uh, casting couch for the other types of stuff we record in the studio. Yeah. So you did a fantastic job in that number. We never got to see your face, but you know, it was, yeah. it was a big deal. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was mosaic. Fun, I, I guess it's less offensive to like pretend you've met someone when you haven't than it would be to like pretend like you're meeting them for the first time when it's like I've fucking seen you three times already. That's what I do. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, Elijah went the same route. Okay, but I feel like it's like when you come in the studio, it's like you're walking by and people say hello, and somehow you wonder if you just somehow missed it like if you were on a show and you were just confused and you didn't yeah. have a screen in front of you and you heard a voice and maybe you've even like been on tv together and you'd have no idea and you're like i did we meet before we met right and they're like 
no, we haven't, but my name is President <laughs> Donald Trump, and I'm, I'm here to come on, the, on your network. Like, oh, shit, I've seen you That's on TV. That's where <laughs> I know you. <laughs> you're the, you're the, some of them are, some of them are, are good people, guy. I know you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's me, Glenn Beck. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Gary. Uh, it's good to be here. Uh, Thor was an absolute fucking train wreck, which is, uh, at the end of the day, it's kind of what we expected. Mm -hmm. uh, we I want to give a shout out to Sports Wars because we just hit 125,000 subs Ooh. over there. Nice. Yeah. And we had our first million view video on Sports yes. Wars, too. Nice. So Ryan. Israel, Ryan did that. Yeah. Israel Putting Adesanya. Us in some heat. Israel Adesanya questioning, uh, what, where's the list? For the Maxwell trial, where is yes. the list at? Let so me just say, Ryan views. Kennel did not kill himself. I just want to say uh. that because he put a million views in three days yeah. on that topic, and I'm like, I need to find somebody else for Sports Wars. I don't yeah. think Ryan's gonna be around much longer. That was a lot back, of attention man. on that topic. It's That's like, true. Shit. That's true. I, I've said a million times, you know, I I am fully secure in my gender identity. In other words, I'm not suicidal. So um, I, I'm not going to kill myself, just so you guys know. It's funny you had something different to say when we were off here, though. I mean, you could have used a different example. Secure in your gender identity? I mean, dude. Yeah. Mm. Well, well, I'm, right. not, I'm not part of the 40%. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. It's 52% now. There Let's you go. go. Progress. And rise. <laughs> Yeah, no, that is awesome though, man. Ryan's crushing it over there on Sports Wars. Hell yeah, um, a million views in three days on that channel. It was wow. he, he hit me up and he's like, it's got like two hundred fifty thousand views overnight. And it's like, oh damn. I was like, that'll yeah. probably die off. I'm sure. Like as soon as it hit those numbers, like yeah, it's gonna flatline. It was no. still monetized. Too. Yeah, that's the crazy part. It so. made it through all of the uh, the shadow banning. I was like, oh boy, you're in another stratosphere right now. We gotta we gotta be prepared. Yeah, like a salty. Nice stratosphere there right. and i yes. also want it listen i know ripple was going to save this obviously the the launch of the rip reverse you guys saw it in the intro incredible if he gets ten thousand signups right ten thousand signups to the website to the rip reverse website eric july said he's going to shave his shoulders so <laughs> no oh, way f and t right. bringing the big no news <laughs> Damn. Stuff into a my yeah, let's do it right Damn. oh man Oh, why it's uh, not gonna like that? Oh well, yeah, Eric's gonna like my pillow. <laughs> He's not gonna, gonna like sheep it. Sheep shearer, straight up. Oh man, manscape. Oh, like man. <laughs> <laughs> They're like fluffy, you know. It's just like, yeah. it's like shoulder yeah. patches. Makes it look bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shoulder fro. You should shave it and then like have somebody knit it into something. Sell it as a specialty <laughs> item, Eric. <laughs> Right. Collector's <laughs> item, man. You saw his introductory pubes to trans people or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just tape them on, you know, South Park style. Oh, oh shit. Uh, Rip, uh, Rip has already learned the new ideas to monetize the Rip of Earth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Endless, endless amount. <laughs> Yo, uh, what's yeah. up, man? Yo, dude, we are going to fucking win. Ripa just popping off with this sick new Ripaverse. I can't wait to see it. So many people already excited. Like everywhere you go, it's like Twitter excited. Your stream earlier today excited right. as shit. The the chat right now excited as shit. Like, dude, it's it's gonna be epic. It is yeah. going to be epic, and it's great to see while every other comic book industry giant is going down 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 and making their shit worse and worse and diluted and they're almost embarrassed of their product at this point you're out here fucking making taking names Hell so yeah. i'm excited appreciate oh hey that. hey elijah what's up <laughs> <laughs> what's the last time i saw you wasn't i smashing a cake in your face because yeah i was the only person that even did anything for you for your birthday because like i mean that was the nicest thing anyone has done and i bought while. the cake that's true. <laughs> I was actually, I got these headphones on in the studio. I didn't know what happened to them because usually the ones that you use, we don't let anyone else touch for different reasons. Makes and I was sense. looking at the headphones. And I'm like, what is all this like white and red shit just like smeared into the sides? And I was like looking at it for a while. I'm like, I was trying Ruin to my clothes. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, did like a really gay person just like blow a load early or whatever? It's like a rainbow splooge on the side of the other things. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, that was when we pretended to care about Corner Black Yard on yeah, his birthday. For a second. <laughs> for a second. And then it was a fleeting second and it left. And we ate it so, though. I'm we glad ate, you we ate the cake off your face. So, you know, it was very, 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 very fun. So, I'm glad you're here, bro. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> glad, glad to be here, we, bro. We still don't know if it was splooge or not. Just yeah, it's a mystery. Don't ask face. questions. 
it's yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> uh, hi, Chrissy Mayer. Hi, hi, guys. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous to talk about Thor. I would be too if I liked it. Wow. <laughs> we need to. Yeah, we have to figure out what's wrong with me for liking it. That's you saw those things. You saw Hemsworth's ass, and it just yeah, like mesmerized you for the rest of the entire yeah. movie. Mm-hmm. Yep. <sighs> it was very memorable. But yeah. there was, you know, I, uh, well, I guess we'll get into it, but I cried like three times. Uh, yeah. What the oh, fuck? What? At what point? This is very, you know, are you a girl? Like you right are. away. Yeah, like right away. And oh, then, in the beginning. Yeah. And then later on twice. I feel like people just well, cry at the end when they realize they paid for a ticket to watch it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess this is my last show, everybody. It's been nice. No, it's <laughs> fine. I bought a ticket to Top Gun Maverick. So there you go. Tom Cruise. I, Psychology got my money, which is so I was much better than Disney. I was supposed to go see it yesterday. And I completely forgot to go. But Gary did send me a nice care package that I have not fully uh, checked out yet. But I appreciate it, Gary. So, no yeah, so I can't I can't speak speak to it too much, but uh, I will say go watch the terminal yeah. list. Go watch yeah. the terminal list. You can do that. Yes, the terminal list is fucking awesome. I was excited for that show to come out primarily because our good friend John Bartolo, who passed away, he had uh, former Navy SEAL Jack Carr on his show, who was the author of all those books. And that he was like talking about how excited he was for the release of it, about Chris Pratt, how he was perfect for the role. And so I thought, yeah, maybe it'll be OK. I was blown away by it. It was so much yep. better than I thought it was. One of the favorite things I've watched in the past year, for sure. One of the many things John Bartolo has has done for us, uh, and we're man, I can't wait to continue to tell everybody about that. But yeah, John was awesome. So rest in peace, brother. We miss you. It's only been, it's only yeah, been a, few, a little while since he's left us, but yeah, yeah John was awesome. Drinking out of his cup right now. So we love yeah. John. R.I.P. Um. But yeah, um, the that show is definitely good. But I think something else could be good is uh, some called the Ripaverse. That's what's gonna, <laughs> Woo! That's, gonna be kind that's of right. Cool. Yeah. What's yeah. up, yep. Mr. July? You got anything man uh, to the show? Yeah, this is obviously it's always fun being here. But yeah, today obviously it was a special one for us, and yeah, the reception has been insane uh, with this, with us dropping this. We, had, I mean, we it took. I talked about this on my stream earlier, how just trying to keep that like kind of close and not giving too much away, despite being always asked about it and people being more and more antsy. It was very difficult for me to do that. Um, and now people can see what what I was what the company really was sitting on. And, you know, people see and they're so stoked. So they're getting me more stoked. And I'm just glad everybody's liking what they see. And uh, we have an insane amount of, of, of sign ups already. Noti- uh, signed up for notifications uh we're closing in on seven thousand, which that's telling me right oh. there that I, I may have under ordered which i thought i over ordered uh <laughs> for the first batch which is not a problem we'll get it to you regardless uh a good problem to have yeah it's a, it's a, <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> it's, a it's a fantastic problem to have oh. <laughs> um for sure oh, but yeah i'm just glad everybody's liking <laughs> liking it we spent a lot of time the edit my editing team did a great job with it and yeah monday is the big day this was just a launching because i said i was going to give everybody like three days to because we have limited like edition items i didn't want people to kind of feel like they're missing out so we were going to give a date and monday is that date and you'll get another trailer about the the entire first book and everything and yeah it's off to the races then so i i'm stoked been asking questions about it all day today and it's been it's been a fun experience to kind of switch gears and turn that page finally and just kind of enter into that creation space so all the support we all have kind of merging audiences so everybody that's supporting from everybody's team that's here i appreciate y'all and thanks so much this is going a long way and i can't wait for you guys to see like the actual book gary seeing some of the characters and stuff you guys saw some of the characters uh and the the clips like uh within the actual trailer and yeah it's 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 legit you guys see that the art i think the whole big thing about this was that folks know that i'm not fucking around anymore like i think uh you know when you're a creative and you do something some people kind of try to write it off and they're like well he's just another guy just doing a little something something whereas they saw this they see the trailer they know we're not fuck. this is for real this is legit 
which is the whole point. I wanted people to understand that this is something I'm taking very, very seriously. So, again, thanks for the support, y'all. Appreciate y'all uh, uh, so much. And, yeah, y'all can keep signing up. We'll get you that email out first thing in the morning, and you guys can get what you get, – get in where you fit in and get what you want uh, going into Monday. Link in the oh, description. Yeah, yes. I, 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 I want to say, and before I say, I want to say, there's a comment from uh, Big Bad Beard that just came in. And I think oh, this no. kind of <laughs> captures everything. No, it's, it's good. It's good. It says, uh, I'm not a comic book fan, but after watching Eric's Ripaverse intro, I think <clears throat> I'll be getting my kids into some top quality, quote unquote, respect the customer craft. Let's fucking go. Hell and yeah, that's man. what it's all about right there. Like, this is transcending <laughs> yeah. shit like that. And, you know, Ripa, like I've known him for years. I know the Eggman thinks I've built his channel, um, <laughs> but it didn't really happen. You're going to uh, deny that? <laughs> You're going to deny that, though. <laughs> Ripa has just been a good friend and he's helped me out a lot. And I'm so happy to see this happen for him, man. And just like what we have going on the Tuesday night's main event, which is something that, you know, we we came up together, me, him and Ryan and. Gary is just as part of that too. It's all it's all kind of the same kind of stuff. We have our own stuff going on. Yep. We all try to help each other out and seeing w w the the response to the Ripperverse, man. That's got to motivate the fuck out of everybody in this in this little world. Motivates me and it should motivate you. Like it's incredible to see the enthusiasm, man. So and even Ryan's excited. So there you go. So that's that's that should speak volumes right there. But yeah, Eric, congrats, when did you Eric. start making this? Like when did you so I announced that I was going to make it and like I was going to like because I, I only do stuff like that. And if I'm going to announce something publicly, like I have to like commit to it. And that's kind of what I do to hold myself to it. Like I'm like, hey, I'm going to do it. And so that was like a little over a year, um, probably closer to two when I said, hey, this is going to be a thing. And from that day on, the entire foundational process was was getting getting laid the, the foundation was getting laid and there was so much that went into it stuff that i wasn't even considering um that i've been documenting i, I plan to do a series of content kind of letting people in on the on that side of it like the business side of it and everything because there's a lot of money that i spent on this but i'm actually proud because we got it a we were able to just over a year to get this thing to where it's at right now to the point to where we're going to be releasing our first product to me that was that was i didn't know we were going to be able to do that and the fact that our team was that efficient to make something like that happen that short period of time was was huge it was huge wow that's awesome <laughs> yeah go. i can't wait to <laughs> what do we uh when's our official release date so Monday that morning, uh, Monday, we're looking at around probably a nine to nine thirty Eastern uh, when my team will be ready to rock uh, server team and everybody. Uh, and you'll be able to get the, the all the items like everything. We have a new trailer that's dropping on Monday that will talk about the actual first book, all the ins and outs. Who's right. Who is uh, not who wrote it, but. Uh, who's doing the artwork, everything. We talk about all of that as well as all of the items. Everything's up for purchase. It's really the the big coming out. Uh, it will be on, on Monday. So just, just be prepared for that. Obviously, you're on that notification list. You'll you'll be some of the first to know, hey, it's live. And uh, yeah, there's, um, like I said, I may have undershot this. I remember Gary telling me, I say this all the time. I've said this like many, many times. Gary said to me, like personally, he's like, hey, Whatever you think you're going to do, you're going to like, trust me, you're going to do way over that. And I was like, well, you know, I purchased like 10,000 initial books. I don't know. That's going to be tough to convert all those into into customers It's a different animal. And yeah, it looks like we. Yeah, that, that, it's probably not going to be a problem there, uh, especially within that window. So uh, it's we do have the first print There's five There's two covers that will be available. You'll be able to get you'll see. Uh, there'll be 5,000 of each of those, each of those before we move into the second print. So if you want that first print, yeah, of course, you're going to want to get there early because once those are gone, they're, they're gone. My whole business model with this will be like handle instead of just having variants just for the sake of having variants. My my variant covers represent like an additional print because we needed the product. So uh, if you want to get in, you got 5,000 of each get in. There's also a limited edition like item. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll see it that we're only printing like 2000 of those. So once those are gone, they're officially gone. We're not reprinting those at, at all. So, um, yeah, just get in, just get in Monday morning. I'll be live, of course, talking about it. And, uh, yeah, I just really can't wait. And like I said, we are doing international shipping. I know I got a lot of questions about that. 
We are doing international shipping. I'll ship the fucking Afghanistan to the Taliban as long as you pay for the shipping. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure the Taliban gets it to you no matter where, where it is that you're at uh, out there. You just got to pay for, for for the shipping. So we are doing international shipping and the official ship date like or month rather will be next month. It's not a crowdfund. So we already have the products. Well, well, we have the books. That's the last thing that we're getting going into uh, like a couple next couple of weeks. We'll have those by August and August we start shipping. We'll start shipping everything out uh, by then, maybe even a little earlier. Um, hopefully I can maybe have some ready before we get to anime uh, Matsuri and then I have some on hand uh, there. That's at least a plan if, if we can make it work. But for sure, our team will be shipping out those. Uh, going into uh, uh, August, and this is all independent. So we, it's my fulfillment house, it's my own warehouse that we'll be shipping out of. So I'll be out there packing your orders myself, uh, along with my team. So I'm very excited, very stoked, and like I said, it's op first thing is operation recoup fees because I spent over two hundred thousand dollars on this goddamn project. No, so, way. so yeah, buy buy what you will. Um, there's no shortage <laughs> of items. That Link you in the description please. below. Please. Yeah. 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 Please, yeah, please sign up. I spent a whole fucking shit without of having to sell a single booty pick. Yeah, yeah. Having, yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming he didn't deny that. Yeah, he, he hasn't well, said he didn't do that. Yeah. He just he said spent a lot of money. Let's not assume here. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, rip, I know, like uh, rip reverse <laughs> brand farts in a jar. <laughs> no, it was his butt cheek. It was just really zoomed in close. It was a black square, but it was just the lens was a little <laughs> close to the ass cheek. <laughs> dark. Black lives matter, you know. <laughs> black lives matter. Uh, there's, yeah. there's always people, you know, seeing how many people watch our streams or watch our videos, and like, oh, these guys have no impact or whatever. And I don't know what type of impact we have on what's going on on current movies and all that bullshit. And there's no way to ever tell. That's that's something that people on twitter try to determine which is stupid <clears throat> but this right here is tangible like yeah. going out there supporting what rip is doing like if he pushes these ten thousand, which i firmly believe he will and i told him this on the phone earlier yeah. doing that that's a tangible thing where people are going to go holy shit yep. this this little corner of the internet these motherfuckers are serious and what he's doing is serious because it begins and ends with ripa and i i have a hundred percent faith in him as a human being, knowing him and, and as a creative force. And I, I just, I can't wait to see this happen, but I think this is going to put everybody on notice. So. Eric, do you have any deals? Like if there's a comic book store that wants to buy, like what's the yes. name of them now? Uh, yeah. We already had a couple reach out to me. If they contact us, uh, there'll also be a contact sheet when the, when the site launches, but you can hit us up at contact at uh riververse.com and we'll get to that. And yeah, those comic book stores that want to book purchase, we'll be able to get you those for uh, uh, you know, a decent amount. So you can obviously make your profit um, or whatever it is that you, you need. We've already had a couple of guys uh, including, and I, and I mentioned this on my sh show, like, you know, like I think the last, the last uh, for Canada's sake show. And that was like a huge retail. I'll tell you guys off air for sure. Online retailer, like these guys, they were like, reached out to me themselves they like we want a couple of hundred of them please like give them to us and it just put me like put it in perspective like okay there's a lot of folks that got eyes on this shit so it's it is tangible to jeremy's point this 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 is and that's what i believe because i do believe in our little pocket in our corner of the internet that we have creative people we are able to to replace in the eyes of mm -hmm. so many people what the old guard has done with their entertainment and that's all i wanted to do i just wanted to give people some <clears throat> some comic books uh, in the American traditional sense that people can believe in again and know that they're create the creator of them. They don't hate them. You know what I mean? And they know yeah. where it's going. It is a campaign format. I don't know if I mentioned that though. It's not a crowdfund. I like the transparency that the crowdfunding element introduced to comics. Uh, so we are taking that though. We're not crowdfunding. So you, what I mean by that is that you'll be able to see the revenue. Like there's a public revenue uh, number that's right there. So you'll see how many people purchased uh, each individual perk or bundle as we call them and um you'll see that and it'll go as high as you guys wanted to go if it goes over a million dollars awesome you know what i mean we're, we're we're talking some some real stuff you know if we get to that point but you know i'm all about the transparency i do believe that there's still a thirsty thriving market here um unfortunately right now in the comic sense everybody's importing japanese stuff and that's all fine and dandy and that's awesome, but I still think there's there's a, there's a hole in the market that hasn't been filled. That the big two just you know they kind of created themselves, and I think that's on us to 
kind of kind of uh, fill that that void. So, yep, you can get some good comics from creatives that don't fucking hate you. That's what it's all about. That's what's most important right there is that not just selling a bunch, which is also great, not just making a bunch of money, which is also great. It's it's making a foot land in, a, in an industry that does not seem to give a fuck about anybody. Yeah. It, it's all their their agenda. And if you are against it, you're evil and they yeah. hate you. And the way that you did it in this trailer, it's like it you had you're like, boom, this is our Constitution. Yeah. This is what I mean. This is what I stand for. And you're putting your money where your mouth is like literally putting your money. You invested a shit ton of money into your 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 ideas and yeah. what, how you think people should be treated in the industry. And that's what I think is so important about this, not just making money, not just selling books, but having that kind of mentality of like, we're going to make good shit and we're going to treat you like you should be treated like your customers. Like we we don't just deserve your money. We have to earn your money. So that's what I love about it. As long as there's no 19th Amendment in the Ripperverse Constitution, I'll be happy. So. <laughs> <laughs> let no, you have black uh, rights, but, but no women's rights. <laughs> well, he's got to get past the Sharia Comics Code, so you got to have a guy. Oh, yeah, that's true. Too, that's you know? very true. That's very true. The We're Taliban not. is like tuned in right now. They're like, no, no women's rights. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, you should have Afghanistan, you said. Yeah. 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 They're, they're, lounging in, they're, they're lounging in U.S. military Black Hawk helicopters, <laughs> just waiting for the launch of the Ripperverse. They got their little iPhone watching the show like, you see this hey, like, you see this like that that the reason why we came out with that like that reverse ethic thing is because obviously i want people it was a way for me to you know have something that's out there that the audience can also hold me to you know what i mean yeah. like that and I, I have no problem with that because i'm an honest person I, i'm authentic here and it's like look these are this is our ethics we're putting it out there publicly it's in every single book that we're going to be releasing of what like you can expect like what do we value and and what do and you know that i guess that level of transparency i think is huge now mm-hmm. uh we, you don't get that with mega corpse i mean that's what the whole kind of streaming element kind of brought to it anyway is that you know we entered the market and it's a bunch of us just regular people a lot of us shoot at we shoot out of our houses and we're just chatting with you know chatting with people it's real you know it's authentic and that that I think that's important, and that's very important. To, <laughs> basically, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, from, that, that, oh, that's that's cute. Uh, uh, but no, that it's very important to to w- what we're trying to accomplish here. You know what I mean? And and we're trying to be great, but I, I want people to hold me to a set of standards. Mm-hmm. I respect you guys. Uh, it's all about reciprocity, certainly in that regards. And I just want to give you good work that you can purchase and you can do your thing on. That's what yep. it's about. I, I'm sharing my screen here. Uh, it's it's almost it's almost up to a hundred thousand views already. Uh, I think so. Damn. And and Ripaverse is already that's about as many uh, tabs uh, Ryan just had on that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Ripaverse is already up to twenty seven hundred followers. Yeah. I nice. think he's gonna be at the end of F and T. Probably can get up to four or five thousand followers. But let's get, let's just keep sharing yeah. that video out there. Uh, you guys just look about it percentages wise. If this again gets five hundred thousand views. You think he could get, you know, you think he can get 10,000 orders out of that? I do. I think yeah. it's going to be far more than yeah. that. Yeah, I do, yeah. so, It'll be a good problem to have. And what that I, means, and because, uh, like I said, people, like, there's no investors here. Like, I said that in the trailer. That, like, everything that you all guys are about to see is money that I took out of my pockets that I had saved over the years, and I made this happen. The great thing about that is that, obviously, I don't owe anybody anything. There's no investor sitting there telling me that we want you to do this, this, and that. But the the awesome thing about it is that as good as this does is, you know, what other products that we decide to invest in, uh, not just with books, because I would love for this to expand to other things as a comic book company, first and foremost. uh, But there's a lot of stuff, cool merchandise stuff that I would love to do. And that's what happens. Like this project funds the next project, which funds the next project. That's kind of uh, how we operate with not having, you know, any investors. And that's to me the way to go anyways, decentralized. It's it's what I preach about all the time, every day and what I have been preaching for for years. And because we have a direct line of sight with the audience, thanks to things like this, the show that we're able to do YouTube and everything. Uh, you know, we don't have to go through those mega corps anymore to get out good shit to pay customers that just simply want to want to pay for. It. And that's what makes me so excited. So, like, this only goes as far as myself and the audience determines that it goes. No bullshit, no fluff, no 
you know, someone had to slide like Megacorp had to put us in his uh, Uber Prime spot or anything. No, it's just all organic. And uh, that's what the, the, the payout of that means that we get to maintain control and it gets to uh, maintain its integrity from the jump. Hell yeah. That's the way you're supposed to do it. Uh, and I love that you took your time and, uh, and, and just brought it out when it was ready. That's, mm-hmm. that's, and, and you'll have product, which I hate to even call it that. You'll have comics for your customer. I refused. <laughs> there was a long time before I even called comics product at my store. It was like towards the end when they started getting kind of shitty and turning in the product. <laughs> and we will be talking about another product from Disney Marvel a little later. You like, see what I did there? Yeah. yeah. Like that? I hey, Rip, I just shared your video. So um, if if it's true and my platforms are as big as I think they are, you'll get 60 more views. On your video. <laughs> <laughs> I hope no, yeah, but they're I'll all going to be alt-right yeah. views. You know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, are there swastikas in the, in the Riververse? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the only reason Ryan's excited about it. Is I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> my representation. Yeah, I, I, heard, I heard you're selling the neo-Nazis and the Taliban. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Weimar Republic. I'm interested. Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't yeah. be Tiki Torches on the merch site. <laughs> well, you know, oh, Ryan, Ryan you idea. know what's going to happen. They're going to be like, he, he, he messed up again. They're going to clip you saying that, thinking oh, like, oh we got it, boys. We got him. <laughs> yeah, yeah these, people- these, <laughs> these fucking retards, like they, they clipped... They clipped something that I put like in my own video because I thought it was funny about that salon article. When I'm like, why would anyone just let a woman write an article without editing it first? Like that's that's so stupid. <laughs> and they clipped it. And they, they go, clipped it. We got him. We got him. He it's slipped. like I, I just like liked it and retweeted he, it and said he claims that. it's all a joke, but <laughs> this is what he really. Means. This isn't a Freudian slip. I very very much intended to say this. <laughs> it's free. It's free PR. They always take like they always write these articles. You know, like all these all these groups. They write these anti hate articles, and I'm like, bro, you're literally putting my producer out of a job. You're like clipping the best parts of the show, <laughs> spreading them on the internet, and you're yeah, beating yeah. him to it. Like Aww. you know, your 21 year old comms graduate on Twitter is like faster than my producer, and I'm like, bro, you, you got to become <laughs> like a left wing extremist. Because they're really yeah. good at editing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it, channel, especially I, I would. I, channel. I would fucking hire these people if I, <laughs> I do. Like, if I knew they wouldn't just spend everything on lube and Kleenex, like I, I would just fucking hire them. But waste some money. They don't, they don't waste hey, on the lube. Safe sex. <laughs> Uh, except for that six months they would sit out because of a Roe v. Wade decision or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And true. the monkey pox infection that yeah, uh, yeah, right. in your house. That's part of yeah. it. Well. And the four vaccinations. <laughs> now, yeah. By, by the by the way, no one here is wearing a mask and pretty I'm pretty concerned for health and safety. So if we could all recognize uh, those efforts, probably make do. me feel a lot safer right now. I was going to say, if you have one of those producers, you have to keep one of those, uh, what are those called? Like AEDs or whatever. You have to keep like a heart resuscitator thing. If you, like, yeah. if you have a produ- left wing producer, just wait, ready for like, has anyone, uh, no one dropped dead today? No one dropped dead? We're all good. No heart attacks? Yeah. It's been zero sudden, days since we had You haven't heart palpitations? Room. Anybody? Anybody? Oh, we just had <laughs> sudden produ- producer death syndrome. Nothing to see here. Yeah, <laughs> it's totally I've normal. Been, yeah. Like, I've been very consistent about my view on masks same way i'm with condoms yeah. no <laughs> so, hey, hey, you know, our channel isn't dying but we've got to three producers this month you know, so. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey uh we got we have a special guest here from slightly offensive his name is elijah schaefer welcome <laughs> hey that's record time i think that was that pretty is, good that's, was, that's pretty good that was pretty I think good under that's an hour good. finally getting to our guest I don't, and he's I'm got a even, fancy studio. He's got a fancy studio. So. I'm not even. No, this is. You know what? It's, it's ironic because I'm not have, green I, screen. I, well, no, it's actually. It is. It actually is. This is. This is. I'm in the Ripperverse, so I'm. Uh, I'm, out, <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here. This is the only place my extremism is allowed. So I'm. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen a woman yet, so I'm chilling. But uh, <laughs> the Taliban's here, though. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's an explosive time. We're having a good time it here. Is. I'm grateful to be on uh, with uh, Nerd Rotic Ripa. Uh, Mayor and uh, those other guys. So it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. That's how I refer to him all the time too. No, no, no. I'm I'm happy to be on here because I used to be on a show on Friday nights live, and now mm-hmm. that wasn't tight, and now this is tight. So we're chilling, and I'm like happy to be here, and I can't catch whatever Garrett has because he's in a different room. So it's even not I, yet. I'm glad I have to sign the contracts when you come in person. So, and you know, no one likes people coming in person more than Garrett. So, I'm glad to be here. That's, that's true. right. Oh, that's why you won't get a lot anything, of kids. You know? Yeah, that's why so many kids. Just a walking semen machine. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> I know. He's like, he's like, I got like, I got like, he's like, I got 61 kids. I was like, how old are you? He's like, I'm 19. I was like, damn, you're not even Mexican, I'm are you? Trying. I was going to say, are you sure you're not Mexican? Guy? I'm not a Mormon. I'm not Mexican. You know, it's just, just in my genes. I don't know. No, it's not well, in your genes. It's actually Mexican. out of your genes. That's the whole problem. Your genes <laughs> yeah. are out of. Your I can't keep it in the genes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you did. Breaking yeah. fucking yeah. news. Yeah, I just pulled breaking it up. News. Breaking Shit. fucking news. Elon Holy Musk. Holy no! 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 Damn. Why, Daddy? Why? Don't why do you this to us? Uh, he went out for milk and he's not coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, well. Lame. Twitter stock is about to fucking fall apart now. Damn. Wow, Twitter's about to plan? fucking die where it deserves. Damn. You're going to watch the stocks. Was this now. his plan all along? Do you know how happy I Trump is right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I told you he was going to back out. The deal was no good. The bots, they wouldn't address the bots. <laughs> Time to fire up my getter. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm saying that people don't like the bots, but at least they're hot. You know what I mean? Like when they get into your DMs, it's like <laughs> Angela Mavis, a 10 out of 10 model saying, hey, what country are you from? I mean, she must be legit, right? Oh. It get, look, it, look, at the end of the day, it gets it gets the fap done. And that's really all that matters. Like, as long you as want you're to convinced she's real. Yeah. <laughs> as as X-ray girl shows up for that. <laughs> Bro. You want to see boo? Oh, oh uh, my God. Is that real? Crash. Yeah, it's, from, I mean, uh, it's, it's only it's only five percent. It looks really bad because it like just yeah. happened. Yeah. Did they I announce that at the end of the stock day or before? Five percent. Wait, wait. Five percent of yeah. today from today's from yesterday mm. or five? from when it from when it closed from when it closed like an hour ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's down, it's down like a dollar, two dollars, something bit. like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought you meant five. Yeah, but it depends how rich you are. Like, See over the six yes, months. Yes, that's true. Yeah, had a lot of stock. That one or two dollars yeah. on a one million dollar holding could not be good. Not be good. No, it's going to go down further than that too. It's it's done. I think it. Yeah, that's a I bummer. I'm going to sell my stock tomorrow, or I can't tomorrow. I'm going to sell it Monday. The the thing is, uh, Elon agreed at one point to buy it for what like 47 dollars a share or something mm -hmm. and like right now it's sitting at 36 yeah man he was overpaying uh, yeah my, I, my I, I, I talked to this about like when it first happened me and jeremy talked a little bit and i said i didn't think he was sincere um and yep. I, I don't i guess i don't know whether he really was or not whether it was all just a fucking joke or whether if he saw the right things when he got in there if he would have gone through with it um it, it's tough to tell with a guy like elon but overall, I mean, I, I, I think it's a overall bad thing. I don't think that Elon Musk is going to start up a new social media that values free speech. I don't think any of that shit's going to happen. So I think it's an overall negative that this news just came out. Yeah. Yep. Unless it um, just completely destroys Twitter forever, then it's good. Uh, to email truth could so be a domino. Can you verify yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jay DePaul at Hey, about that email you sent me six months ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah hey, can, I get that, can I get that profile? True Social, give me a fucking Android app at this point. That's all I want. Like, good yeah, Lord. I don't have True Social because I don't have a fucking Android app. So yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Clear, clear the air here. I'm a definitely an iPhone guy. Why is it that people that are into like comics and stuff tend to have PCs and Androids, and then people that are like borderline queers from LA, like myself, just end up <laughs> using Apple queers. products? It, you you <laughs> answered the question when you said queer. <laughs> that in the equation. You have so. pineapples. You literally yeah. are like you're you're one shirt flip over from being like I'm a swinger. Like I mean, <laughs> you, <laughs> uh, your shirt's inside I'm out, and like there's like 50 year old drunk people at the hot tub. They're like got their keys in. thrown Woo! in a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, very uh, confident in my uh, sexuality, <laughs> my straight sexuality, super straight. Uh, I just like pineapple. Swingers aren't all gay. Yeah, yeah swingers could be straight. <laughs> oh, that, I don't judge. You get your kink on, but uh, no, that's not my style. <laughs> it's not style. Like so, pineapple on pizza, I mean, though, it, no it all started with, remember those ads back in the day where it was like, I'm a PC, and it was just like mm -hmm. a normal dude in a business suit, and it was like, I'm a Mac, and it looked like a fucking metrosexual. Like, that, that was predictive of the future. You know what I mean? I mean, no. It's pr Pride Month's over, but there's still Apple users out there. The Mac <laughs> computer was was okay until uh, the iPhone came along, and then they just changed all their focus to the stupid fucking iPhone, and the computers and everything else started sucking. So I went back. I went to Mac for a little while because I worked uh, down in Hollywood, so you had to. Yeah, you had yeah. to use it for Final Cut Pro. Working on yeah, a Mac, I was, I was an Android guy, and then, and then 
I went I went and got a, a one of the iPhones that got hyped up, and I was so excited, and I got it. And three days later, I was like, I fucking hate this thing. Yep. And it went back to Android and never looked back. But yep. I just like the customization. I, mean, I think the UI on Apple is really good, but I don't like being put in a box that only the Apple wants me to be in. Yeah. Android lets me customize and kind of do whatever I want. And I can make my Android into an iPhone if I wanted to. That's like so options is, is is a good thing but i know that you know apple has like a lot of there's a lot of consistency with apple that keeps people coming back too so it's bad when you have to use preference. both though i feel i feel like because it's like for software i have to use pcs and for like production you know like live production we use on all, this studio and and the other studio these like monster computers it's quite frankly i'm not gonna spend 15 grand for a computer that can do half the job of a six to eight thousand dollar pc like i'm just not gonna do that it's like double the price half the power and so it's like that's ridiculous yep. but then it's like i like the i like the phone but then it sucks and you have an apple laptop a pc computer and then it's just like it's just like a big mess it's like multiculturalism it doesn't it doesn't work <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, right I am a console peasant when it comes to video games, though. So I, I, I'm not PC master. You're on a I'm PC a console. I'm a console race, peasant. I'm a console <laughs> peasant, and I'm happy. I'm happy. Who's, are that. you a PC? So. Who's a PC supremacist? Windows supremacist. Right. I, I do right. both. What as far g- gaming? Just yeah, in general, gaming. like I don't know, just across the it's board. All about yeah. PC. Oh, PC. I, yeah, PC. It like, took me to two. It took me to two hundred thousand subs on my YouTube channel before I started uploading from a computer. I was Jesus doing that all Christ. from my Android phone. So yeah, uh, yeah. Like whenever like you somebody, can tell. I, I will say I had an <laughs> I had an iPhone four or something like that. I tried it out for like a year or two. Didn't like it. Went back. But now whenever anyone hands me their iPhone to look at something or like I happen to get on an Apple computer, I have no fucking idea what to do. Like I, I'm like, I'm totally unfamiliar with the operating. I, I think they make point. it intentionally difficult if yeah. you're coming from a PC. They want you to feel dumb. Yeah. But even like, oh, said, we're up but- here. We're a Mac. But if I sent you, Ryan, honestly, if I sent you my phone, it was an iPhone and it had allowed you, if you just press send on it to send a shit post on 8chan, you wouldn't do it. Just interact with it. Oh, obviously. Yeah, it would. It's it's, it's the first swastika sent to the Ripperverse. So there you go. go. (laughs) Bring in true diversity. Picked a good time to bail out. Hello, (laughs) X-ray. We we can't hear you, X-ray girl. And we also can barely see you because of that dog shit green screen. (laughs) Oh. Did you like speak Thor? Up. Speak up. You only have seven words. Use them wisely. Uh, why are you looking at your head? <laughs> She's like, this, this is where this is where the sound comes from. She's like, what about now? I don't know what happened. Like talking to the headphone? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like cock. Hey, hey, the extra girl. The extra, they're not here for your opinions anyway. Trust me. So oh. They're getting all they need right now. So. <laughs> I'm so sad because it's Wah. true. Wah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you've never tried wearing a scoop neck. I mean, you've never worn a scoop neck, so you don't know. You don't know how it works. It could go both ways. You have no idea. I mean, like, try, yeah. just try it Where's one day. Neck? I mean, just, you know, I, I'll gain like 10 extra pounds and you'll have a little shadow in between, too. You'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You if everyone. Her. If everybody wants to know really? where Az is, he's not here, and uh, I'll show you where he is. He's right here. Yep. Uh, he's he's hanging in out. Thor. Yeah, he was in Thor. So you guys haven't seen the movie yet. <laughs> uh, That's the body positive version of Thor. <laughs> <laughs> it's called uh, Thor. Has, like his brother came over, like family, whatever. <laughs> what is this family <laughs> stuff that he missed the show for? It's all right. I doubt yeah, he's- maybe he's drinking. I've, I, because you know, I once I went on a live stream one time recently and I was drinking, and I don't know if that was a good idea, but I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if it's, <laughs> I'm wondering if it's I was uh, texting you that whole time. I was like, Elijah, get off the stream, get off the stream. Oh, no. <laughs> I know, I know. I should have gotten off the stream, but instead I went and said, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch from beer and go straight to Knob Creek. And that was like, I would say this. If you're going to have a productive live stream, you probably shouldn't include drinking out of a bottle of whiskey. It's probably not. Well, actually, I take that back. That might be the most productive live stream you've ever had in your entire life. You reminded me of something. Stream. Uh oh. That's what I always say. Stream. I got you. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I got you covered. So here's X Ray Girl. You guys wanted to hear from X Ray Girl. Here's her expertise on Harry Potter. It's called Speed Round. So it's going to be the first thing you think of at the top of your head. So Hogwarts House. (laughs) The Castle. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> you said the first thing. Hogwarts house. They live in a <laughs> castle. <laughs> Your Hogwarts house. <laughs> <laughs> Your Hogwarts house, not a <laughs> castle. <laughs> oh. extra go right there. <laughs> This is why I don't speak, okay? I'm nerd Jason. Is it the same standard. shirt? Is it the same top you're wearing? I don't know. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't like so. so what if it was? I, don't know. I shot I, I watched question. it. The fact oh. that you called it a top, Brian. Well, like what I was I thought she was gonna try to fucking correct me because I said shirt first. Yeah. So he's like, oh my gosh, you wore that halter top last Tuesday. I saw someone yeah. on Snapchat. Exactly. You can't wear the same thing twice in a week. Gosh. I just recycle like the same 10 shirts. Like I just keep doing laundry and wear the same 10 shirts over and over again. I just recycle the same two hoodies over and over uh, again. If I didn't have a like, be like two shirts. It would be this and my yeah. Sure. I just wear this in my Columbia hoodie. That's all I'm in I'll Texas. Wear. We don't even recycle here. We just throw things away. Like, honestly, yeah. I, you know, you like, let's not reuse things. They go fast fashion. That's, you know, inducing child labor in other countries. I'm like, all right, good. People have work. Let's keep going. You know, yeah, somebody's <laughs> working. Tar Target, whatever. Pair that. of Thieves. What's that called? I think it's called Pair of Thieves. It's like ten to like fifteen dollars for two T-shirts. You buy a size smaller to work out. You buy your normal size to wear. You have ten. You have ten T-shirts. You're doing great. You spend a hundred bucks. They last for two years. And some kids have work in Sri Lanka. I mean, their their yeah. economy's collapsed. You, buy a, doing your you wear smaller shirts to work out in. Yeah, like just actually like wear a large to work out in because you wear shorts, you're running, you're hanging out. You're not trying to wear like a loose, relaxed fit shirt. You're trying to like actually work out, hang kind out. See, like the, see the bring me to the point on this show to clarify for anyone watching this. These images are not real. They have been <laughs> photoshopped. How dare you? Extent. Poorly. What? No, that's real. This is all 100% real. You're actually right, Elijah. They did CGI her arms. So, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, hey. Okay. Yeah. Everything oh, else, yeah. real. She's got a bigger <laughs> hammer in real life, too. I think so. 10 week boxing workout for those CGI guns, right? <laughs> right, those that's are pretty it? big. Is that a that's that's a woman right there? So that's mm -hmm. a pretty big arm. That's wow. those aren't real. Those are dude, dude Natalie or not Natalie. Uh, Chris Hemsworth did look jacked, just jacked yeah. as fuck. Good. Yeah, like, dude. holy shit, he real he's a good. monster. I preferred yeah. body positivity, uh, Thor. That was. That was I fucking hated that. But this, you know what? He was jacked, but he was just as pathetic in this fucking movie as he was. Sounds about right. He's Tell me how you really feel. Tell me how you really feel. What's what's going on with your thought? Uh, I oh, I hated the movie. I thought it was terrible. I, I like I heard some people saying there was some good. There's nothing good about it. There's it was <laughs> it was uh, it was almost too hard to critique because it was made for like six year olds. Like that's yeah. the mentality behind it. So and Biden's so the president watching. would like it. So like, well, that's Marvel. Ex I can the <laughs> that's president. like a honeypot for the kids Just because the president. So that's why he shows up. Adult, and movie. then he's regenerated into a drooling six-year-old. You know, actually, him shit. We took Frank's eleven-year-old son to see it, and he thought we were like, "What did you think?" He's like, "I feel like it was too adult." Like, I think he was referring to like the kind of gay themes. He thought that was too adult, and he also oh. said that they, he didn't feel like the movie respected kids and we were like why and he's wow. like well because they were just scared and in a kid in a cage and like helpless i'm like i'm like that's life buddy i'm like you mean like <laughs> i'm like no he stole that he stole that from from it's social reality. media kids no, there's, cages. It's, it's going around right now there's videos going around about how kidding? movies wow. don't respect children and it's like, yeah, like oh you're mean to kids this i'm not getting this is like your time to be respected that's the rest of it. you earn that <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> respected for being alive come on like also you're a kid you are kind of weak and helpless i don't know but how do you fuck it up i mean okay i'll be this is be up front with with everyone here watching this this show like i actually i've spoken out against star wars and marvel and dc and a lot of things recently in the last couple of years which is funny because i used to be a huge i used to be and i would say i still am a huge fan of star wars and even of comic book movies in the times past and there is an occasional comic book movie that comes out that is good and i'm not saying that they don't happen but it's like it's like with with obi-wan or any of these things you have this this huge budget and, and i mean this massive budget look what rip is doing with with 200 grand i mean you're talking about millions of dollars potentially even more if you asked for it i mean a billion for 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 lord of the rings or whatever or more and mm -hmm. and everything looks fine the images are clear everything looks good but you colossally just fuck it up. Like, I what was that Marvel movie that you could see the zippers in their costumes even? And it was like, 
I mean, I, I mean, it, it's absolutely ridiculous that you watch the movie and you go, "Who okayed this? Did did a director sit there and they made the movie with the with the producers and the crew, and then the the uh you know production company came in, whoever it is, the studio, and then made them re-edit it? Did they just have like six autistic people sit in the room and then give the editing <laughs> yes. to a Down syndrome class, right. and then yes. they? Then Correct. they, then they, they wash it in the washing it. machine and put it on the air. That's yes. what it feels like. And I feel like all the new Marvel movies are like a bunch of people with extra chromosomes sitting in a class competing to be the president. Like, that's just what it feels like. like it, there's not <laughs> a good option. Now, so. There's yeah, not no. a good option. No, they're, they're all, all, they're all kind of bad. No, it, not kind. They're not kind of bad. They're I'm being, I'm being nice. Everyone gets pissed off. Like, I could, I, I, I could speak out. I, I learned not to speak out against the Mormons. I did that. That was the worst uh -oh. thing I've done recently. That but, never works. But, but the, but the word. I mean, like, it's like Jesus Christ, and then Marvel movies in America. Like, you, I'm serious. If people, you talk about Star Wars and Marvel, and, oh, we and people just oh, want to murder yes, you. Yes. Know. Our reply yes. guys, we know. It. Ryan yeah. gave the Batman Ryan, an Ryan eight knows. out of ten <laughs> and went viral on Twitter as a racist <laughs> for saying exactly yeah. what happened in the fucking movie. Yeah, I mean, I've said way fucking worse than what I said in that yeah, review, no. uh, both <laughs> offline and online. And that was that was the best black Twitter had to try to cancel me. Didn't work. <laughs> try again, losers. But <laughs> this movie, it, it it's so it's terrible. I, I think it's really bad. I think I think it's worse than it actually is, because I feel like at this point, I just don't find Taika Waititi funny. Uh, I think it's very cringe and, in fact, unfunny. And I, I don't I, think I, he's I the right the appeal of the guy. I, like, I don't think he's the right like, guy to do something in an established universe. Like, so, he's funny in small in doses. Very, very I, I've small. Never, like, I've, I've, I've ne like, there's, he's like, I, I compared him to Hassan Piker. It's like one of those guys where I know that there's people that like the guy, mm -hmm. but I think he's retarded, and I, and I can't really find the appeal of it because there's various people where I can, even if it's not my thing, I can at least say I can see where people, wh like, why they would like it, or I can respect or or understand that rather. Taika Waititi is one of those. I literally don't get it. I don't fucking get the appeal. I I I can't wrap my mind uh, around it. So when he keeps getting rewarded with these fucking projects, I just don't understand. He's about to go uh, over to Star Wars. Uh, I I just don't get it. I don't understand. Like, what the fuck is the appeal of Taika Waititi? I mean, Hassan Piker has no fucking talent. I don't understand that guy at all. But yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. That's why remind he reminds me a uh, lot. Of he me. did a couple of things that I like, but th they were like in a very small. They were like his own little thing, and I think there's a lot of overhype, a lot of overpraise yeah. for Ragnarok. And uh, it probably has to do with he's not a white guy, so he's going to get a lot more work now than a lot of other people because that's just the way things are and uh now we we see what happens when he's allowed to have his three ways in his trailer all the time and his coke <laughs> which is fine like just make good shit i don't really care i mean dude if you're having three way with uh with tessa thompson and you can get her to have a different facial expression then good on you mate you're wow. more of a man that's well, a talent. Gonna say, you, you just fuck her from behind that, that's the solution there but <laughs> you don't look at the face it's, it's the extended release i was like that sounds like the most exciting part of the movie <laughs> i mean <laughs> Coke, three sums is like i mean at least that's entertaining Th to me this is like guardians 2 to guardians 1 where it, it, instead of like keeping with the vein and maybe just continuing to do something unique with it they're like hey what were like the things that people really liked about guardians the like surface level bullshit that people liked about guardians look at all the jokes so they just went even harder in guardians too and i, I was like guardians too by the I, way i know that but uh I, I just didn't like it because i felt like it was just too over the top that's how i feel about this i thought ragnarok was over the top this one is next level next and level it's going to be interesting to see how it does. Cause I, I said, I think last week, I didn't really know what kind of box office prediction to make because multiverse of madness made like $950 million. Um, um, this movie, I feel like people will think it's more fun because I just think there's a lot of I retards out there that'll clap, but <laughs> yeah, it, it's normally going to make 100%. less. It has jokes every two seconds. Yo. Just every, every hey. time something serious comes around the, the screen, there's a joke. It Did undercuts it. There's a joke. Did you notice there wasn't, any fucking dads anywhere? No, <gasps> dude. They started no with the, with the daughter dads. and then they, in Asgard. They didn't uh, talk Jane about Foster. Odin. Jane Foster's mom dies of cancer. She's standing there alone at the grave without a fucking anybody, without a dad. <laughs> right. <laughs> Lord, Lord, and the one dad wow. was Thor, and he was the asshole. I'm so glad I didn't see that. But I'm Thor kind of acted and like a dad. Is. When Thor mm -hmm. gave the kids his powers, that was kind of dad like. And then at the end, when he. Except for the fact that Thor should have given. 
um, all, everybody his powers during the Battle of New York. Yeah. So, and, yeah, guy, hey, just so you guys know, we're into spoilers now. Uh, mm -hmm. We're into spoilers for Thor: Love and Thunder. It's uh, Friday Night Tights. Um, yeah. For the rest of time, we're going to spoil all the things we talk about. Good. Just no. <laughs> no. Yeah. money for this no. dog shit. You can't spoil something expired. I mean, honestly. Yeah. Good point. Good if something point. shit, then, you know, if you step on it, it's not Yeah, no, no the, fucking dads anywhere. I'm just like, fuck this show. I'm yeah. Like, well, it's no problem. The, the only dad is really gore is Christian yeah. Bale, and he's just the fucking most evil person in the thing, yeah. right? So at, at the end, the part that that just got talked about where Thor gives his powers to all these kids. Like legitimately they're about to go in this battle and he's there to rescue the kids. He gives this speech and he literally imbues them with the power of Thor. Uh, he said for a limited time only, not sure how these rules work, but yeah. he, he gave like a hundred kids the power of Thor and they're fighting their fucking lightning bolt and everything like this. And it's like, do you realize what that means for your universe and the rules that you've just established? Now, anytime you don't do that when there's a threat, well, why the fuck didn't you do that? Mm -hmm. It also makes you question, why didn't you ever do that before? Well, um, exactly. Yeah. Or, or instead of making Asgardians just humans who hang out with gods, uh, make make them Asgardians. They, like, they don't have the power of Thor, but they can have more power than a human. And just hands, have the kids yeah. kick ass. That would have been way better. Of a, I'm fine with the kids kicking ass. That was that would have been kind of cool. But like, yeah, that whole that yeah. I'm like, that was one of the only two scenes that I thought was interesting and it had a fun the way it was choreographed and yeah, shot. Like, like it, was the kids fighting? I was like, this could be cool. and they turn out to be like these fucking maniac strong yeah, kids. That'd like, be funny. But it, inside of a cool scene, what could be a cool scene? They ultimately fuck up canon inside of that like they can't help it but fucking royally the fuck their own shit fuck it up it, like it, completely it's, it's just like the in any universe whether it's like a science fiction book or like whatever you have to have rules you have to have guidelines and you have to have stakes you have to be able to understand that and so the mcu post end game the stakes are like impossible to really comprehend because you have Wanda who like does this whole thing to this town. Then you have multiverse of madness where literally the entire multiverse is at stake and you destroy one temple and everything's fixed. Now you have Loki who's fucking with the multiverse. Now you have this and the powers that Thor just showed and to save the entire universe and all the gods, it's the stakes are all over the place in the and, MCU. And on that point, uh, I just like to make a point that the rip of verse will not have multiverse and time travel and all that bullshit yeah. just doing a so point that out yeah. so. <laughs> i think a lot of that's the one cool thing that like between that and and a lot of what marvel and dc because marvel has like right now in their books like 17 multiverse uh like different <sighs> characters with their multiverse stories like uh you had that the variant story jessica jones is like captain america now it's retarded uh it's yeah that's a thing all what? the miles morales yeah, shit not even you got miles morales obviously with his what ifs and all of that shit like people are finally coming around to what my position has been on on like multiverse and how they incentivize laziness uh and that's all that it is it's and if it, it's a get out of jail free card and it incentivize writers to be like you know what if we want to fuck some shit up we can just rely on that to either correct it or fuck or whatever it just does nothing mm -hmm. matters anymore and and that's like the opposite i know gary can feel me on this it's like the opposite of what comics were about like you know like the whole point is is that even if you have this ever expanding universe you have these characters that have their own things going on but those those actions matter they're supposed to matter the book that person read is supposed to it's supposed to mean some those actions are supposed to mean something whereas to now it's like nothing means goddamn nothing nothing like it's just whatever happens happens and we'll figure it out going uh, uh figuring out later it doesn't feel like hell even though towards you know with endgame when i was still invested in this shit going into a uh, black widow like it felt like the, i don't feel like none of these guys are meeting up with each other and saying mm -hmm. what what do you plan to have happen in your movie like mm -hmm. like i feel like that's not yeah. that conversation is not even being had no. um uh, among not, them it doesn't feel like it's the it's problem not with this movie uh, it my wife turned over and she this was a really good com uh observation she was like is this a parody superhero movie? It feels like a 
yes. like a scary movie parody of a superhero movie. It is. It, like it was like nonstop jokes. And I keep it's saying true. that, but like that it, is the problem with this movie. It's a it is nonstop jokes. Loki, but it Loki undercuts dying. everything. Loki dying. They made a joke out of Loki. Yes. Dying. They made a joke out of the fucking Infinity Gauntlet. It's an ice cream store. Like these yeah. are serious shit that's going on. Like yeah, so the Infinity Gauntlet killed half of the population of the entire universe. You they're don't all make a fucking ice now. cream shop thanks, out of it. Thanks to you don't Loki, like Infinity Cones? No. <laughs> See, the thing so, is, it's so, not taking your own universe seriously, and that, that's where yeah. the top comic book fans will separate. They take the shit seriously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, they're, they're embarrassed. It's a comic book. Seriously, they and are embarrassed. Marvel took it seriously. It was fine, but there's that suspension of disbelief that you have to times by a thousand to watch a superhero movie, and you watch something like this that undoes your entire universe. Even though the seals will clap for this, they're gonna walk home and forget about it, and just not feel that motivated to go again. I, I want it. It's so quick. I want to hear a little bit from Chrissy because I know she like has a little bit different perspective than probably we do. <laughs> yeah, but we I, but I think that oh, but, God. Well, the bad think, perspective. Well, no, yeah. no I, what I'm no, saying no. is I think that you actually represent the majority of people yep. out there. Yep. So that's why I think it's kind of important to hear from Call you. Call her a seal. It's like, and the seals will clap and enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Chrissy Meanwhile, Bear. Yeah. You enjoy uh, it. Take her shirt off. Before, yeah. before Chrissy goes, I, I can I can make Ryan the real villain right here. Here we go. I'm sharing my screen oh, right no. now. What is oh, this? Oh, no. Oh. oh. What's up with your eyes, dog? I don't know, Ryan. What's going what kind on of, with you, buddy? <laughs> what kind of a fucking Photoshop job is this? <laughs> I, don't know who they, I, I don't know who this was, but you can Uber do better, geek. Uber, Uber Geek. Uber Geek. Uber geek. <laughs> Dude, who knew that Nancy Pelosi was so stacked? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, she just threw them all out there. Young Ryan. Dog guys need to get bonked. Ugh. Uh, so it's crazy that her face yeah. is more lopsided than her tits are. That's what shocked me. So. Well, she can't drown. That's what's nice. Yeah. I mean, was that like a mixture between Ryan laughing. and Elijah? I'm wondering about that now. Yeah, I mean, I have yeah, a the huge intensely forehead. blue eyes. Hey, uh, I'm just. Are you, look at me, yeah. Elijah. Are you fucking kidding? Yeah. Me? Just a big, yeah, it's like, tall it's like, glass it's, of recessive jeans. It's like being. That's yeah. like you're balding since you were three. You know, but you never yeah. really get there. You just always are. It's it, like, yeah, that's when people are like, look at his receding hairline. It's like, no, it's look like this forever, motherfucker. I ain't losing my hair. It's called, you know, someone in my in my history survived a potato famine. Okay. No, exactly. This is where we. This is where we, we we stored our potatoes. We just rested them. Right, right there at the top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Chrissy. Okay. What's right. Um. I hey. I did like it. I was entertained by it. I like. That's the thing is, I like crying at movies, and I cried right away. Like as soon as Christian Bale's daughter died, I was like, shit. It just was like this is the fastest I've ever cried at a movie. Um. What I would have liked to see more of is the development of Christian Bale's character. Like, let us see him wrestle with, yeah. you know, the good and bad. Let us see how this sword thing affects him slowly over time. We just see him from being like dad, a cr crispy dad in the desert, thirsty. She dies. And then now he's like evil. And you, you understand why he yeah. kind of renounces God. Um, it's weird. There's like weirdly no consequence for him killing that first God. And then there's like no consequence for Thor killing Zeus, it seems, or maybe it's that's yeah. what's coming. But yeah, yeah how do you like feel about that, by the way, Garrick? I I need your, I didn't even know he was gonna be in the movie. They, they fuck how how much they Ze fucked that up. Zeus? Well, you he was in the trailer, and you knew it was fat ass Russell Crowe, um, and he was a joke. Like he was literally yeah. portrayed as a joke. As I a liked joke. Zeus because he seemed like a diner owner, like a typical Greek. Like, oh, we have special on Souvlaki. Come in, come in. Your booth you is ask free. Some Greeks how they felt yeah. about it, that. It, it's about <laughs> portrayal of that. It, it's a it's a very simplistic <laughs> subversion of expectations, right? It's like, oh, look, Greek god Zeus, the god of gods, the man of mans, Zeus. And he comes out and he's some fucking fat loser. You know what I mean? And yeah. that's, I, I think that that was so very predictable. That's, no, that's of, really yeah. typical. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's not even subverting expectations now. That is expectations for Marvel movie. CNN model, movie. right? Promise someone something great, put a fat loser out on the camera. Yeah, that's yeah right. I, was, I was not impressed Stelter with the model. And then at the end, <laughs> in the deleted scene, he was like, he was like, People need to take us seriously. They will fear us one day. It's like, yeah, you were, you're acting like a 
a, a lazy diner owner. Yeah, know? I ordered number six, sir. Could you just could you just take my card? You know, like I don't yeah, know. They, they just made the pantheon oh. of gods that Gore like didn't kill uh, a joke. Uh, by the way, Gore the God Butcher butchered one god on yeah, screen. It was just one. One was how yeah, was ba ba like Bale's my favorite actor. So how was his performance? In the he role? was, was he so good. He's, he's good. I feel uh, like he really disappeared into the role. I feel like it was good. Fuck. No, 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 no. I, no, I, think, I think he was yeah, good, yeah, but he didn't get. Yeah. He didn't have a lot to um, do. I'm, I'm, I'm called being horny, Chrissy. Oh. That's, that's uh, no. I'm <laughs> asking. I'm different. asking separate from the w the character. From the, I'm saying his performance. His just performance, performance was good. Level. But I don't know. I, not, I, I, he wasn't given I enough to do. I can't even the, say that. I, yeah. I can't even say it was good because the his writing was so all over the place. It's kind of tough to judge him on it. Like, I don't know what they wanted to do with this character. How he many times did he say, where's the trigger? I did he say, where's the trigger? Three, three. Uh, <laughs> he went from the beginning where, yeah, like, it actually starts off different than any Marvel movie you've ever seen. It starts off with Christian Bale in a desert with his daughter, uh, and his That's daughter dies. Five vibes, by the way. Am I yeah, the only it, one? And his daughter dies and he finally finds the God they worship. And the God is the God is like an old again. Everything's over the top with this movie to the point where it's not fucking funny. It, it was he was over the top, just complete asshole. Yeah. And yeah, super from, gilded, super it, fancy. Yeah. And you totally get why Gore did what he did in that moment, even though mm -hmm. he was possessed a little bit by the nether sword or whatever. Like you get it. You get it. Fuck this guy. But then he transforms into like fucking batman and robin cartoonish Silly villain, Billy <laughs> villain like, guy it, it, yeah, yeah like it, he when he's talking cool. to the kid when he's changes. talking to the kids when he's talking to the kids he is like a legit like batman and robin level of cringe villain to me uh which didn't make I sense for when they then showed that. him later when he did like his best part was his monologue where he's got them all in this moon planet um like that would to me was his best part in it but it, it just was very incoherent throughout i think his I, best acting was right in the beginning with That's like good. the emotion that he was giving whenever his daughter was dying even though his daughter yeah. was giving zero emotion like stone facing him as she was dying she, she was lost giving the, a lot of good she lost the will to live like padme oh no yeah she, she was just like pa she so faded tired. away but that was the best he did but like, who, who, I think, who wasn't in star wars according to yeah him. wasn't in star wars <laughs> technically i think he did a good job in the three different characters he played throughout the he movie because the film was so damn movie. choppy yeah, when he was talking to the kids it doesn't know it what it was character when he was attacking thor it was a different character at the beginning and the end it was kind of the same character yeah it was like yeah it was all over the how place. much did he get paid though because i i feel like oh like, I, like somebody just asked me the other day they were putting together a, a movie on something and they were like cool yeah can you be in it and i go yeah and they go, your uh, your interview will be through Zoom. And I go, all right, dude. For movies, I don't do Zoom interviews. Like I don't, I'm just not. Then I don't want to be a part of your project. No offense, mm -hmm. but it's like you got to put together something good. And like I'm, at least I know if you're coming in person, then we're gonna do something good. It's not to be an asshole to someone who's just starting out or something, but you're not gonna try to make a movie for your first project. And so it's like I get if you're an actor and you're part of a shitty movie. But it's like, I mean, does Christian Bale need money? I don't think so. I mean, like, I don't know what his spending habits are. It's like Johnny Depp. But I never get it with these people that they take these roles. Where it's like, Kids. Well, you, mean, well, so you, turn, you, know, you turn John Wick and, you know, people turn like John Wick, a movie that's not about 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 much, right? Like that movie uh, is not much. Even if you look at any other movie that's out there, I mean, even Minions came out. And that's like kind of a dumb movie, but it's doing well and people really like it and whatever. And so you have like even John Wick could have been a failure. Minions could have been a failure, but they're like – basic ideas almost been rehashed the same shit they're still good per se they're put together well and so then you take a movie like thor any of these other marvel movies that it's like you've seen enough of them to know that they're pretty fucking retarded like they're not really good okay and so it's like and i, and I just feel like when you're at that level you know you could be a little picky probably on what you take you know maybe maybe look at who the director is look at who the producers are and you would at least be like hey i got 200 mil in the bank I'm not going to humiliate myself by being in a movie like Thor. Mm -hmm. Just I, that's my question. I mean, I, I don't know uh, what like I wonder what that is. I, I mean, I, I will say who knows, like, first of all, who knows what the pitch was when he agreed to it, how much it changed since he signed on the dotted line, how much got left on the cutting room floor. There's supposedly like a four and a half hour cut of this movie somewhere. I can believe uh, that. That, oh. they, that they cut down to two hours. Um, <laughs> it went yeah. from a mega dump to just a little shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Squeeze this shit. one out. But, <laughs> but yeah, I would say like at the same time, 
even if I have two hundred million dollars in the bank and Marvel's like, hey, we'll give you twenty five million dollars to jerk off in this movie, I'll be yeah. like, all right, do it. You, you might get involved with a threesome. Yeah. There might be some coke involved. It's like yeah. you know, yeah. Like, well, yeah. I I think like you know, I don't think you can ever like once you're at that level when you've worked all those years and you've slowly, gradually improved, improved, improved. I mean, it's like anything else. Like three years ago, if you would have told me. Like I, I have a video that would get thirty thousand views. I would be like, my fucking life will be incredible if I can just get ten thousand views, much less thirty thousand. Now, if I get thirty thousand, I'm like, my fucking channel's dead, you know. Aww. So, like, it, it's all about perspective. You know what I mean? It's like, so, you know, I'm sure all the money Bale has, but like, yeah, he still wants more. All these motherfuckers want more, no matter where you are, and no matter how much you have, you're always still wanting more for whatever random well, reason let me ask you and he it, it was per, the perception of the mcu right now is positive the outside perception it over, and especially it, whenever overall, he was signed yeah. when he was yeah. signed it was like in game times and it was like damn we're on top of the world so of course he's gonna sign he's gonna be like yeah everybody loves the mcu mm -hmm. he didn't, yeah. he didn't he see all of the films that came like out all. after he got no. the short so he just uh, no. or was he just he, christian he, turned Bale? He, 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 got, he got a little wider yeah he went like kratos <laughs> yeah. that's basically what happened he just got wider like, like he, he has like little veins. tattoo kind of veins, like little veins stars. Yeah. yeah, he just so looks like he's he no, he he got paid. He, 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 he didn't was lose ashy. his nose or anything. So no. He no. he looked like a human with a couple like scars and tattoos and stuff oh, on him. Yeah. That that's what he looked like um before and then he grabbed the sword and he stabbed the god and he immediately it was like kratos it's like when kratos becomes the ghost of sparta his skin turned white. white and that's that's what happened he got they paid tried million dollars there was no okay. alien it was yeah. it was his daughter even like was there any indication that he was he's like not supposed to be human like or what it, it, it's a it's basically no. just a human type species. That's what it they, was. Like, they did I don't know if thing, it was human, but it was very close. I, I, they did this thing with the CGI when he was in shadows. He had a little bit of like a skeletal face with no nose, but it was so subtle you could you can miss it easily. And like you know any, what, the second he got into the light, he was just back to Christian. Hey, like, uh, 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 we have we have more breaking news. So uh -oh. Twitter is taking legal action to ensure that Elon Musk buys the company on the price and terms previously agreed. Oh, that, wow. that's what? that's actually Woo! more important than the previous one. Woo! So they're that's desperate to want they want oh, him to so, buy it. Damn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he, he was overpaying. He was well, and, I, and I think they know too that they are in a situation where they have like Elon Musk has probably seen a lot of shit already. What Elon Musk is going to claim, I'll tell you guys right now, what Elon Musk is going to claim is that Twitter did not provide him with all the documents and all the access that he felt like he needed mm -hmm. to go through with this sale. Uh, th that's what he is going to say. So he's not on the hook for a billion dollars or whatever the fuck it was that was yep. the, the penalty. Uh, uh, and now Twitter is going to be saying essentially the exact opposite. Yeah, right, right here. So Twitter says Oof. it will sue Elon Musk to complete the forty-four billion dollar merger Damn. he just rejected, <laughs> and is confident it will prevail. Oh, this, this, is this is interesting, bro. This is interesting. No, that changes Oof. everything, man. Too bad I'm not Dude. doing the show anymore. Well, it's right it's after the expensive guy, that one match. author got reinstated. It probably has nothing to do with it. Uh, that one author got reinstated who sued to get his account back after about a year for posting Alex Brenson? information. Yeah, Brent yes. Berenson. Yeah. Berenson. Yeah. Baron. Look at this idiot number one Claro fan. He should have given the money to all the people oh, of the God. world. Hey, fuck off. I, I would honestly, Ukraine? I, I would I, honestly, I would rather burn forty-four billion dollars in my front yard than just give it to everyone in the world. Not even fucking <laughs> around. Yeah, not everybody deserves it. How about exactly. for eight days yeah. of ammunition in a war that doesn't matter? I mean, people have done worse, right? right? I mean, they want <laughs> right. they want seven hundred fifty right. billion now. I, you know what I yeah. wish though, and this is honestly my my dream. This obviously we're all biased here. But like my fucking dream, I, I, look, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to be the other honorary black guy in the room here. <laughs> I grew up and I had a dream to where you wouldn't be discriminated against Freedom. on YouTube for your political views. Like, because I mean, I mean, and this is not a joke. And this is, I have a point to make here is I understand like the parent companies of YouTube being Google Alphabet, et cetera. And so I know this is not a $44 billion company. This might even be considered a trillion dollar company. Perhaps I don't know if it was sold. I might be way off. I'm not an economist or an economic anonymous, but, uh, but I, but I'm saying like, you know, I, I we've seen more transparently in the United Kingdom, how MPs and, and uh, what's up outward, uh, um, political influence has kicked people off like Tommy Robinson, et cetera, and sort of brought in this, this ushering. Now we saw, of course, even Twitter talking about how they were pressured in the Alex Berenson case to kick him off. 
But with YouTube here, obviously we know, and we we have reps at Blaze, and they say things about restricting accounts. They've talked about it. It's like, man, if some of these guys could come together with some of these venture capitalists that have this sort of investiture money and get a platform like this back on its feet, you know, with over a billion users, I mean, it is because I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not at the point of complaining, but. If people could actually compete on ideas, right? The elites are on are on Twitter, and even the people that are on Twitter are the ones that care about elites. But the common consumer is not on Twitter. The common consumer mm -hmm. is on YouTube. That's where people spend their time, and that's cross generational. Like you don't have nine year olds being like, "Mom, did you see what, you know, what Biden tweeted?" Like that's just not what it is. They're like they're here or TikTok, right? And TikTokers all want to be YouTubers, and YouTubers all want to be TikTokers, and so it's just like, but this is where information is, and so I do, I do, I do commend him on the twitter thing but with teal and some of these other people could you not come together create some sort of an offer to at least buy out a huge portion of youtube so they fucking stop putting these dumb ass channels at the forefront pulling things out of yeah. trending that are important i'm not just talking about politics but just even just cultural ideas i mean even conspiracies or just you know like criticism i mean i mean I, if they're doing that i wouldn't be surprised if even you know these these networks and these studios are getting unfair reviews and criticisms deranked and pulled from from the the platform as well i mean that shit happens and so yeah. you know i mean I, that's where i would love to see america go if we went there that would radically change the western world i mean that that would that would change everything yeah, yeah they brought it on themselves. I mean, uh, I think Berenson was insinuating that it was the government that put pressure on Twitter to get rid of him. Well, he admitted that. Wow. Uh, did he? Okay. So yeah, that's, he, he, well, he implied, but he said, he said, I can't say more, but they had outside yeah. pressure to censor, which the White House said they were pressuring tech companies. They did. Yeah. Two and two they together. Wow. I mean, that's true. That's, that's so fucking that's Chinese of them. Super is super. Ching at Chong CCC. something Wong is yeah. what we say in my house. Yep. So <laughs> Chinese. You have it up on the wall. You know, like a a like a it, what, 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 are, what are those characters? It translates. I think it's Chong is something Wong. <laughs> a tat, it's a tattoo. I, I was thinking about getting orange Wong. chicken, but I got that instead. Um, Ting Wong. That's right. Ting Wong. Way too low. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. Holy fuck! Like, uh, that is that's still one of my favorite moments of like live newscaster television. Yeah, like, okay. we have the list of victims from the plane crash. Uh, something Wong. We too low. Yeah. But you know, you know. If you've, if you've ever done teleprompter work, like I'm, I'm not reading off a teleprompter, but I was before this. I was doing a teleprompter thing. Like sometimes you're reading it and you're like, "Holy shit, what did I just read?" Like, and you're like, "This uh -huh. is my reputation," and you're reading it and like you even have to stop yourself and be like, "I actually don't think that." I like, you know. But imagine you're reading that for the rest of your life. You're on air mocking people. <laughs> Like, was that was that nine eleven or was it just a plane crash? I forget. It was, yeah. it was like a Malaysian plane crash. Oh yeah, or something. I think it was that Malaysian oh, the one plane crash that went out. San Francisco. It makes it worse. It's Asian Airlines. Oh man, it's one of those plane crashes that comes from underneath. A girl oh. died. A girl died uh, when she got run over by the fire truck. Yeah. We have new information now also on the plane crash. KTV has just learned the name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Some Ting Wong. <laughs> too low. Oh man, that's so bad. And bang ding out. <laughs> <laughs> I went to school. I went to school with bang ding out. He was like gonna ding out. Bang ding out is a good guy. <laughs> Not a good pilot, but excellent in algebra. Uh, excellent in algebra. Uh, stop <laughs> Asian hate. <laughs> We need to stop Asian hate. Realize what you did. Oh, oh, no. so the only thing oh, to be no. better if it was like the first responder on the scene was Samuel Hyde. Like, yeah. 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 It'd be like the only thing more meme worthy there. Oh, Black box audio shows that Sam Hyde was in the cockpit, <laughs> took the plane down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Holy I shit. I think uh, Bang Ting Ao was my favorite one. I just never yeah. think about that one. That's the best one. Dude, Bang Ting Ao. Ao is did, it, you, did you see? Did you see that that thing that just came out the other day? Well, I don't know if it came out the other day, but I, it's what's like trending about the um, bagger, the the airplane bagger who literally went out in Alaska Airlines, towed one of their planes, hijacked one of their planes. I don't know why we never got this on our mainstream. Dude, are media. you talking about Sky King? Sky oh, King. Yeah. That's like well, you're no, not I'm, supposed to say bagger with a hard R. I'm saying like I'm saying like, I know it's like I know it's like trending again, and I'm going. It is pretty crazy. Some crazy things do happen. Where like I was, I had to check to see if it was like a meme or what actually happened. And I was like, you know, I guess if you're doing the news, you probably hear so much dumb shit, you don't even know it's true anymore. Like I, I mean, I give them the benefit of the doubt. No, they lie all day, so you're just re you're just reading some yeah. like, another dumb shit. No, Sky mm -hmm. King, poor Sky Not King. It. Sky when King, was that? Man. That was what years ago, right? It was 18, 2018 or 19. Yeah, I think. It was why is it trending now? Because uh, he's a legend, all right? Yeah, because he was actually the ghost of Kiev. That's why. Yes. <laughs> uh, 
Oh shit. <laughs> oh, I, we my. have an update actually on Ripaverse. Um <laughs> hey, <laughs> well, why'd they get the books first, Ripper? Why'd they get the oh, books man. first? Hey, man, they paid good money, man. They paid good money. Oh, man. They pay in US dollars, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got one of those one of those helicopters, man. I've been one of those Damn. for a while. Wow. Night vision goggles ain't cheap. Yeah, it's a fair, fair trade. It's a fair trade. Like ten new wives. I, I am approaching the point of too many fucking tabs here. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh yeah. Oh, your your you computer is just like kill me. No, I got. I got now a meta you P say that. I got Meta PC. Use code RK Outpost for a discount. That'll fucking handle as many tabs as I can possibly you open. How many tabs would shut yeah. down Thern? Jesus. Uh, I am probably worse you, than you, Ryan. I have like yeah. three browser windows with like 40 tabs. That's Jesus. ridiculous. Yeah, that's yeah, I'm pretty sure I kill like Ryan, 30 yeah. gigs of memory just because of my browser. It's all midget porn though, tabs. right? Comments? Uh, oh, <laughs> we talked for, about this. Not on him, air, dude. It's Come just on. Just regular <laughs> porn. Wow. Smaller people, smaller bandwidth. It's, 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 it's More <laughs> energy. Yeah. You would think. You would think. You would think. <laughs> oh my god uh so chrissy uh you you uh you loved thor love and thunder i really liked the scene where <laughs> oh, oh my god that's cute why am i the black one <laughs> I, think, I see that You're damn face lesbian. pop up everywhere man that nerd erotic face that... oh it's turned out pretty well yeah yeah, yeah it's thanks really a lot good black it's, it's really you're good. welcome legion. Really good. <laughs> shout out to the legion of memers out there continue to meme the fuck out of us that's what we're here for yep. we're it's here for beautiful. your entertainment i liked the black and white world i thought that was like pretty cool visually like i know i don't know anything but i was like they really i think they really did a good job of making it look different and like the how they took the co all the color out but it was, it was the only notable thing bit. of the cinematography to be honest like because all the other stuff was pretty by the numbers that was the only unique thing about it from a cinematographic cinematographic Cine cinematographic cinematography wow. what are you joe biden I'm, I'm oh my god and you still don't know how to talk i can't yeah. speak yeah. words <laughs> he's speaking that was a i don't big do word, words though. that was a really big word it repeat was. cinematography now oh, I, I have a question for odin since he's here now um what is like i know the rumor going around the oh, reported man. budget is 250 million dollars yep. is that accurate that's what IndieWire reported so that that's the last number that i saw being reported and so it's break even based off of that is roughly around 625 million to break even God. and so are we accounting for the delays so you really can't do that because okay. you have to, if you're going to go down the route, you have to then say, okay, well then let's count other revenue streams. Let's count all these other things that could, you know, raise or lower the ultimate price. I've heard some places where they report 20% of the budget is just set aside for reshoot, reshoots just in case, since they're very common. So yeah, 625 million sounds about right. But what's interesting is that because it is already going below where Dr. Strange was, if it has similar drops and a lower weekend, we could potentially see the film maybe barely break even. Um, and there is a scenario out there where it flops, but we'll have to wait Ooh. and see what the numbers actually are. We yeah, do. I see those numbers dropping pretty quickly. Yeah, I don't well, know. I think it's. I think it has enough appeal to. Dude, most the mass Marvel audience mm -hmm. I know hate this movie. Yeah, I don't know. I I snuck into a theater and found a kind of a shitty seat because it was pretty full. It was a pretty full theater. Miles every like, single India's theater that I looked at, like no, every single theater I looked at, I looked at six different theaters in my area. All of the show times, they were all full. It was yeah. just the very front row and the very back row. And, I had and yet with all back. of that, it's still expected because uh, the opening weekend was originally projected worldwide to be 300 million. The opening weekend for Doctor Strange 2 was 450. So even yeah. with all of that going on, it's still expected to come in 150 less than what Doctor Strange was. Ouch. And so I, I did the numbers on it, and basically that's around thirty percent less. If that holds, no. then you're looking at it capping out of around six hundred fifty million or so. Now, again, lots Yikes. of stuff could happen. There's still a lot of things out there, but it's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be very front loaded. But how high does it get that opening weekend, and then what kind of drop off do we oh, see? Oh, don't worry, Wakanda Forever will totally make a billion. Yeah, dollars. domestically, right. yes, I absolutely think. That. I love that. I we actually think it actually has a chance. Frame of that movie, we have but still not they, seen a frame. Not they're one. No, but they're going to turn it into that in February. To be honest, well, also they're going to turn that into. My prediction is they're going to turn that into a Chadwick Boseman memorial, and that yeah. is going to get mm -hmm. a lot of audiences domestically, especially the African American audiences, to show mm -hmm. up for it. 
I yeah. mean, let's just be honest with that. Wakanda Forever? <laughs> it's like Southside Chicago. I mean, just like, say I don't, black I don't people. Even... <gasps> yeah, just like, say black people. Why don't you say African American audience? Wakanda like Americans. Because that's the vast majority <laughs> Elon of Elon Musk is going to go watch Wakanda Forever. Elon Musk is like, oh, I didn't buy Twitter. Uh, I like you Wakanda America. Americans. <laughs> yeah. A Wakanda yeah. America. The isolationist there. Wakanda, the nationalist Wakanda that put a wall around their country. They're kind of yeah. cool, actually. Wouldn't and share so, their wealth with the rest <laughs> of the has, continent. Wouldn't share their wealth with the other, yeah. you know. W Wakanda was base as fuck till Chadwick yeah. Boseman pushed him out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what a bitch. <laughs> They were totally MAGA. They were totally MAGA. And then Where's they dropped meme? the that ethno meme. state. And, Bro, you know, that meme, yeah. that meme pisses the they let Martin Freeman in and off so bad. bad. <laughs> that'll show you. Yeah, that'll show the. That'll show the right wing a a resource narcissistic uh, environment where it's an ethno state and you don't allow anyone in, specifically anyone who's not like you, to just show those right wing Nazis that they're wrong. And I was like, I, I watched that movie too. I was like, I don't know if this is giving the message out there that I think you're trying to give. And it's technologically advanced too, so it's China. Is you know, and then they try to do, they try to make Wakanda in when I it, like in Chaz, you know, and Chop up in up in uh, Seattle. Yeah, no. They they tried Wakanda and they, they got close to building a, a super city. I mean, they had a farm in in the middle of the park and they killed. Yeah, two and people. like a soccer field. Yeah, they had a tarp full of dirt that they were growing crops on. They had a black only area. <laughs> there you go. There you go. This is why Ryan liked the first half of uh, Black Panther. Oh, right here. by the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anti immigration. Wow. Isolation. <laughs> 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 no nationalist. Uh, yeah. This was anti diversity. <laughs> That's so the, funny. Yeah, all about it. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that Black uh, Panther is such like a fucking overrated movie. Like dude, it, 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 totally it makes no sense. You're you're in this place where like <laughs> Shuri is like the only person in their like tech department somehow, and it's just like the most <laughs> insane level of shit. They have these these things that can do anything you want, yet the vast majority of Wakanda is just living in these fucking like Sri Lanka slums. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, let, let's walk among the fucking peasants, and they're just Talk living in poverty. We'll just like, like dog spaceships over everybody on. Uh, camels or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, were xeno, they were xenophobes and they did it well. I they did it did. well. <laughs> they made xenophobia cool again. Uh, Jeremy yeah, just recognized this. I noticed this. As has time to tweet about eating bars of butter, but he doesn't have enough <laughs> time for a glass. That's, right. Wow. That's right. Ew. That's right. That's right. Bars of as butter. has time to tweet, but he doesn't have time for Friday night. Friday night Wait, what's his what's his at? What's his at? I just want to randomly read. Hot toys. Boys. H, oh, yeah. H A W T. W -T. Toys yeah. with a Z, or yeah, is I'll it? show you. It's in with this picture S. right here. Over the side. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, my gosh! Yes. Of all the things to show. <laughs> you got hackers you in your mess. You got memes and hackers. That's real. <laughs> did you guys see the camera in your room? Right did now. you guys see that Disneyland's Instagram and uh, Facebook got hacked the other day? Yes. No. Yes. No. It was from your video. Yeah, so I did a video a little <laughs> bit before we started, and it's, uh, oh my god, I, I need to pull it up because some of it's just so fucking funny. They've got all the naughty words censored, so let me pull up the article. Daily Mail, so it'd be a million fucking ads, but whatever. Yeah, that, uh, that site's ugh, so bad with ads, dude. It's really, really bad. Hacker David Do or David Doe, I don't know who it's supposed to be. David but, Duke? Uh, <laughs> no, no. I don't think David Duke knows yeah. how to use a computer. Um, <laughs> I do know he endorsed Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden, though. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it is. So it's ads, shit. Dude, Jesus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Yeah, but and you I'm already ready. have so many tabs open, it's going to crash. Yeah, it's running <laughs> like a fucking boss because I got a meta PC. Use code RK Outpost. Uh, <laughs> and you can have as many tabs hey, as me. Yeah, meta PC didn't email me. Yeah, yeah by the way, uh, Ryan, 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 will, Ryan will have more on his new channel called the RK Outposting, where his channel will be under attack. So, uh, yes. <laughs> no space, no space in between there. Uh, <laughs> Disneyland's Instagram and Facebook pages are taken over by super hacker who shares racist posts and threatens black people with deadly virus in revenge for staff mocking me for having a small penis. <laughs> oh, wow. Walt Disney's back nice. from the dead. Oh! X-ray, X-ray, girl. Hacked it. uh, <laughs> wow. So it's on, it's on Disneyland's thing. This was up for like just under an hour, but it's funny. It's got like three thousand likes. 
My name is David Dew or David Doe. I am a super hacker that is here to bring revenge upon Disneyland. I am fucking tired of all these N-word Disney employees mocking me for having a small penis. Who's the <laughs> tough guy now, Jerome? Get hacked, you effing Fs. Uh, oh, but it's a random Get name hacked. out there. Dude, it got better. Wow. Look, thinking about that time I invented COVID and blamed it on <laughs> Wuhan. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. I don't think I don't think this is next rate. This is Perry Chan. This is oh Perry Chan. Chan. Perry Chan. Perry Chan. Perry Chan. Perry Chan. Oh my god. This, this is one yeah. of my favorites. I'm working on COVID-20. You N-words better hide before I release this new deadly virus. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Look at this one. Oh, oh, no. Lord. Disney. Wow. Now, it, yeah, so this is up for like an hour. Not very family friendly. <laughs> Ironically, more family friendly than some of their actual content. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but oof. <laughs> more family friendly than Baymax, that's for sure. Yeah. Mm. Hey, wait, breaking news. Young Rippa's video just passed 100K. I saw that. Woo! Woo! Nice. Nice. Yeah. 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 Is that, is that Elijah Schaefer uh, bump? Appreciate it. Right. Hey, well, I, yeah. I, I, I did. I did. Uh, I, you got at least sixty views. I did retweet. <laughs> I did retweet Hot Toys. He said. He said, if I knew you could literally eat bars of butter on keto, I would have started years ago. I said, we all know what you mean by butter in quotations, and we're all happy for you and your new boyfriend. It's sincerely, Friday Night Street. So. <laughs> <laughs> Warm and melted. Enjoy it, my friend. Oh, good. Uh, good. Thank you. That's good. Yeah, he, <laughs> has, he deserved that. He deserved all right, here. That. So. Legion of memers, uh, I'm I'm on test X-ray girl to see. Do you do you see the meme X-ray girl? Do you see the Which... meme? <laughs> There's not a casting couch or something. Oh no! I like how I, I like how X-ray girls like um. Is is that like a backroom casting couch or something? <laughs> Pretend no, I had like... to look at it. I didn't know what you that know. was. You know, Ryan looks like really creative? excited to watch that video. By the way, <laughs> Ryan looks really excited. No, hey, there's several videos that look exactly like that in my search history. So. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, God. Elijah's <laughs> imitating a typical Ryan video. He just like that's <laughs> <laughs> right. Are, not Odin. Um, Garrett looks so sad. <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> oh man <laughs> <laughs> yes and we are over twelve thousand live Whoa. stream Woo! viewers yeah. thank you guys wow. 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 And, and we gotta mention again we obviously ripa announced the launch of the ripa verse had his big debut little teaser trailer that he dropped and are we close to eight thousand signups on the ripa verse website yeah, where now are we at? We, we are at link in the description. Right. Seven thousand nine hundred forty-three. So nice. Nice. Oh, we wow. we want to get that to ten thousand by the end of this stream. That's the goal. This. So okay. let's do it. Com. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Look, the best thing the best thing you can do is humble a motherfucker like Ripa because it's hard as fuck. So if Aww. we could get him to ten thousand, like it's a rip it happened. It happened at, at the meetup in Dallas. Like yeah. I, th I think he was blown That's away, sure. and I, it's it, sure. it's rare that you see him blown away by something. So let's get mm. ten thousand, and uh, hell let's, yeah, uh, let's hell yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome, uh, man. Real quick, Appreciate I gotta go to so. super chat because they said I was right, and it, I hear that so little because I'm married. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah. I want to read it. So, Psychic Girl for ten dollars says, "Okay, Gary, you were right about the boys. There was some good character stuff to start. Jensen is great, but the last episode was so insulting and rushed. Soldier Boy became the John Walker of the show. Yeah. So, um, I read the comic books, and Soldier Boy is like way worse than he was in the show. By the way, mm. uh, <laughs> Chrissy. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Soldier Boy." Yeah, so, soldier, soldier boy. boy, soldier boy, yeah, soldier boy, uh, <laughs> like, likes to catch <laughs> a Superman. Um, that oh, yeah. yeah. So in the comic books, um, yeah. So yeah, I, uh, that's why I knew they were taking the character. I just knew they were. Did you like the January six reference? Loved it. I loved it yeah. in Star Trek and in the boys. Yeah. <laughs> like, so topical. Yeah, I was like, oh, Viking guy. Of love, you know, at all. But, uh, there you go. Cool video 101 for 
Wait, what do we got here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what is? I can't wait. Spoiler <laughs> alarm. It's I'm really, actually. I need yeah. to tweet that right I'm now. Pretty, it's I'm Pink pretty Panther. <laughs> We're like White Panda. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Listen, I've been told representation and diversity is important. I agree. Representation is very important. It is important. Do you feel important. seen, Ryan? Do you feel seen? <laughs> yeah, I'm here to bring Wakanda back to its roots. Nationalism, baby. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of this globalist bullshit. <laughs> you can't gentrify <laughs> Wakanda. <laughs> oh, As, what are you doing out here, man? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just because oh. you're so mean. Uh, I'm so, uh, I'm so uh, I hate seeing that. That's oh, quarter crack thing. Garrett right quarter there. Quarter crack Garrett right there. <laughs> Look at did that perfect that, framing of that. God. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that meme? He has a better butt. He has a better butt. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that. Poor oh. Man. <laughs> Still better than Thor, though. Still better. Just than for Thor. the record, <laughs> I, I would never <laughs> ever be in that position ever. What the pizza, oh. pizza, pizza would have already hey. been. Hey. What, what if you're on a beach and race? somebody's giving birth? There's not. You're the only guy. There's not a pizza in the world. Somebody oh, no. in the yeah. office. You're starving. And yeah, then post you are yeah. starving. Oh, no. And that pizza, which one do you eat? <laughs> That's yeah. so wow. good. That's the, <laughs> yeah. the reflection, too. The reflection. I don't oh, like the, here. the detail. Oh, wow. Shout out to grand old memes on that oh, wow. one. It's so good, dude. God. <laughs> that is all time right there. And this is someone <laughs> running for Congress, right? Yeah, yeah. No, she's a yeah. senator. Well, yeah, she's a okay. senator. Yeah. Okay. Like, you know, grand old grand memes office. makes them all on his phone or whatever I, that's really part. yeah what the hell? that's awesome yeah that i met, I met him once right but he, he's like he's like i do it all on my phone and i was like how do you i don't know wow. do that. that doesn't make sense yeah. well i yeah, mean I, I guess i can made. i can appreciate that uh that's maybe, what maybe that's what her YouTube. maybe that's what her constituents want you know they, they want <laughs> they want twerking on the beach so i, I, I mean know. you guys yeah. should know she was on the show I, I, <laughs> Jesus. Wow. What the hell? You guys, are, it was last week. <laughs> I, I never wow. thought I'd be, yeah, her, her I never thought I'd be an stunk. advocate for like 930 second trimester abortions, but yeah, whoever that woman is. Oh. It's looking oh. like that at all, but I mean. I wasn't paying yeah. attention. It's time. easy to, you know, forget. she thinks she's trolling us, but she's just like, I don't know. She's like a cellulite commercial, but I honestly, I, I don't, she, she goes out, she makes all these ma banners, right? Twerking for abortion, twerking for trans rights, twer twerking for non-binary people. And they're like, I didn't know all the right wing was mad. Like, dude, we're not mad. You just have no decorum. And I'm like, we all shit around and like make, make jokes, but it's like, we want our ladies in our country to not be the disgusting, ugly shits. That's our jobs. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, so it's it's such a weird thing where it's like oh you're against a woman twerking it's like well i mean it's like an uncivilized like mating call that people do in when they're out drunk which is fine you can do whatever you want but it's like you're a sitting like, state senator or whatever and your idea is to flash your vajayj almost in your cellulite thighs i mean i i don't know what like, i mean like, being serious about it i watched them like i'm not mad it's not the right <clears> thing i'm just like humiliated for my country just like you don't it's also have to trade yeah. respectability for yeah. relatability and i just yeah. think that i don't know how old she is but like she just feels like well, this is what it's I also have hypocritical to do. yeah well, it's, it's, it's hypocritical it's like i'm gonna defend you know women's rights and it's like you're setting women's rights back no. hundreds of years by doing that kind after, of garbage after saying she was mad she also said that listen uh whoever she responding to i went to harvard <laughs> and i'm a sitting oh, okay. state senator and it's well, the only thing it made it look harvard look dumber and yep. uh, yeah, and and the entire country looked dumber. So no, it, like, it does. Her constituents yeah. look dumber. I, well, I think it's the Gucci good. thing. It's a Gucci model. Do you know, like uh, Snooki? I don't know if you I just dated myself. Oh, was uh, was was wearing? I think she had. Um, I'm pretty sure she is one or the other. I think she was wearing Louis Vuitton bags or whatever around. And Louis Vuitton didn't want her yeah. to represent the company because they're like, dude, then our bags look trash. Was it was it Gucci? I think or was uh, it? I think it was uh, Gucci. They, yeah, because they were like, we will pay you to me. not. Yeah, so they oh, started man. sending her tons of free Gucci. They gave her like a fake Gucci sponsorship and started sending her all this like Gucci stuff. I might have the brand wrong. That that's good if I don't know my purses. I'll uh, no. I'll, I'll move to Ryan on that one. But yeah, uh, yeah. I I was just saying. <laughs> Kate, 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 Kate Spade's the one that killed herself, right? Those yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The scarf well, in a closet. Killed herself. But mm -hmm. I will say that that then like that worked and then she started carrying on Gucci and then people started seeing Gucci bags as being like lower class and cheaper and like it actually works. So like decorum matters on how you represent and you and you reflect yourself. This was literally a you ain't black moment. Like it was just like a look, I'm mm -hmm. black. This is what black people do. And it's like I feel like if I was black, 
I mean, I I mean, that's a weird statement, but I just feel like <laughs> as as an American, I feel bad being that they're thirteen percent of our population. That this is what a sitting government official would think we should do in our nation to represent yeah. an entire racial populace. Is like this is how we act, and it's like I don't think I don't think Eric has done that in two weeks. I, so. I think uh, I, I personally responded by saying she was oppressed. She she yeah. followed by I went to Harvard. I'm a sitting senator. I went and twerked, whatever, it's free country, and I'm being oppressed. So That's oppressed bullshit. on your beach after you went to Harvard. <laughs> yeah. I think Brown and University also, too, right? I'm pretty she's sure. not even being oppressed by pants. That's like, like <laughs> Also, she she's just she's furthering totally her own afraid. oppression by turning herself into an object for everyone's uh, glorification. Well, I mean, like all she's doing oppressed. is setting herself back. She Ain't nobody gone to an Ivy League school <laughs> or be a state senator. Come on. All right. Her That's... twerking video or the new Thor? Anyone? Twerking uh, video. Do you think it's I, I think it's it's, 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 my eyes. It's shorter. Memers. If she got hurt doing that, would she get Twerkman's comp? Oh, oh wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Personally, and like you completely the other side. I, I think that this is this is the new like relatability move for politicians. It used to be like go in front of like some blue collar workers and like with no jacket, no tie, and with like, just the TikTok world. Up. Yeah, saying yeah. hey, this is how this is how I relate to a normal everyday American. <clears throat> this is the new thing. We're just going to see government officials fucking twerking. So that, that's twerk. the new standard, guys. Get Please ready twerk. for it. I don't, yeah. People get mad that I have like autistic dolls on my show and things like that. I'm just trying to relate. This we're dumbing down of America. I'm mean, genuinely like I, you know, I I feel like that that is the funny thing though is like. Because we have so many people watching, I'll just plug it. It's slightly offensive. My podcast. You should subscribe on on YouTube if you are kind of retarded because we all are. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, you know, like I'm on there and people are like, you know, this is not a serious show. You have you collect uh diversity Barbies. I have a diversity coalition. You know, like I just got my new hearing aid Barbie, um, and it's really awesome. And so like I'm really happy. I literally have a Down syndrome Barbie from Down Under. It's an Australian Down syndrome Barbie. Um, I have a Antifa doctor named John Hacker whose face was blown off in Black Lives Matter protests. So we're really getting our people. People go, <laughs> you're supposed to be a serious show. You collect Barbies, and I just go, that is sad. that is a serious show in 2022. Like this is as serious yeah. as it gets. I mean, I'm not not showing my vagina, so. Yeah, I mean that's we're we're doing a little bit better. I, I'm not, but I'm not joking though. People even say that it's like, oh yeah, what is seriousness anymore? Like, there's nothing that's legitimate, and that's why normal people have to be YouTubers and just go out there and make content because people are so out of touch. Like, nobody wants a leader. Nobody wants a parent who's like, we're best friends. Like, you want a parent who's an authority figure who loves you, who's able to be friendly with you, but you don't want a parent who's like, tell me your sex stories. Let me uh, show me how you twerk, baby. Like, watching parents film their kids like on TikTok, like I'm sixteen cool year olds in bikinis, like twerking, yeah. and you're like, that's it's not realistic. cool. You don't that's not that's not relatable. Like know your fucking role. You're a you're a parent and be a goddamn parent, please. Yep. And so then it's like with the with the politicians, it's, you don't have to be a politician, you don't have to be a leader of people, but at least be a fucking leader and try to yes. do something genuinely professional for like 10 minutes, you know, for like for 10 freaking minutes, at least try to do this. And this this I'm gonna say this, they gotta take back their shit on Madison Cawthorn. Because they're like, oh, Madison Cawthorn's unprofessional acting sexual and stuff, you know. First of all, he's in a wheelchair. That's already hard. Okay, that's real oppression. Disabilities are hard. He knows what it's like to not be able to get around. It's hard to stand up for his nation. And so that kind of stuff is difficult. But it's like you're mad at him for some sexual stuff and then some girl, you know, flashing her vag and twerking and stuff. And then you're like, oh, but that's cool because she's black. What does it say about your thoughts about black people? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. just genuinely, yeah. it's like, that's crazy. Bigotry of low expectations. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what it is. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, also, you know, like it, it's that everything is content that we're dealing <laughs> with now. Thanks to fucking TikTok. So we TikTok. have that fucking nurse uh, mourning a dead yeah. patient oh. on her seventh take. And that's why, uh, like for her and for the for that mom you mentioned, their phone should be just taken away. I mean, yeah. it's just like it, it, you, if yeah. you're that irresponsible, that's just absolutely. Yeah, that was pathetic. I'm it's wanting TikTok to get your now, 15 so. minutes of fame. They want that 15 minutes of fame, and they'll do whatever it takes to get it, including exploiting their own children. It's mm. the red light laws, like the red flag laws. It's like red light. It's like petition to have their phones taken away. You know, so it's like you're too sexual on camera. Red light laws. We're gonna start reporting people. Confiscate. We're which is we've lost we've lost the ability to have standards and you know <laughs> mental health and mental weakness is celebrated and encouraged so much yeah. now um and there's too many people we've we've moved into the everybody gets a trophy mentality where it's like no everybody doesn't get a fucking trophy you know what i mean no everybody doesn't win uh, and yes you have to work hard to earn things in life and and that's not being encouraged anymore at all 
Dude, yeah, yeah, I think he really hit it with the whole thing with the lack of standards. I mean, this is what happens when we start dropping standards. They just keep getting lower and lower and lower. Yep. And lower yeah. and lower. And lower. Hey, just to prove it's the MCU. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chrissy's already, Chrissy's already oh, ordered. Chrissy's like already ordered. I know. I I know. Like, oh, oh, my God. God. It's only $20. I, I will just point out that they do this for every single Marvel release. Yeah. You, 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 can, yeah. you can look at Infinity War. You can look at a bunch of them. That They've been doing this for a long time. But what are the reviews? With a bunch of different franchises. Yeah, like, no. Why does it have a 4.8? Who gave it a one star? You. you know? Probably a dude. I did. <laughs> yeah, Gary. This, this Loki lo eyeliner just really does not, you know, it's work very well. So easily. I know. It's... <laughs> but yeah, getting that back like, to that main point. Where, where it's just... for that desert man. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you lose you know when a nation loses its moral principles its moral foundation that's when it crumbles and you've seen it happen in history whenever there has been a a nation whether it's been around for however many years as soon as the moral morality of the culture goes into the dumps it's not long after that it crumbles is that why well, the movies are... suck i mean genuinely it's like we have no <laughs> no yes yes they're hiring well, they're no hiring standard. at no, they they're, they're going no out of their way to hire activists. Yeah, well, they're, they're going the out of their way to hire all of our entire country, like going down. You're going to start seeing them go down in sports. They've been trying. Except for, for the while. economy, best in the in history. Wait, this is so good. <laughs> Stunning Kim history. in the chat said, "I'm ordering my rip a purse on Monday." Uh, <laughs> I cannot. I, I can oh, go purse. ahead and decline if that's <laughs> not a thing. You and Sarah <laughs> Thomas can do rip a purse. Rip a purse. Rip a purse. Rip a purse. Yeah, Sarah Gonzalez for that. Y'all go there get some. Um, uh, cool video, one on one for fifty dollars. Thank you very much. I love you and your channel, Eric. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. We're cool. Don't worry about it. I mean, uh, I'm really excited <laughs> for this. The trailer was excellent, and I'll be sure to pre-order the book. I can't wait to get it all. All hail the Ripperverse. All hail FNT. There we go. And all hail the Dutch farmers. Hell, oh yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. 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 Fucking ballers yeah. they are. Get out. Hey, Did you that. see they stole that jet? Yeah, they stole dude. a jet off they of took, they, bought a tank. they bought a fucking tank. No shit. Uh, let's yeah. go. Like, yes. Wow. Dude. And the Italian farmers are getting in on it now. And then uh, yeah. the citizenry like uh, started going in on it too. Right after the cops shot at them. Yep. So yeah, shit's going down. Turns out Look, you take away people's right to farm. They get a little mad. Well, well, not only that, dude, it's like they're projecting like food shortages by the fall, and they're telling you these farmers it. not to grow food. It's like, they're what the fuck is wrong with you? Well, food hold up, shortage. comics. I see that shirt you're wearing. Yeah, yeah, they're trying to create yes. a food shortage. Oh. That, that's what's happening right in front of us. Like, we can't, well, let's pretend not to say anything on fuck YouTube. They're trying to create uh -huh. a food shortage. A hundred fuck, over a hundred food processing plants have burned down in this country. Now they're trying to stop farmers from farming before we go Oh, before we run out of fucking food. What do you think is fucking going on? Exactly. I mean, they just lied to us for the last two fucking years. Oh, oh well, maybe they'll start telling the truth now. Fuck no. Jesus Christ, people. That's well, they like, want you to eat million? the bugs, right? They million? open up that plant oh, yeah. in Canada. We'll, we'll, we'll pull that video. Oh, up. I got the video. Get, get your food buckets, everybody. Seriously, start stocking up. Get a freezer. Yeah. Start uh, yeah. mylar bagging get food. Tuna. Do it now. Well, it's going to be, you know, we'll be fine, dude. It's going to be the other countries that, like, won't be fine. Like Mexico will not be fine. Yeah. We had to get uh, they're gonna we flood to get into baby, We had to get baby formula from like some other countries, which yes. is fucking insane. Insane. Powder. Fucking powder that probably has mercury in it. So be careful. Don't give them to your kids. I that, got a package in the mail from, from that had baby Columbia? formula in it. And I never asked. They just sent mm. it to my house. Really? That's yeah. That's and you're weird. I'm like, I thought we were in a shortage. They're yeah, like, we know he has a lot of kids. Like, just send it. I wouldn't use that. <laughs> he'll, he'll use it. No, it's like when you have. It's like after you have a baby, they you're like on a list to you. It, yeah, you get on a list, and they send out oh, like to try to get you to like purchase our product. Same thing with like when I would when I turned like I don't know sixteen or some shit. They they sent like razor. Like you get a razor from Gillette or something when you turn sixteen. I don't know. They try to transition you. I don't think so. <laughs> Quarter block. Find the bug eating video. I got it. You got a uh, right now. Plastic oh, face. Nicole Kidman. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I do this every day. I eat bugs all day. No. Oh, uh, I am going to eat all cost meal of bugs. 
This is Hunger Games shit. Like, did she fuck up somewhere and have to do this? Yeah, my Who's good in the North? Should have had her on the Odyssey games, Chrissy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, she looks like somebody gosh. that eats it every day. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's what happened good. to her face. Just remember, folks, Very she nice. won't be eating the bugs. You will. Quite describe the flavor. She's making it cool for you. <sighs> yeah. Water. <laughs> Let's try the second glass, shall we? Just a little side note. Two billion people in the world eat bugs, and uh, one of them is here. Yeah, right. Go. Sure, you are. Mm -hmm. Some me worms. You're like bugs was the name of the it's cow we killed. Like when survivor. No. That is a um, fruity taste. I'd recommend it. Here we have. Oh. People. Oh. Crickets. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh. Soil and green. Like nothing you've ever tasted. Yeah, they like do change the view and zoom away. A hairy nut. Let's see her eat them by the yes. handful. Like a hairy oh nut. A so hairy natural. nuts. <laughs> Take that and quote and put it on the shirt. The yeah, she, you're right. She's probably mm. spitting them out between takes. Yeah, she's not swallowing. No. Okay, if you fry anything, you would it's know, probably Christy. tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> she's These a spitter. Exquisite. So when's she wow. going to try the... Uh, How does her chin wipe? When's she going to try though, the snow know. piercer Thank block of protein so that's made out of roaches? Yeah. The next time. It's the micro cattle that gets me. Like it just the rebranding is what gets me. Mm -hmm. and that's it's a, that's when you know. Like shameless plug, we actually just released. We've been for the last two months. We've been tracking this, and we just released a whole episode today, like in depth about the carbon tags and what they're what they're doing. Uh, the the planned starvation that's coming. Mm -hmm. And what's so crazy is people always asking. Like two months ago, we go, hey, they're going to try to shut down farms. Here's what's going to happen. And they go, well, how'd you know this? You go, literally last August, <clears throat> the Dutch in their parliament, the prime minister got caught lying about having interactions with Klaus Schwab and the, and the World Economic Forum on this. And he got called out by one of the, the new uh, uh, congressmen. And they came in and said, hey, so you know Klaus Schwab, you know the Great Reset. You're trying to basically – basically insinuating you're going to try to take our country and kill the people and reset the world. And then the prime minister was like, no, I never heard of the book. I don't know who that is. And he's like, oh, I actually have this letter between you guys actually here. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> he's like, oh, it was it, – I didn't read it. It was just a, a – it was actually uh, – it was a nice sure. letter. And he's like, oh, but you told them this is a great vision for the world. So did you lie to me or did you lie to him? And it yeah. was like, and it's like, so it's like the Dutch Damn. in August are, are working with the World Economic Forum. And then you're like, I wonder how a year later they're shutting down, uh, you know, their food supplies. Like, well, just yep. listen to them. They freaking get caught all the time. And everyone's like, no, that's not happening. There's no way. You know, mm -hmm. what, this next Marvel movie, it's actually going to be good. And it's like, learn yeah, from right. what you've seen, my friend. And then on Please. top of BlackRock buying properties everywhere and Bill Gates buying land everywhere. They're going to make it so we can't stone. even have and our Black own farms. Stone investing into Black all stone. the entertainment companies, which yes, is an G -stores. Of Black Rock. Kardashians totally building their compounds. I'm just saying they're growing their own food, getting their own livestock. I mean, you look at what the billionaires are doing. Yeah. I say the Kardashians, they're hot and stupid, but they're, you know, yeah, they're it's pretty smart business wise. I mean, they smart know what people doing. around them. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them are buying land in New Zealand. I'm just saying, I mean, like, yeah, they're like literally learning how to grow their own crops and stuff. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, I just feel like you see, you, you see everything crumbling, but it's with so much money, like, cause we have so much wealth in our country. So we still have the, the greatest entertainment industry per se in the entire world. Even though you start seeing that in order to get a good storyline on Netflix, you have to watch a foreign film. I mean, it's genuinely, like if you want to see anything halfway decent, you know, in anime, you kind of have to get something foreign going on in yeah. order to find something that's interesting to watch yeah. so i and, and you see with food too i mean if you want to get something good it's got to be imported or it's got to be from a small farm it can't be from any major company and american culture is just these corporations that give us an illusion that somehow we still have a society but it's all about mm -hmm. selling us out about destroying our gut our liver about yep. killing us and like making us depressed and then they tell us oh you're depressed because you haven't taken your ssris they pump us with pills and it's like it's cartel shit like it's like mexico i watch this video there was someone like, this is so evil. It was a cartel person. They were like, how could she go on camera and admit this? She was like, our goal is to get the drugs out to people. I don't use them, but we get them up to America. We get them hooked and they become customers for life. And I, and I know it's killing people and it's hurting people, but it's making us rich. And everyone in the comments is like, how could she do this? I'm like, dog, go to every board of directors of almost every major product company in the world, whether it's entertainment destroying our minds, whether it's, it's uh, music destroying our souls, whether it's the food destroying our bodies, and whether it's the products we use destroying our value system 
and even breaking our families and our relationships apart. Like mm-hmm. this stuff is killing us. It's destroying us. Tinder, uh, you know, all these things destroy dating. I mean, but they don't care because mm-hmm. they're getting rich and they're not going to suffer. This is where you see in collapsed societies like Venezuela, even I would say somewhat like Brazil, right? You always have the ultra rich and then you have everyone else competing for the scraps. It's like, it feels yeah. like that's what, that's what we're doing here. Even with movies, it just feels like we just get it's the like shit do, thrown at it's, us. It's yeah. like do instant gratification till you're middle age and then the result of your all your bad decisions finally hits you and that's when you get on all the pills to mm-hmm. and like to numb the pain because you're like fuck i or to get a boner yeah or that well it's like elijah just said like we are fed all of this garbage and if you even slightly disagree heretic you're an evil racist yes. homophobe it's like, but I just the don't religion. like the, the latest. Well, that's, hey, that's true, they too, but I also cult. don't like it. I'm just kidding. It's like, they create this cult <laughs> of, of cult. people in America. It's just yeah. fucking a cult because that, that's that is how it functions. It functions in a in a cult fashion. If you slightly disagree, you have to be unpersoned. Oh, yeah. I like that poll, Odin, by the way. I think that's yeah. good. Pineapple on pizza. That's or- an unfair poll. No. It's one of the few polls. <laughs> hey, poll. I had to give a poll where pineapple <laughs> on pizza poll. actually wins for a change. So there you go. There you go. There you go. Gary, Gary right. will say pineapple on pizza Rick. got 81 million votes. So let, let <laughs> Gary go with 81 million <laughs> votes. So, most secure poll uh, in the history <laughs> yeah. of YouTube polls. Hey, Gary is like holding up whiteboards. Is this a thing? Go on. Is this a thing? Pineapple on pizza? People don't like it here. It's disgusting. No, no, it's, it's gross. I terrible. I love it. I love it's, it. it's heresy. That's what you say? No. Heresy. It is. Pineapple, terrible. Canadian bacon, yeah, cheese. Yeah, it's fine. I knew it. and buffalo sauce. It's that's anathema. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. most food. I mean, like like people that have these like weird things with food. Like pretty much most things that uh, like, said is that is like much- that it's someone put time into. Like I'll like like I, I don't yeah. want to go eat a shitty burger that's just disgusting and dry from some place. But it's like if you make me some bomb pizza, pretty much any flavor you put on, it, as long as you like <clears> thought <throat> through it, I'll probably enjoy it. I don't this know. is how bad pineapple on pizza is. You have to put. You can't put it up against regular pizza. Oh. You have to put it up against. <laughs> Bugs. <laughs> that's the only way it can Would win. You wear yeah. a man bun, so you. I mean, your entire. Yeah, that, that's the thing. He wears a man bun, and he still realizes it's shitty. Yeah, whatever. You <laughs> have to eat off the kid table here. All right, I have to hand you your little paper menus when I take you out. <laughs> Not me. Not me. Yeah, I love Tindies. Tindies are great. Dan, the only thing I don't do is seafood. That's it. That's the only thing that I don't. I don't uh, you need to have it in New Orleans, so, man. I don't need to change your mind. Around in its own shit. Ryan, are you married? You eat pork? Uh, not anymore. <laughs> so you used to do seafood, just not anymore. <laughs> oh, boy. oh, my oh, God. Seafood's amazing. <laughs> I've only Dan had two Bass. sips of one beer, too. So. Oh, 100 Bass. Brazilian pesos says, wow. I denounce man bun phobia. Just <laughs> eating my two cents. Thank and you, by Dan. By the way, this super chat is not worth only two cents. At least my country has gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> now, fuck Dan Bass. For now. Dan Bass sends those $100 fucking too? super fuck? chats, and it's all shows up in red and was like oh dan he's so <clears throat> not it's worth like three dollars okay yeah. <laughs> with his currency it's like three dollars thanks dan i don't know why it gets the red but everyone's like, oh, you, dan. Dan. dan's dan is so nice dan's so that. nice uh For one all i'll say is donald another, trump right, donald black. trump talked about your country okay it's convenient mentioned him a few times yeah didn't Tucker just interview the president or something? Or? <laughs> he was down in Brazil for a yeah. while. Yeah. Well, to be fair, the value of our dollar is not really all that impressive these days. No, so. <laughs> that is true. It won't be long yeah, before. Starting to, it's starting to level out. It's Honestly, like... yeah, Dan, 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 give Biden another year. <laughs> it's lost ninety four percent. Yeah, I might be moving down there with you, Dan. <laughs> no, no, no. We need to uh, illegally immigrate to Brazil. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe Mos- hey, Moscow's doing all right. I mean, I, I looked, I looked at them, and their their currency is doing okay. Do you know what's crazy? When I saw Warren Buffett, which is like psychotic, when he goes, you know, since I've been alive, I've seen the U.S. dollar lose ninety four percent of its value. It's only worth six cents to what it was worth, whatever, so many decades ago. And I just thought, I was like, damn, is that so crazy? He's like, we literally think we have a stable country and that like our money matters and all these things are okay. Maybe that's why they're making shit videos too. They're trying to get a bunch of our cash as fast as they can. They don't even care. They don't care if they bleed cash. It's not worth anything. It's a laundering scheme. You know what the insane thing is like before, before Russia invaded Ukraine there, the ruble was like 12 cents or something. I guess what it was worth. And then after they invaded, all the sanctions got put in place. It cratered. Right. But then it shot way up. (laughs) And like at the beginning of July, it was worth like 18 cents. 
So Russia is in better sh- in better shape now in terms of their currency valuation compared to the U.S. dollar than they were before they invaded and all these sanctions were put in place. Yeah, the currency is good, but the their economy is still shit, I believe. Yeah, imagine. Well, I mean, it's also <laughs> Russia. Yeah. yeah. Well, it can't be America. <laughs> you know, it can't be America. Uh, Daniel Zamansky for 150 shekels. That's proper one. Right Shekels. <laughs> Gary, the woke stuff is at least is the least of the issue with the boys season three. I know it's a lot to ask, but and I assume many others would greatly appreciate it if you and the EFAP lads watch the season and tear it apart on a juicy nine hour stream. I will. I'm gonna watch it. So uh, yeah, I'd be happy I, to join them. I I, I want to watch the boys simply for Homelander. I, I watched the first season. I just want to watch it because I love that character. I he's love great. what they've done with him. You'll but love I know him in three. A, he's he's so, great yeah. in three. There's been a, some uh, some people online have been trying to push for him to like get Emmy consideration. And to be honest, he he gives such a great performance that I'm totally. If the Emmys meant something, which they haven't for a long time, I would be totally supportive of it. Yeah, yeah, they because don't. he gives a great performance in it. Rings of Power will win twenty. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I can channel. I feel like power. I can channel that energy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Grass Wolf on the Streamlab side, circumventing Mama Susan for $45. Yes. Thank you very much. He says, our first ever music video is on YouTube. Our version of Tell Me Why from Berserk. We greatly appreciate oh. if anyone interested would like to check it out after the show. Hail Friday Night Tights and hail the rip of verse. Hail. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I, Hell yeah. I thought you was yeah. going to. I thought it was gonna be uh, was it in sync or Backstreet Boys or Tell something? Me why. Tell me why. Exactly. Tell me why. I never wanna hear you say. I want it that way. I apologize. That yes. scene from Magic <laughs> Mike going. XXL where he's in the uh, deli and he's like ripping his shirt off and like spraying himself with water is like the best scene of any movie ever. Excuse me, I need to go kill <laughs> <myself. laughs> <I'm laughs> <sorry. laughs> Chrissy's Thor review. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Thor does get naked. He uh, looks Vass, so good. He looks so good. Did you cry yeah. when you so saw how good. big Channing Tatum's bulge was? Is that why you like that movie? <laughs> I don't know. It's I kind of so liked him until my friend hooked up with him, and she was like, "Eh, he's bad in bed." So now I'm on to somebody else. <laughs> oh, you it's know what? Called whiskey. Hey, lazy, he fucking, hey, he fucking deserves to be slandered after GI Joe. Fuck that motherfucker. Yeah, that I'm glad the awesome. rumor's yeah, out now. Let's expose him. I watched. I, what's the second one with the Rock? What's that one called? Rise of Cobra. Rise, Rise of Cobra. I watched yeah. that the other day. That was, was that one's better than it's the first better than the first one. But still not good. I cried when he died, though. It was so sad that Duke died. Hang on, the first one, the first one is Rise of Cobra. So what is the is that, second one? What is the That's second the, one? I'm trying to remember. Retaliation. I don't like retaliation. 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 I don't was. like I don't like either one of those movies, but I do appreciate the Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes is still part. awesome in, in both of them. Yes. Uh, yes, awesome yes he is. So uh, so you love so you love the movie Snake Eyes then, I bet. <laughs> No. Oh my god, dude. Uh, that was that's shut so up, fucking Odin. mad. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I really want to just stop him. Maybe I, maybe other people watching this, I feel like I'm I'm alone here, but I have pretty much stopped watching movies and not because I don't watch good movies. When someone recommends, if I hear enough people tell me, hey, this movie's actually good, because I can't even rely on titles anymore. Like, I'm, I'm not even planning on watching the Lord of the Rings series coming out. I'm not even planning on it. I'm going to wait till something like here. I'll, wa- I'll watch the live stream here, reviewing it, and then I'll go watch it. Because I. it's just like, I feel like you can't even trust an actor. You can't. You can't trust anybody. Know. It's going to be terrible. I, I think that right now. It'll be a terrible. lot of us have replaced what normally we would have just turned on a streaming service or tv or whatever we've replaced that in our lives with youtube like one thousand percent yeah that's that's why i would say you guys are all welcome i just started saturday live streaming set late late night saturday uh drink streams and hanging out you yeah. you guys all got to come on but like that's the key thing yeah. too is I, I started doing it because i'm like saturday i would watch a movie i would do something and i'm like i don't want to do this shit this shit mm-hmm. sucks i just canceled like my streaming services and i go i don't just hang out with people and talk shit like that's mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yeah well that's the thing like our our audience has been very vocal about like they they rely on us to give them feedback on the shows because they don't watch them or oh, movies yeah. and then if we tell them something like the terminal list is awesome or even going into like top gun maverick i remember we did a poll here on friday night tights and the i think 55 percent <clears throat> of people said i'm not interested 
And, and it was more so, I think that was more representative of two things. It was the fact no one was really asking for the next Top Gun movie, but also like people are just so checked out on Hollywood. But after us and many others gave them positive feedback on that. But it's just like with Kenobi. I did a poll on Geeks and Gamers and 80% of the audience said they wanted me to watch it, even though I didn't want to. Because they mm -hmm. enjoy watching us roast it because we're going to be honest. Or if something's ultimately good, we'll tell you that. But people are not generally they're they're checked out on a lot of this stuff and they watch youtube they watch people bullshitting and that's replacing a lot of the entertainment out there yeah it's been going that way for a long time when i just noticed i started doing it and i used to watch a movie for friday like five tv shows at once all the time and i'm like uh now i get up in the morning and i'll fire up youtube and i'll just see like if crowder's going or whatever whatever's on in the morning when i get up and that's the first place I go, or, or I'll watch a culture casino, or you know, what's up, culture? Yeah. Uh, what up, culture you know, casino? Yeah. You know, he he does a little, you know, a little six minute thing in the morning. I watch that, you know, and like that's how that's how I start my day before I even think about anything. And and now it's like I'm with you. It's uh, you know, terminal list. I had to wait for two or three people to say it was good before I even thought about looking at it. You know, Ryan yeah. said it was good. Yeah. Jeremy said it was good. Another friend of mine said it was good. I'm like, all right, fine. <clears throat> You have to wait for yeah. it. Isn't that, isn't that so sad in 2022? So it's like sad. you yeah. have you like there used to be a thing called media critics and like people you could trust. Now you have to wait for normal fucking dudes and chicks mm -hmm. on the internet to just confirm that something's worth even looking up mm -hmm. or like watching the trailer for. And that's what's so crazy is I think that's why they get so mad because there's no prestige in being a journalist anymore, nope. being yeah. an, a, a movie critic, being an author. Like none of these things matter. It's like I want to know what some guy that thinks a man bun is okay to wear occasionally <laughs> thinks about a book or, or a show or something. I mean, I'm being genuine because you goes, at least he's not fucking lying. Like I, I'll mm -hmm. let the man bun slip because at least it's not a lie. And it's utilitarian. Is just, but but you're, you don't even give a shit anymore about degrees. What oh, I went to Harvard. I'm twerking. I don't give a shit. It's like, yep. I just want to know, <laughs> yeah. are you being fucking honest with me? Do you tell the truth? And are you giving me your honest opinion? Because I might disagree with you, but at least I know you're being honest. And you're not trying to gain my attention. You're not trying yep. to feed me. You're not working for somebody. You're just telling me, hey, I fucking like this or I didn't. And the, here's why I liked it or didn't. And it's like in our culture, it's so rare that you can make a career now and I'm just telling the truth in your bedroom. Like, that's, that's the yeah, weird thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, We had to vote in a president who was a reality show host because he just felt like he was telling the fucking truth for once. That's that's yeah. how tr that's the magic that put Trump in the office in 2016. You had a lifelong <laughs> bullshitter. And then you had a guy going, yeah, that, that chick's fucking ugly. It's like, OK, I'll vote for that. And that's why they <laughs> hate true. him. That is why they hate him. Rosie O'Donnell's fat and disgusting. And you're like, no, that's true. Yeah. That's a true yes, statement. That's, that I, I like, we no, all think true. that, yes. Yeah. But Elijah, what I always wanted to know is statement. It's all about what we're talking about previously with the lowering of standards. It's like mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter to be a journalist anymore because the standards have, have dropped so low. It's become a position of just being an activist. Well, more and so they they, they mm -hmm. created that themselves. They, they yes. lowered their own fucking standards to the point where we're like, I don't believe you anymore. Now, now I need to go to this thing called YouTube because there's some guy in his basement who I believe more than you. And, and, and that sounded insane at one time. But now everybody's like, yeah, no, that's totally true. Yeah, I totally believe yeah. Uh, what yeah. Jackie, what Jackie was like, that's what made me so mad is her and the team on YouTube, and they were like, "Oh, well, we want to make authoritative sources," and and, and you understand maybe <laughs> if that had to do with something like you, this is pre-COVID, right? It was yeah. like, well, and they literally said they mocked, like, "Well, we want to make sure you get someone that's not some guy in his bedroom." And you're like, so you trust some guy that's been through 37 editors in a in a New York high rise than some guy who literally moved out into the Midwest and he left the city and has seen what the world has has done to him, a guy who's raised children, who's not just an egghead, who's you know who has no kids and is not married these people are always depressed all these critics and it's like that's what's so insane is that you get up they, they fail upwards and they get ahead as they make mistakes and as they lie but as you tell the truth and as you're honest you actually get punished and they go well i heard the uh, lord of the rings even creators were like well i mean why, why are the why is the the fan base so so upset why are like why do they care and it's like who do you think you're making the fucking movies for yourself who what do you like you do you think you're running the government for yourself? Do you think you're making movies for you? Do you think you're running the economy for your mansion? No, you're running it for people. You're a leader. You like you you run something. You're doing something for somebody that's not you. And it's so narcissistic, so self-absorbed. I'm you don't have to be a Christian to be truthful. You don't have to be religious, but it's like at least you don't have like family or marriage or kids or like good friends even. Like something else in your life that tells you to like think outwardly or other or like 
It's not all about your shit. And like you owe something to the world to like be better or to like be honest, be real and to like be up front. And it's so fucking crazy. Even YouTube got cringe like that where you come on the screen and the, the first video suggested to you is like, I filled my house with goo and my brother came <laughs> home. And you're like, it's got 39 yeah. million views yeah. in a day. And you're just going, that's what they think people need. That's what I'm they, they want you to have is goo. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. I put my age in when I signed up. You know I'm like 30 years old. You know that the goo is my brain. I don't need it in my house. You know, I'm already trying to make sense of the world every morning I wake up. But it's like they, they – that's why I think it's a humiliation ritual. It's a mocking of us because they take everything that's sacred, everything that we enjoy for pastimes. They bleed it all together and then they shit on us by saying we're not going to give you what you want. We're going to give you what you think you need. Yeah, and it's yeah. like – and it's Absolutely. like fuck you. Well, these yeah, people also don't have yeah. any kind of life experience. Too. That's entertainment's like point of view right now. That's that's the point of view from Amazon. From any, that's why it's so rare when we get something like the Terminal List or Reacher, because most of the time it's fighting with the fans. That's how these channels got. That's how our channels got created. It was like you're going to get the Star Wars we think you need. Yeah. You know, yeah. with our message in it, and it's that's how they market and, and shows. It, now. It's uh, it's you know it's it's indicative of the the bigger picture what you were just talking about. It's, you know, it's like we've uh, always said, it's always been bigger than Star Wars and entertainment, what we're talking about. Uh, that's just my area of that's of knowledge. I won't even say expertise of knowledge. Uh, there's other people who are doing it in the political arena, the sports arena, but we're all talking about the same shit, authoritarianism and, oh, and yeah. the fundamental <clears throat> change of our society, our, the, the, the yeah. social engineering through absolutely every aspect of our society. Uh, and I'm just fighting it in this little this little area, right? This little arena right here. But there's it's going on. Well, it's too late in public schools, in our government. You know yeah. the whole term authorities. I've always fucking hated that. I hate the term consumer and authorities. They're servants. They're not our author. They're not they're authoritative over us at all. They're our fucking servants. Civil and that's, servants. Yeah, doing a job. they forgot yeah. that. That's the point. Is Long that they time. serve us, not the other way around. And Nick Riccata went off the, the other day. Fucking open trough as a consumer. You're not a fucking consumer. You're a person. You're a human being. You're mm -hmm. a paying customer. Yeah. Nick Riccata okay. had a, long, a great monologue about how the government should be afraid of its people. You are the servants. You serve us. It's a it's a government made <clears throat> by the people for the people and yeah. of the people, right? So it is. They're people in the government. But if you're in a government position, you serve the people. Yeah. And he said, when the people fear the government, that's called tyranny. Yeah, um, yes. yeah that yep. was great. But like speaking to Elijah's sure. point about Fucking YouTube fantastic. and like what gets recommended at the top and what gets these crazy views. <laughs> every YouTube time video. I think I have like, every time I'm like happy with a month on YouTube, I'm like, man, I can't believe that, you know, like six, seven million views. I realize that you. there's some, there's some like 25 year old dude who dresses like he's 16 with a bunch of his low IQ friends who filled an entire house with like packing popcorn and he has like 25 million subscribers on youtube yeah. my god well, it, it, that, that, that's but that's it. why it, it, it like and this is what's so fucking crazy this is what makes me actually mad about the whole situation is like i love when i read comments and i'll mock you for this and someone's like oh like i see my people being like i can't believe you're going on friday night tights my two worlds met dog let me humble you for a second and tell you your two worlds don't exist. There's no two worlds anymore. There, there, that doesn't, mm -hmm. there's nothing like that that means anything. You, there's no such thing as, as crossovers. Like four or five years ago, more YouTube would be like, my favorite anime crossover, my crossover. Mm -hmm. You don't even see that anymore because the world's gotten so hodgepodge into where there's no barriers anymore. There's no decorum in class. There's no gender differences. There's no marriage differences. There's no racial differences. It's all just we're expected to all – admit we're different but act like we're not when it comes down to it and when you get online it's like it's like i have a shit post podcast we i literally started it because <laughs> i thought that people didn't realize how fucking stupid people were in la and how retarded <laughs> they were and i wanted to showcase how stupid things were the first episode i ever did was about a, a guy who uh, broke up with her girlfriend and he was getting sued for sexism because she developed a beer gut because she developed a corona addiction. And I thought it was really funny. And we photoshopped corona tattoos on her stomach. And we just was like – and it was like the court papers. She was like, you're breaking up with me for a beer gut? And he's like, you just don't look like you used to when we got together. And I thought that was just funny how dumb people are. And it's like – and then all of a sudden you start getting articles written. Oh, you're, a, you're an alt-right Nazi. You're this and that. And I'm going – 
yeah, I mean, I talk about Trump sometimes because I'm right wing, but I'm like, I made this to make fun of people. And you go out to this day, it's like, it's literally, I run a shit post podcast where we talk about fun things. We're trying to open people up to new ideas to just think for themselves. And then you're literally called the the enemy of the free people. If you think that <laughs> yes. that's like shit posting yeah. and meme is the enemy yeah. of the free people, you are a fucking loser who probably yeah. masturbates in front of your coworkers on Zoom. Like straight hey. up, that's who you are. But that's what I mean. It's like, it's like so. It's like it's like oh well, how are worlds crossing? It's because we don't have the freedom anymore to just keep things in our lane. You don't. You have the freedom to just stay in your world. The universe has expanded. The Marvel characters are coming back from the dead. I don't know yeah. what's happening, but it's like we're all in this shit thinking like. Dude, it doesn't matter if you're into video games or comics or politics or food. It's like all your shit is fucking either woke or it's not. It's just that's all that matters anymore. It's either legit or not. And all of us have kind of come together like, I don't want this fucking version of the world that I'm being served. I hate it. It's disgusting. Everything's cringe and lame and stupid and too gay for my liking. I don't even mind gay people. It's too gay. And it's just like stop just like stop the shit i don't know how we stop it but like we have tyranny it's a technocratic universal global tyranny and it's like i don't know what's going to happen if we're going to be the next sri lanka if we try to stop it they try to gain control of their country and they collapse their entire currency now they don't have any food or, or gas uh -oh. so it's like it's well, 24 million tried. people i'm just saying like I, I i get heated just because it's like there's nowhere else to go. You can't hide. You can't you can't drink yeah. an IPA or a, a shitty beer and watch a sports game. You can't watch a fucking Marvel movie even. Like everything is just woke and shit. Yeah. Yeah, 100. Yeah. And it's well said, uh, Elijah. Yes. Very I'll well tell you said. How, that's I, I preach. I'll tell you how you how we win. Eric July. Eric yeah. Jay, what he's doing right yes. fucking now. What he's Rip doing right her. fucking now. Yes. Do where that. Are we at? Where are we go make something. Where are we at on that? <laughs> oh, 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 as far as the co uh, context, let me refresh that. Context, I think we're 80. Oh, yeah, almost 110,000. 110,000 uh, views Ooh. there. Uh, we got uh, 8,500 on Woo. contact uh, on riververse.com. So, yeah, we're doing that. That's go. how we do it. I think but, we no, can like, get to 10K. Yeah, like, to to get your to point, 10K. like, yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's like, and, and I get it. It's because a lot of us grew up in a completely different realm you know what i mean than what we live in right now and you know a lot of those things that we were attached to we're watching and it's tough to watch just be absolutely destroyed and yeah some of that's with intent uh with with purpose but that's what it amounts to it's people watching things that they could they used to be able to attach to some sort of sense of uh, of normalcy or some sort of sense like the world was okay and they're they're actively destroying that shit so my idea of it all is okay fuck it they got control of that i i we're not getting that back but that doesn't mean that 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 we can't have something that is either competing with it or similar that fills that void for so many people so they can look to that thing that they watch get destroyed and be like man well fuck it at least there's this over here because i i guess what i mean a lot of people predicted it but i don't think people really understood how committed they were to this cause um anybody i guess that is kind of learned on just marxism in general like this is the intention you know what i mean like and this is why it's so you're not really gonna see them ever let it go because for them particularly the authoritarian left this is why they did it in the first place it was they, they infiltrated to get control so they could have the influence um so they're not as kind of oh well I don't care as a lot of other people like, no, they're like, dude, this is why we did it in the first place. So they're going to do everything they can to maintain that sort of order of that legitimacy. So really the only thing that you could do, I won't say the only thing, but one of the big things you can do is what we do right now. We mock and shame that dumb shit. So it delegitimizes where, what they're, what they're into while also uh, being creative when we can and just saying, you know what? Y'all got that shit. We're going to put up something that is competitive uh and and can be at least somewhat comparable and it's not going to happen overnight but at least there's something that people can look to and be like you know what fuck that dog shit uh, i don't have to be served that so i'm gonna make fun of you and then i'm gonna go over here where someone is actually giving me something that i want yep. so you know why that's an advantage eric why the mockery is the is the poison that kills woke because yep. they're they have no fucking sense of humor so woke yep. is marxism marxism mm -hmm. has to <clears throat> usurp something that already exists mm -hmm. it can't 
build anything on its own. Very it's true. To take over another system. So that's exactly what woke has to do. And they're a bunch of angry motherfuckers. And we're here laughing, fucking taking the piss out of them, memeing them to fucking death. And most people who, you know, aren't generally informed, that's fine. That's the normal, the normie. They're going to go, you know what? They're laughing. I want to be with the people who are having fun. Yeah. 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 Most and people want that. That's how you beat them. Yeah. Every time. And you got to point this shit out because like that, this is why like comedy is in such bad shape right now, except for Chrissy Mayer and a few other people who are brave enough to call this okay. shit out. Comedy should be having the time of their <laughs> lives. This should be a new fucking golden age of comedy because woke is the lowest hanging fruit there is to make fun of. It is stupid shit. Yeah. So like regular Joes like us are making fun of it. Uh, but there should be like very talented comedians going after the shit. And they are. There's some, but they get shut down. Uh, you know, sh- Dave Chappelle. You have to be willing to not make money. You have to be willing to like not have financial success because all the the known tried and true path to financial success is kind of the woke way. It's Comedy Central. It's HBO. It's like yeah. it's through the talent agents, thing. through the late night. It that's that, but that's the Thank old you. model. And there's really no nude mo- nude nude. There's no new model. The new, new, new model. New model. Yeah. No, but seriously, Chrissy. Like, but that's the point, right? Like, of what we're trying to do is like the model is archaic as fuck. Uh, it was the same thing with music. You know, music, you had to go through your proper channels. Didn't matter what genre you did. You wanted to get the music out there. You either signed to a label, reached out to DJs, or you had some external factor. Uh, it was, it, And everybody had to go through that channel in order to get their shit seen. Well, the age of social media kind of changed that shit. And I think we're, we're dealing with entertainment industries that simply have not caught up to, to the fact that well, we don't got to go through the old guard anymore. You know what I mean? We are still folks that are performing the type of music that I perform in metalcore that are still on the dumb shit. And I'm like, you guys are retarded. Mm-hmm. You're losing money, but whatever. But, you know, we we came out, you know, in 2016, 2017, and, you know, we knocked it out the fucking park with our first, first album, having not had to go through all the proper channels. Uh, and like right now, you know, being able to fund my own company and all of that, like that's, that's what it's about. It's like the old guard has this old way of doing things, and that's what we're all accustomed to. And we got to try to – it's not just – so to Chrissy's point, it's not just being competitive. It's like with the system in itself showing people like there's a way outside of their greasy-ass, dirty fucking hands. And some of those <laughs> some of those establishments or, or lack thereof, we're going to have to – they got to be created because they're not there yet. They're simply just – not there because everybody's going through those channels. So that's why I welcome this, even in it, if it's like uncertain. Hell, I, like I said, I spent two hundred thousand dollars minimum, and yeah, there's a lot of uncertainty with that. When you're spending that kind of money, I spent twenty eight thousand just to get my fucking warehouse racked and, and and get the equipment and all of that. Money, you think when I'm dropping that money, I'm wow. like, Ooh, shit, this is a this is a guy, this is a risk, but it's one I'm obviously willing to take. But that type of stuff has to be there in order for us to get on the other side of this shit. So this is why I want to be like very transparent with how I did thing. I want to come out with, we talked about this earlier in the stream. I want to come out with like a series where I break down everything that I did to make this shit happen. Because what I'm hoping happens, I'm not one of those guys that sees other people has to say, everybody here can attest to that. Really? I don't see to when other people have success and I'm like, that should be me. That's not how I'm fucking wired. I've never been wired. The pie is not fixed. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. it, it can make your own pie. Out. So when I when I look at this thing, I'm like, all right, well, if I can show someone that has maybe some either money or or maybe the, even the creativity, and they could take from what I did and implement it in their own way, so that they can skip the old guard. That's what it's about. Yes. That's fucking what it's about. That's what's gonna get us on uh on the other side and and i didn't mention this earlier and i think it's important that with all of this you know with the release and everything that we had today what i appreciated the most and i it doesn't go unnoticed is people's fucking optimism which we missed that shit you know what i mean it's the white pill of it all it's like people saw the trailer and they're like they see the art and they're like i am actually looking forward to something that is not detached uh, 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 from them, and that's that's what we need. And as more people do that, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get that optimism, and that optimism is gonna lead into creativity. And we can skip these old guard fucks because what they want and what they need is for them to maintain control of the channels that we we deem as proper and legitimate. Once they lose that, they're fucking done. They and they know that shit, which is why they'll never give it give it back. 
when they got control of these entertainment spaces, they got they're not giving that shit back because they worked so hard to get it, and their entire ideology rests upon them having control of that. Yeah, yeah. Andrew Schultz, I think was was just about to drop a, a comedy special Did he on buy Netflix. It back? Did he buy it I back? think it was yeah. Netflix. Yeah. He literally like d used all of his life savings to buy back his special so he could self release it. Like yeah. he didn't say uh, it was Netflix, but. It was it's pointing, It looks like Netflix because it's wow. like he hadn't put anything out there yet, and uh, yeah, I give them, I give him so much respect for that, and I wonder what exactly which jokes they wanted him to take out. Well, yeah, I wonder how many more past, people are going to do that. He had a past special with Netflix, I think, which is why people are like thinking that it was them. But yeah. it is interesting. It, it must have been like pretty, like Locked pretty up. close to the edge because I mean, they literally just released another Dave Chappelle response to a bunch of kids who were upset about his trans shit. So they're they're fine with that stuff. Yeah, he's established. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think yeah. Dave Chappelle was grandfathered in by the the system i mean he's still and a good comedian so huh? much money yeah but you know but you know, i don't want to discount it though because i think like you were saying with with them going woke and everything but there is some benefit because people don't realize how the woke system can be canceled and the reason what i mean this is i did an episode with uh dave landau we did a show together and we did this bit about um like and i'll try to be careful on your show not to get you in trouble but it was about it was about the trans children genocide that apparently was going on in texas and people were saying there was a, a trans genocide which is insane that's the most ridiculous thing like you cannot throw words around like genocide that yeah. is a very serious yeah. phrase and already you know that's a contentious debate trans kids whether or not kids have the right to determine their own gender and sexuality or sex even is a scientific debate. So you're talking about two things that is already one isn't even accepted socially or scientifically. And another one is not real. It's, it's fake. And we made, you know, very, very outlandish jokes about this topic because it's, ridiculous it's absurd it's like making jokes about beheading orcs in lord of the rings it's like well they're not real and it's not a real issue so you're joking about an, un an untrue issue and you know we didn't lose anything from it. we didn't lose advertisers we didn't lose anything we had articles and videos and news people and cnn and people calling and family members and it just went on and on and on he got so many death threats he almost had a cancel show i believe too and like we i was getting so many hundreds of death threats all the time and it's like, well, the reason why I think we didn't get pulled or why things didn't happen, why we didn't get backlash is because our humor wasn't far off from Dave Chappelle's humor about transgenders at all. Mm -hmm. So it was like, well, they're probably looking the companies like, well, Netflix let him say this and they didn't give him backlash mm -hmm. and they freaked out and Dave was fine. So why are we going to go after these guys? Because I'm not, it's not that they care about double standards. I mean, I think corporations look at each other like, okay, that didn't do anything. So I think leave. corporations yeah. don't realize they can, they can. They really can just end their own misery because that's what they want is money. You want profits. I know, you know, mm -hmm. activism, yes, at a lower level. At an upper level, I think they're just confused because they don't know how to manage their own people because they're all activists because lower level people hired activists. That's been my so now argument. they have this activist structure. So yep. they don't yep. like know how to manage their own companies. They're like, well, we can't make mm. a Pixar movie without Pixar no artists. So we've got to like kind of bend to our employees. That's normal for a, a, a boss to sort of look out for <laughs> the type of employees they've hired. That's your fucking fault for hiring losers. Anyway, mm -hmm. it's like, <laughs> That could trace back. We can go all deep in that into the colleges. But I'm going, mm -hmm. I feel like with the trans thing, like that was a, they really tried to cancel both of us on that, like hard, hard, hard. And I, I mean, it was really, really bad. I have not seen any financial fallout or anything from that at all. And I just want to <clears> say like, yeah, Netflix, as much as we give them shit and all these kind of things, like if a company just stands up one day and says, you know what, we're just not like, I'm going to say this. Like I've had advertisers be like, oh, we're getting complaints about something you said. I go, go go into your registry in your database and see if any of those complaints are from registered customers. <gasps> never are. Yeah. They never uh, are. Never is uh, never. Uh, tell, yeah. tell me this. Uh, how many people really canceled their Netflix special as a reason? Show me the numbers. How many people? That's probably why they, they, they I don't think they just cared about Dave. They probably went, looked at the reason for cancellation, probably saw there was like 3,000 people that canceled the Netflix subscription over it, maybe less. And we're like, okay, well, more people cancel this over the fact they didn't like cinderella story you know or whatever like like more people cancel from that so i'm just saying like as long as you don't you put your money where your mouth is you support things that matter and companies realize the people that that are canceling that are coming against them really aren't spending their money there people could wake up and realize it's like a fucking bullshit like prophetic circle of just like fake altruism that like we need to stop buying into okay it's like yep. it's just it's just dumb it's true and I, I mean i've talked about this recently about like um the, the cancel mob the, the the cancel mob only has the power that that individuals give them 
they mean absolutely fucking nothing. There's a couple of ways you can approach them. You can acknowledge them like a lot of us do and monetize the fuck out of their stupidity, or you just ignore them. Because I've talked, I, I can't remember what stream it was on. I talked about Ryan's Batman review and how if Brian would have worked for Collider five years ago when that shit happened or screen junkies, you would have had fucking people sending press releases out. Like we are so sorry about the views and of Ryan. We've fired him and thrown him out in the pit of hell. And he's going to donate $25,000 to <laughs> black families. Like how yeah, did we right. handle pledge. it? When he's he going to pledge. <laughs> pledge. Right. Yeah. So like, so like how did we handle it when Ryan got a million views on Twitter and everybody cried about <laughs> it? We're like, yeah, it was pretty fucking funny, and I agree with everything Ryan said in the video. <laughs> because you motherfuckers don't yeah. matter. None of you matter on Twitter that are crying and whining and trying to be fake offended. Mm -hmm. We know you don't matter. The people that matter are the people that watch us every week, the people that support us, and they will be critical at times, and we know who they are, and we're going to listen if they have mm -hmm. genuine criticisms. But if you're just some fake social justice warrior on Twitter that's just in our replies crying about us, you mean nothing you are irrelevant and the only yeah yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. so so it's all about like understanding that these the mob mentality only has the power that you give them and if you yes. don't give them any power they have absolutely no impact on you whatsoever and uh that's how i think the best approach is for anybody out there and i know there's individual situations that that's not as easy for some people to address that sometimes because of your you know, wherever you work or who you were, I, I understand that. I'm just trying to talk about generally speaking, they don't really matter and they only have the power you can give them. Yep. Now, so, you know, back to what we we're talking about with Eric, uh, you, you hear the term, and this is for the two people out there. Most of you know this already. Two people out there who don't know this. Uh, you know why the term gatekeeper gets thrown out so much is because it's what they are doing. Yes. We, we it's projection. It's projection. Mm -hmm. It's projection. 100%. I wish I could. Yeah, we don't. We, we, we don't we, have we, any stake in it. No. Yeah, if I could throw up a gate around Tolkien, I would. Believe me, <laughs> but I can't. Uh, no, so, I'm like everybody me. has access to it, and the reason they're throwing it out is they're trying to keep you out. That yeah. and they continually keep you out, and they're losing power right now, and that's why they're fucking freaking out. And um, it's systematic. It's, yeah, it's, it's it not like even just individuals. It's they're all together. And so the same people are being left out or the same people are being corralled together. So it's not even just gatekeeping itself. It's just that they're all doing the same exact thing because they're all in it together. Well, yeah. And, and what Elijah said earlier, they're, they're losing their influence. The media is losing their influence. They're losing money. They're losing tons mm -hmm. of money. Uh, Clownfish did a video yesterday. I threw it in my video today. Uh, and it's about all the toxic fan articles that we've already gotten, like just in the last month, it's like ticked up like pretty, pretty high. Oh, it's going to crank up and too. It's going to get yeah. worse. Yeah. It's gonna get worse. Get, I, told, I told my audience about this shit. I was like, dude, you best believe there's going to be several hit pieces. Once they saw, she you know, dollar signs go up, it's going to be hit pieces galore. Yeah. More than, more than what I've ever had to probably ever deal with, uh, more than what I already have, uh, writing articles saying, I said some dumb shit. Well, I don't think it was dumb, but they'll say it was dumb to them uh, because I maybe said a word that rhymes with maggot at, uh, once in my life, twice, three, maybe four, five times. But like that, they're gonna, they're gonna do that. Like, hey, inevitably, French, speaking, I guess. that that yeah, of course, you know. Uh, I said it four that, times a day; it just wasn't recorded. Yeah, I, I look forward to the uh, articles. Uh, that Eric July is the new blackface of white supremacy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. those are on the way. Those certainly are on the way. But that that's just the act of desperation because that type of ridicule um, that works on them right that's how they ended up becoming part of the the mob in the first place is that they were uh basically coerced so they look at it like i'm saving my bacon by participating in this bullshit, uh going around canceling people or other whatever retarded shit. but they they don't have power they they, they simply are powerless uh when you just say fuck them this is why i work so hard to keep it independent as i possibly could you know having it on my own shit, uh how we hosted the website the owns the store like so I don't got a fucking boss, okay? Can't go to someone and say, well, you, he said this. One, okay, congrats. The book's still going to keep fucking selling. There's nothing you can do about it. Nope. And and that's what they fear. People rerouting that. It's not even just focus. It's like what people, what makes them happy. It's not even about being angry. It's like what, what makes people happy. Once that's detached from them completely, 
that they're scared of that. They're fucking terrified um, of that because at what point, you know, if they work so hard for this, they, they'll start to realize or rather to start to seek in that, look, all of what we've done has been for nothing because they don't give a shit about this shit any anymore. And all these tactics that we use to bully all y'all doesn't work on them. Like, you know, we we go for their their advertisers or we go for their fucking uh, fans or we try to paint them in a negative light. Uh, uh, calling them these mean names or uh, egregious terms and stuff, that shit doesn't work on them, and they have no backup plan after that. This is why it's the same fucking thing. It feels like we're in, like, groundhogs. They're, like, every day on Twitter, same fucking re- group of reply retards saying the same damn shit because that's the only play in the playbook. They're they programming. They, yeah, it says literal NPC. <clears throat> uh, they have nothing else outside of that. So when that becomes ineffective, like they're fucking done. So you're going to see them become more and more protective of the status quo as as people start to kind of pry themselves away from it because they'll have nothing left. They'll have nothing left. No. Yeah. And uh I can't wait. I can't fucking wait until they have nothing left. I mean, we we saw like the collider guy you were bringing them up, Jeremy. I just thought of uh like after their channel died and I think another show is having its last show today or next week. I shared oh, it. Mm-hmm. I know. It's so sad. Sure. Um, but they, they branched out on their own, right? Outside of the corporate structure. Uh, a bunch of the hosts, you know, starting thir- starting YouTube on third base, right? Haven't been able to do shit. Ryan, like, passed them up within a year. All of them within a year. Easy. The guy I met at a, at a meetup back in 2019 passed them up in a year. You got to wonder about that, you know? And yeah. uh, the answer is authenticity. People believe, you know, Ryan... Not, you know, not a couth person, but uh, th- that's not what you expect. You know, well, like every time that's, I that's see, I told, this to Ryan, I told Ryan, I said, I love when when I see people complaining, saying Ryan Kinnell's just a jerk, and I'm like, yeah, yes, yeah. congratulations, <laughs> he is. You, you <laughs> accurately literally you broke the code. <laughs> I want to bring up again though the week that he complained about too many good black people in the Batman was the week I got the most supportive emails of Ryan and no complaints. What the fuck? It says a lot about our audience. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, Radical lot. But that's the, <laughs> and that's the thing, and that's what you know YouTube allows us to do. I, I I've said this a lot. Um most people, I would say that 90% of people, they aren't actually going out there looking for some sort of like different opinion than theirs. It's the complete opposite. Most people are going out there to find somebody that says something that they agree with, at least most of the time. Not everybody is going to agree with everything I say 100% of the time, but in general, whether it's the principles, the morals, whatever, that that's what people are looking for. So uh, love me or hate me. One thing you can't say I am is inauthentic. Like, I'm just going to tell you what I think, regardless of what you think about that. And there's some people that are just going to move on and not subscribe, and that's fine. Uh, But there's also a lot of people that are going to find that, you know what? That dude said what I think, but he said it in a way that I'm not allowed to say it. I'm going to subscribe. And that's all we're doing here. Yeah, true that. It's it's, it's the way it is. I mean, I can't. I've had discussions with people about, they're like, oh, well, you and you and Rip are cool because y'all agree on things. I'm like. What do we agree on exactly? Like, well, yeah, Ripa don't like Trump. I do. <laughs> well, there's some things y'all probably, yeah, that's called fucking being friends. Of yeah. course, you have some common values that you see eye to eye on. That's why I don't know what you having a friend have, is. Like, I it's know the human like, experience. It's, it's, it's the level, <laughs> yeah. the level of like reach and, you know, that they try to justify. Yeah, well, it's like, it's one, the projection, it's, right? It's, crazy. it's like they're, in a, they're, they're more akin to being in an echo chamber than we are generally. Um, I say this all the time about fandoms. I mean, we've said it before. We've talked about this. Like, that used to be what it was about. Like, this idea Mm -hmm. that fandoms have been about echo chambers and bullshit. Like, the whole point, like, we were arguing over the most dumbest shit, like, was what we did. Because, you know, people paid attention to detail and people care. That was what it was about. So it was never about, but they agreed that they were into it. They agreed that they liked it and built friendships and all that. But we used to argue all the time about about fucking uh, uh, random shit. So... But they themselves are in an actual echo chamber of just a bunch of fucking brainlets who don't know shit. But yep. they, it's a projection. That's all it is. This is a, a fucking full on projection that they try to place on everybody else. I saw this earlier. 
<laughs> that was on the way. Oh, they <laughs> were free rent. I just saw that. It's free rent. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they're going to say, Ripper? They're going to say that I radicalized you. Yeah. yeah. That's what they're going to say. Yeah. Oh, man. Well known white supremacist. Yeah. Yeah. Outpost. What, what you're going to know. And, and, and everybody here already knows the game. But as, as the Ripperverse continues to be more successful, you're going to see. You're gonna see so many things being said about Eric. Oh like, yeah, I mean, and it's already it's obviously it's, it's nothing he ain't used to. He's yeah. probably dealt with it more than any of us combined, you know, over the years. But it's, oh, yeah. they're gonna be going after him, man. Yeah. That's why I want to call somebody a crackhead. Too. Head on a swivel, yeah. Eric. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, oh yeah, hundred percent. Like I already know it's gonna be what, what what this is going to be, and you know, people have said all kinds of fucked up shit about me over the years, and I, I expect that. I anticipate that. And uh, that's just how I kind of approach things. So when I told my audience, because, you know, they got to get used to that, because, look, bros, these fuckers are going to come out full force because they're going to find us as a threat uh, to their old guard. So they're going to do everything they fucking can to tear anything down that is rising um, to any sort of level of success that may potentially compete with their little uh the shit that they now have control of so expect these ugly dirty motherfuckers to be ugly and dirty but that's the <laughs> that's the awesome thing about what we've built is that we don't answer to them and that's going to frustrate them even more so as they write the hit piece as they call me this name and call me that name it's just going to be like okay you're mad about it congrats we're not stopping over here and there's nothing you can do to actually a actually stop us and i know that frustrates them even more yep 100 percent. we're all ready for it uh, logan uh on the streamlab side for 50 dollars. <laughs> hey dad <laughs> decided to become a bodyguard last week however i am changing careers after the shinzo abe thing Again, Japan, my bad. Any <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Something wrong. That, that's pretty that's pretty early. Ooh. Yeah. That's Too pretty soon. early. Too soon. Yeah. Anyway, I decided to start <laughs> worm farms, you know, like ant farms. I got the idea from a movie I watched. Hail to the fellowship. <laughs> Damn, bro. Damn. Yeah. Uh, Logan. Speaking of dads, you know, maybe the reason Elon Musk tried to pull out of the Twitter deal is because all the child support payments he's got coming. Uh, yeah. he, he, had, he, had, he had twins with like one of his executives or something like yeah. that. It's like, man, I'm surprised it's even news. Hey, breaking news. Elon fucks. Like, yeah. Who, who knew? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, also, yeah. he, he has no bones about it. He says, hey, we're, we're looking at a, 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 cri a population crisis. I'm doing yeah. my part. No, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. also, didn't yeah. he just lose a child too? So he's like a two for one. So I think he like his that one child disowned him. Yeah, the one like weird trans. trans one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I gotta say that though. I mean, being completely honest, I once did a sperm bank thing when I was uh, younger. I didn't realize they could come back and find that you're their dad. I was just like desperate for oh, money. And if you're over six foot and you're white, um, you know, they just give you good money. So. I was like looking into that and I'm thinking, well, you know, the only downside to, to besides the fact he said he's going to hell, like if you've already accepted, you go, hey, I'm going to hell and I'm just a nihilist, then why not just like have some random kids? I mean, like child support, the guy's got billions of dollars. And yeah. I don't know about you, but I don't think the industries of electric cars and trying to go to space are going to be like on the decline anytime soon. So I don't think he's going to have a problem with cash flow. No, I think he's fine. He can make lots of babies and baby mamas. I, he, yeah, he's, I make me fine. a baby mama. I'll he, take a billion. He, I was gonna say he's probably the only billionaire that's out there, like advocating for all of his hookups not to get abortions, to be like yep. being totally legit, not even fucking around. So he's uh, I mean, fucking he's like, around, but right, he's not. exactly. So, um, <laughs> I'll, but how many people would keep their kids if they could afford them, and they weren't afraid of societal judgment? <laughs> Well, I don't know. I would. I think when you look at the numbers for reasons that people uh, get abortions, ninety-two percent is just because eh, don't reasons. want. Uh, yeah, convenience. Not, and then oh, only yeah. six six percent is because of economic stat, like economic. You can't bring a stroller I thought that to the would be higher. Club. Like the wind, the wind, the wind club doesn't really love strollers, so they're just like, I want to go to Vegas and like, yeah, I have a brunch, home. brunch and babies don't mix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
let's bring that back. Let's bring back brunch and baby events for like for like women who are have kids and stuff. I, that's what I'm gonna say, Eric. Like that's the kind of shit people that are watching this should realize. Like when you're like, hey, well, you know, I want to change the world. Maybe you're not gonna start an entire like comic industry or start a show or something, but you can easily like. Maybe the, the, you know, people are like, oh, mom's boring and you don't get to do anything fun. And you set up, hey, why don't I find some of the women from my church or my neighborhood or my community and let's do a brunch and babies and bring your kids. You don't have to have a baby and let's have a good time. Let's integrate the things we want to see into the world, into our lives and actually take those steps. You don't have to have a ton of money. You don't have to have 200,000, a million or anything. You could literally just <clears> 60 <throat> bucks, buy some plastic cups at a local store, have all the girls bring stuff and have a good time. And like, and then people will start to feel left out. Because now they didn't get invited to brunch and babies, and now you started a whole thing. I'm just saying, like, little well, shit it, like that works. Well, it's all that's about culture. You know what I mean? Like, that's I've been preaching about this or doing speeches on it for a decade, you know, talking about, like, because people ask me, it's been asked me forever, like, they're interested in yada, yada, yada. And they're like, how do I help uh, see the world going in the route that I, that it's going in? I don't like it. How do I, how do I assist? And I'm like, dude, I can't tell you how to kind of operate or navigate in your own individual subculture everybody here everybody watching this has something that they have individual common shared interests with with other folks that is your ticket to changing the fucking world if that's at a level of fully four people whatever you know what i mean you are going to get through to them before i get through to them um and the same thing can be said for no matter what it, i don't give a shit if it's a fucking book club whatever it is that that is your level of influence and there's nothing wrong with that it does not to Elijah's point does not have to be uh, at this massive level where you have to spend x amount of dollars uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars or that you have to be seen by each and everybody like no that this culture war whatever you want to call it that's going to be one at the subcultural level so operate the home. Where you're already at you know what i'm saying in the home yeah that's sure. that's where yeah, it's absolutely. really going to be fun. That's why what we really need is we really need a, a revamping and a return of of families of of stable families because if you were to at least change that overnight, that's what would have the biggest impact on culture in general. Yeah, you can't be woke. I feel like that's why I don't understand married woke people with kids. Like right. you're married with kids, that you is already lost. Woke. You, yeah. you know I'm saying was that you are you have a wife. You have emotions there. You don't need to bring your emotions as a guy into it, like straight up. And I mean that in a, not in a, in an anti, you know, women's stance or anything like that. I just mean genuinely that's the dynamics that it does. And like, you got to provide, you got to bring shit. And yeah, people have different dynamics. I get it. I'm not shitting on the way you, you live your life or the way you, you provide for your family. But like, I genuinely believe that. Like I, I honestly, like I, I even told someone that they go, well, I really want to see, um, you know, women in the home. And I always go, well, are you doing the things you need to do to make the kind of money you need to make to buy the home and to have a house oh. and to be able to allow your wife not to work? Mm -hmm. So that's cool. I'm all for you. But now you just sound like a shithead because now mm -hmm. you're just saying women need to be in the home, but you're not explaining how you're going to give a woman a home. Because like a typical modern woman hears that and they get upset and resentful and cunty because they're like, oh, great. I have to work 40 plus hours a week and also be totally trad and do all the laundry and cook and clean and be hot and fuckable. And that's exhausting for like the average person. Uh, yeah. Oh no, I'm sorry. I, I, oh, that was a complaint. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it goes both ways, man. All the shit that we talk about goes both ways. I mean, me and Elijah talked about this all, uh, shit off stream. You know what I mean? That was one of the biggest blessings that I had of being in a financial situation to be able to have you know my wife just she don't have to worry about shit. You know what I mean? Like she gets to she has a lot of craft shop and all that stuff, but you know. I provide, you know what I mean? And she gets to take care of whatever. And, and like, that's, yeah, that, that, that's for a man to have to be able to put himself in a position to do that. That, that certainly takes a lot. And a lot of folks aren't willing to, you know, do that. So it, it is no one way street for sure. I mean, go, it goes both ways. Not Especially when it's demonized, shit, but like going both yeah. ways, like as in both, you know, well, don't yeah. be systemic. Like this is this is what I say about people, and I I'm gonna I even stopped calling it right wing and left wing. It's just like either woke or like sane. You know, like people who live yeah. in the real world and people who don't. It's because I can be friends if you're a Democrat or anything. I don't really care. I just want to know: Are you like? Are you in the real world? We can argue fiscal policy and shit all we want, but mm -hmm. let's be honest here. Do we want a world that's that's make believe or a world that's honest? And when you go when you go and you're there and you go, well. In your own personal lives, you know, a lot of people go, oh, well, the, the left and the progressives and these woke people, well, they're out there and they're like, you know, the way to end racism is, you know, it's systemic, it's systemic. It's like, bro, no, you spend your EBT money on weed. That's your problem. Like you have an issue or, you know, you haven't tackled your obesity and so you don't have any energy. It's not because your work hates you or as a woman, it's because you're a 
cunt and you're a bitch and you need to just work on your attitude. It's not because men are sexist. Like men love women. So just mm -hmm. become a lovely woman. But, but the, but, but the right or free people get like that too, where it's like, Oh, the world's only going to get good when we get Nancy <clears throat> Pelosi out or when we get a new president mm -hmm. in, it's like, dude, you can literally live in Wisteria lane. You can, you can make your community so good. They'll come for you. Sure. Like in South Lake here in, in where I live out in Dallas, they came for South Lake. It didn't work. Okay. They come for the communities. It didn't work. Why? Because the people didn't let it work. If you don't let their shit work, work where you are then it doesn't mm -hmm. and you can start with you before your marriage yep. before your relationship before your kids just start with you don't let it work with you fucking work out take care of yourself do whatever you need or your weaknesses go yeah. out bring it into your home spread it to people because they're looking for an out too and it's like mm -hmm. people don't realize it's not a yeah. system it's not a voting shit it's not a like how do we change marvel it's like you change yourself you become that employee that goes out and you actually become a good writer you work your way to the top and you don't mm -hmm. let that shit slide you don't produce a bad movie and i'm just saying like that's all it is it's like we have shitty people so shitty product shitty culture mm -hmm. shitty society yeah. good people and even even opposite. just being deliberate with what you create and consume is huge like that's all the it's a good point anti activism yeah, yeah. or that's like that's enough <clears throat> i hate the word activism but just Rip being aware just being yeah. aware of yeah. what you're what you're supporting with your dollar. You know, so, you know, you know you're going uh, out there and you're spending money and giving these corporations that hate you and you hate them. Just be aware yeah. and spend your That's money where you want to. Like, you, like, say. Eric, do you realize, spend it on Eric. Eric, do you realize how much good uh, in the world you put out there by shaming people to work out? That's like yeah. one of the dude, best things you dude, do. Dude. Why did I start working out? Because you were fucking tweeting every day and you're like, get your workouts wow. in. Get your yes. workouts in. So it's sure. like that's part of it that, that gets a lot of people to do it. You, think, Zuby, Melanie Mack, and I'm like, I'm yeah. Gonna yeah. Basically, my favorite segment from mm -hmm. Gina's appearance on Joe Rogan was them talking about fat shaming and how, yeah. how it's yeah. such a funny. good thing. And how it's such a good thing, and it really is. We're we have lost it the is. ability in our society to shame people. Doesn't matter whether it's for fat or whatever. Like shaming, shaming keeps things uh, structured the way a culture should. Ask be. your parents. Yeah. Right? Shaming used to be cons just called tough love. It was yeah. considered yeah. Um, a correction. Culture. It was considered discipline. It was considered we you were helping you get time in our house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. get you on the track on the right track. I also yeah. want to say for the record, I'm glad we finally have someone else on the show who makes EBT jokes. So thank you, Elijah. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> There's a reason why I haven't been invited on yet. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like getting crossed off the list. There. Like, now yeah. we, we we did that one so yep. <sighs> never again <laughs> oh no you'll be back what no, are you we just use like, ebt uh is it, what, that uh, okay well maybe <laughs> uh, marksman uh this is a two-parter for uh a total of 50 dollars. thanks marksman what's up dude I haven't talked to you in a while i gotta do a member stream i gotta do a member stream I haven't talked to marksman uh, I wanted to shout out a friend, of course, a great guy I've known since high school, the kind of guy you wanted to make people, the guy, the kind of guy who wanted to make people laugh. And this was uh, despite the fact he battled depression for many years, a battle he almost mm -hmm. lost, but one he ultimately won. And this is part two, a fellow nerd and geek. The night of July 3rd, he was in a car wreck and passed away the morning mm -hmm. of July 4th Oh, at 27. Holy Damn, shit. that's rough. Uh, friends come and go, but you can never, they can never be replaced. You were a brother and I miss you. Rest in peace, Jeremy. Rest in peace, man, Jeremy. Rest in peace. That's All right. crazy, to, man. to Jeremy. There you go. Yeah, Jeremy. man. That's awful. Um, I'll hold up my John Bartolo cup for that one. Cause, uh, say a prayer for Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Damn Too young. But that's, you go. know, something I was at a funeral yesterday. Uh, one of my uncles passed away and he was a great dude and it's just, it reminds you to to be thankful and grateful for the time that you do have and the and the events that are happening to you right now because it could yeah, it could change it could mm -hmm. all change tomorrow so it's good to stay grateful yes it is that was a nice try to be the best everybody. best best you um every day and it's yep. tough but this is the kind of thing that reminds us about why it is so important for us to not just be the best for ourselves, but for those around us. Cause that's what mm -hmm. true love is, right? To put the, the needs of others, those who are closest to us, our, our wives, our kids, our, our, our friends, you know, put their good before our own, you know, and that's ultimately what we're called to do. 
And this is why we're going to win, like Eric says. You know, there are people out there who say we can't win. Well, you will be the person who won't win. You yeah, will be the person who loses. Lose. And, and, and those people that ask, like, who, what do you mean? Who do you mean? We. Well, you got to figure that shit out. You, 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 you. <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah. yeah. You, yeah. Uh, you own some, uh, some other shit. And speaking of that workout stuff, like, that was – I think I mentioned this uh, to both Jeremy and Ryan, but outside of people asking, of course, when the reverse was coming, well, we did a meetup and this includes Gina Carano. That was the main thing that people brought up was the fact, Hey, I see your tweets all the time about getting my fat ass up, going to work out and going to do yada, yada, yada. And all those success story. How I'm down X amount of, I love hearing that stuff. I love hearing that, that stuff about people getting out there and taking their, you know, their temple, uh, uh, seriously, and it goes to show that, yeah, it's not just what I don't say that shit just to be saying that shit. Like, I really want people definitely on our side of the aisle to get around and fucking move, man. You have work yourself, uh, for itself, certainly as you age, and it's something to take very seriously. You it want changes not, your life in, you in want, not a small way. Man. You want not something small to way fight all. depression, you want oh, something yeah. to fight the malaise. That's it. I, I, okay. I was in prison and I, and I started my routine and my routine was working out every fucking day, like three, four times a day playing. Did you do like a prison workout? Yeah. Yeah. I came out there looking. Eagles. Felt. I was looking good when I got I need to get you, I need to get you um, on my show next time you're in Dallas because we got to talk about this. Sure. Yes. I, I, I am on the show. I've been going to the gym every day yeah, since and you don't have to look yes, like fucking Adonis, it. but it's kept me sober. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. kept me sane. You can cope better. Yeah, yeah. You're, it's you're less likely to do screaming TikToks in your car if you're like <laughs> a lot yeah. less likely. Yeah. If if it was socially acceptable to be 600 pounds, that's what I'd probably do. I like literally my only reason is just vanity. I just don't want to look fat. <laughs> I, 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 like I don't care about the health Ryan. benefits. That no, I literally just don't want to look fat. Ryan that's just it. doesn't want to be a fatty. That's but, what but we, we, we've had to invent <laughs> language for our laziness like, and, I, and I was talking about this with someone like because like like you said, uh, you know, Cernovich helped me lose. Oh, like he encouraged me to lose a lot of weight too, like 30 pounds. But it was like, you know, I'll have an excuse. At least my mom died and I was doing riot shit. So, you know, at least I didn't burn a building. I just like, I needed to burn calories, not a building type of thing. Yeah. So <laughs> like, but, but, okay, but it does happen. That's the key thing about the encouragement is like, it's not a, you're fucking retard. Cause you're fat. It's a, mm. Hey, our culture is set up for you to be weak, fat, depressed whatever it is that makes you weak it might not be fat might even be skinny but it's it's made it but for most of us because of the food it's set up on like a gambling system of an immediate slot machine for you to be able to get that high it's easy to go for things and they're packed dense not with nutrients but calories and we live a sedentary lifestyle the jobs are not mobile and we're pushed to to, to be to be sedentary the biggest way to lose weight by the way i want to tell people this this is a truth 100 biological is actually not by exercising it's your base metabolic burning rate so meaning more natural calories are burned a day by living and i mean this not i'm not talk knocking exercise i go five days a week i'm saying increasing the way you live your life like taking phone calls and going on a walk while you're taking phone calls and taking the stairs <laughs> and going around you're naturally going to burn like an 1800 1900 2500 calories depending on your body per per day just natural that's biology mm-hmm. i'm not a health expert i'm saying it's small that's just who, who you are so keeping that activity up that's why europeans are, are healthy you're not not just their food but they also have a more active walking lifestyle so just if you want to get thinner just start by like not being lazy don't take the elevator even sixth floor go ahead and walk do, ride park your bike. further away Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Keep that up. Walk. Take take a call. Don't sit down. If even if you want to watch a show, go on a walk and watch your show. I don't care what you do, but yeah. also on top of that, realize it's all poison you're being fed. It's what's destroying you. And I'm I'm telling you this for a matter of fact. The reason why one of the reasons why the birth rate is so low is not because of just pornography. It's not because of addictions. Mm-hmm. It's because sex drive. And to actually have intercourse is so low for two reasons. Number one, you don't have testosterone levels because the food and the exercise, you don't have all the all the sperm count and you're not getting your gonads active. Your legs aren't mm-hmm. being worked out. You're not pushing it. So you're like, that's why porn's easier because you don't want to put in the effort to seduce a woman. But also yeah. on top of that, you don't like to have hot, good sex when you feel gross. We had to invent the word fupa, fat out of the pussy area, because people had that i don't think that existed besides maybe some 
gods or some some kings at some point <laughs> like elites elite. elite. he fupa invented TED words talk. like yeah but fupa and then we had to distinctualize between like a, i don't know if that's a real word but fupa and gunt and we had to say like okay yeah. gunt is when the fat connects gunt to the stomach but a fupa is when it's a separate like and then we had, then, then, we had, then we had to invent front butt because that's when the gunt folds in on itself like this is crazy <laughs> shit. it makes it's a like little this, crack in the middle ah. yeah so i'm, I'm just saying like you're gonna want to have sex Are you having and ethan you ralph flashbacks yeah, uh, we, we were married. We divorced. Yeah, they were married, guys. We were married. Uh, but I just meant, I meant like I meant like nobody understands that that mean like why do you think why do you think the 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 ripped guy who rips his shirt off at the party and you know who you were at my Fourth of July party and shows his zero point one percent jeans he feels that confidence because he's putting in the effort the work that douchiness is coming out of the fact that I feel good about myself I know who I am I know what I'm doing the the smart guy who goes to school who's an asshole who's like a smart ass who's like showing off his knowledge why does he feel that way because he put in the time the effort the to, to feel confident in what he knows don't be a douche don't be a smart ass but at least just be average and like look good and don't fucking feel bad about yourself that's like a very simple thing there's something that's in getting clip in, that's getting clipped for narcotic yeah. daily to, <laughs> it's gonna get oh, yeah. hundred thousand views so ah. <laughs> and speaking ah. of i can't wait yourself, you know uh she looks like a hot dog uh, <laughs> you said she? she? Oh. You mean you mean they? If we they? Nice bulge. Dead, using her dead name. Hey, look. If, if she if she legally changed her name to Elliot, I'm actually fine with that. But I'm gonna keep calling her she because that's a biological fact. Yeah, I, I, I love. I, that's yeah. my yeah. mindset. But the other day, I was watching the Quarterings video. I love what he said because this whole dead naming thing is so stupid. So he's it's like, so bad. So he's like, now he's like, uh, I cannot be. He's a now my dead name is. Uh, for Twitter users, my dead name is the Quivering and Quarter Pounder. If you use those terms, <laughs> you will be banned from Twitter. And and that's the whole thing. Like you can call people like names that you don't like, and that's okay. Which I agree with that. But you can't call them their birth name, or yeah. you will be banned from Twitter. That is so yeah, like weird. I, I, I can I, fuck? I can call Elliot Page a cocksucker, but I can't. I can't say Ellen like that. That's yeah, yeah. crazy. It's hey, Elliot, nice labia. You can get your <laughs> yeah. with him now. You can punch him in the face because he's a dude. So that's right. Yeah, that's Ellen. a hate crime. Don't, don't yeah. excite me. I will say I, I do spider, think that it, I feel like yeah, Elliot Page and Ezra Miller are slowly merging into one being. They are. <laughs> yes, I feel they're the gonna, same. They're going to fusion dance like the Dragon Marvel Ball universes Z. are crossing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> our, our super characters are moving it's the around. Speed Force, the the meth version of it, though. So, oh yeah. my god, that is like that is like, that is like that is like a boy in the striped pajamas extra, you know, remake right there. That is so sad. This it's is like when a, this is like a little kid in a poorly made Halloween costume. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, that's it. Show me that. Now. My psychiatrist asked me about an eating disorder and showed me that picture and said, "Do you do you feel like this? It's sad, you know what I mean? Like for like I I feel actually bad for these people because that's the same thing." It's like if you feel like someone calling you a, a different name is enough to destroy and make you want to kill yourself. I'm being genuine. I don't mock it. I'm like, dude, these people need this fucking is a, help. That's tragic. Yeah, help. Something's yeah. wrong with you if you feel that way. Help. This yeah. is a supremely fucked up person. Yes, yeah, has been yeah. for a while. It's, it's, that, that's actually a new item at Taco Bell. It's the uh, Elliot Page <laughs> Supreme. <laughs> it's, it's, fucked fucked up. Up. It's, always, it's messed up every time you order it. There's giving you a <laughs> bag with shit in it, and it's the uh, Elliot. You Supreme. get the taco, and it shows up in a hot dog. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, it looks, so it looks like most bottom surgeries. Is that what you're saying there? Throw <laughs> <laughs> a little ham on top, and we got it. <laughs> it's, it's surprisingly oh. not on the pride menu. The only item they pay you to order. And age restricted. <laughs> Dude, listen. I didn't know what I was bullshit. getting myself into. I never made it through a full nerd, the, the full Friday night tight stream. I've only gone through like two hours maximum. And now I'm like, okay, I'll be tuning in more often. <laughs> it gets crazier three hours in. Yeah. 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 Well, listen to this bullshit. This is a report. So it's not, I don't think it's confirmed right now, but <clears throat> I'm reading a story that. Netflix is pulling their Vince McMahon documentary that's in development. Of all the bullshit that Vince McMahon has been a part of, now yes. you want to pull it because he might have paid a woman hush money that he fucked. That's that's what yeah. they should take it. Though, it's, it's, take it. It's, it's, it there, so there is. It actually came I, out I, earlier I, I, today. It's so there. There's like one chick that he like paid three million dollars to. Yeah. There, 
they're fi- there's a Wall Street Journal report. Somebody that's it's like twelve million dollars with multiple women over the over the years, yeah. and some We've and all some known of them this does this, uh, of like, course, and of course yeah. a lot of it's alleging like fucking employees and abusive yeah. power and shit that that's care. the thing i mean i, I, I know i, I don't know give that. A fuck. my point is, is like it's are we surprised man. man anybody that's ever paid the slightest bit of attention to the wwf slash e has known that this is vince fucking mcmahon they put it the into the damn storyline they put it's, it's it into the, the same story. Line. It's the same. It's the same thing as like Kathleen Kennedy allowed the solo movie to get ninety percent done before she decided, "Hey, I don't like what's going on." You're working on an in-depth documentary on Vincent Kennedy McMahon, and this is the thing. This is the thing that has thing decided for you to whole hold list. It. Holy fuck! I'd watch this fucking thing. <laughs> it's so great. Like man. this is a perfect time to drop one of those. Yeah. Now I'm bummed. Ooh, I want to see it. Also. also They've released a documentary on Tiger King. Think about all the crap that happened <laughs> that's in that. Good point. They did it oh my god! I mean, think about what they have released. It's like, oh, he paid off people. Oh, really? Uh, he like, basically, oh, they've got like oh, raped a bunch of straight men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's that's they, they crack. Got show, they got a show coming out on how to build a sex room. Did you see the guy? I mean, girl that's gonna yeah. build a sex room. Yeah. I, I saw Alex Stein tweet that out. He said if he wasn't yeah. a virgin, he would uh, that <laughs> yeah. he would watch that. He'd watch. Yeah. <laughs> Hail Alex like, Stein. I just love how all it, it Alex just, Stein ninety nine. Dude, he's got to roast panel. He's got to like, come it, down to Comic Con and fucking roast panels. That's what he's got to do. Oh god! Oh, he's oh, crazy. Comic Con. People used to do that in 2013. Wait, when's Comic Con? Why is it stopped? Uh, Which it, one? Um, yeah, there's a bunch. San so, Diego is July. Tw- it's in uh, two weeks from today. And, and then we're where? and we're gonna be in Houston. We're gonna be in Houston for Anime Matsuri July yep. twenty. Yep. What is it? Twenty ninth yeah, through thirty first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they yeah. allow you guys so, to go on panels. I saw. That. I thought that was weird too, because like, I feel like they wouldn't. I I saw like Gen Con and some of the other places had like BIPOC only rooms and stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I mean oh, that yeah. shit has yeah. has the furry stuff. Like, I saw some girl last night that was uh, teaching me Jesus on TikTok Christ, how to how to meow in your furry costume oh, to people. God. I'm like, can you not like comics and not be a fucking loser? Like, is that possible? <laughs> yes. Well, that's the problem with like comic cons is that they they became way more normy centric now and so yeah, that's yeah. what you got why you have a bunch of like weird shit but you got yeah. plenty of i would argue probably a very decent amount of the percentage of people that go to comic cons yeah. literally where where is it so life. well so anime anime Matsuri Matsuri is in houston really, yeah and it's very uh, based like this is a fan yeah. this is for yeah, this the isn't the first yeah. time that people like us have been on a panel there or have yeah, been yeah. there but like Gen Con, wild. the one you're talking about, Elijah, that's a, like a notoriously really fucking woke yeah, one. Yeah, that's a degenerate. Um, it, that's the one where after quartering, uh, after Jeremy Hambly got yep. attacked at a bar in Indianapolis attacked? by a dude who was, the, yeah, like literally yeah. like sucker punched, uh, yeah. they banned Jeremy instead of the dude Holy in the dress. Shit. Yeah. 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 So so here's wow. one panel. Uh, I, I usually do this. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do a live stream probably next week on the, all the woke panels at Comic-Con. Usually it's Thursday. They stack it pretty heavy. Thursday. 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 Getting yeah. Zach up there? Uh, you know, no. This is, this is my first too. One, Eric, Eric, they've been doing diversity in comics for, for, for years, and I tried to get Zach to go, but he probably thought I was just some psycho. And I'm like, yeah. dude, you got to go. No, you got to go. This is you, man. This no, is all this you. Is the panel where the editor of Lion Forge went up and said, I will not take a story written by an Asian person about a black person. It's a hard pass. And I'm like, that's that's discrimination yeah. at the workplace. Wow. That's against the law. Yeah, because yeah, the Asian person gets gets slapped. jumped in the story, and it's, it's yeah, not fine good. for them. <laughs> it's fine. So this is like this is the team <laughs> one. Um, Sorry, the Comic Book Legal one. Defense Fund, which is supposed to like protect comic creators and comic shops, they're doing a talk this year on attacking modern comics. And this attack is algorithmic and organized. They're going to be talking about us. Uh, of yes. Just fucking talking yeah. about mm-hmm. us. And the oh, let's show up. Let's be the front row. Yeah. Oh, so, man. Oh, and there's like, there's about 15 like hardcore woke panels at SDK. So, yes, yes. Alex Nine should go. Huh. But he should probably go to the movie stuff. Because in 2012 and 13, there were comedians who were roasting Comic-Con, and then they put the kibosh on it because you get kicked out for life. So if Al's, uh, you know, Absolutely if he wants banned. to go once, if he wants to go <laughs> once, <laughs> one, 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 all yeah. a good time. So. Steven got completely banned from South by Southwest, and then wow. uh, one of our other guys, Finn, he got banned from South by Southwest. I should have been banned, but I, I somehow snuck out. 
Let's I get out of there. It is lost, dude. South but, by Southwest hasn't been the same since the 90s. Dude, that place is woke yeah. as fuck. Oh, dude, Every I single love. panel they have there look, is look this where kind it's of at. shit. I mean, shit. Right. In I love Austin, the comedian our concentration of cracky is over there. Yeah, yeah, I let a comedian in in 2013 who roasted some wrestlers. I think he jumped on one and hugged them and kissed them or something like that. I don't know what the fuck he did. But uh, the only reason I didn't kicked out is because I knew somebody. Because <laughs> yeah. he, he got in on my pass, but they were going to. That was going to be it for me. Uh, and 100% uh, Alex, we, please, God, do this. Yeah. And, and, and there are a lot of shit like this, but at the same time, hey, we had a great experience at Dallas yep. Fan Expo. Um, mm -hmm. It sounds like there's a potential for us to do more of these fan expo events, yeah, which is yeah. really cool. Um, so, and hey, look if if they're if they can have us, they can have them. That's fine, but you got to have it even. Yeah. See, right now, mm -hmm. right now, every fucking panel is like this. Every one. It's like when in uh, 2019 when we were in New York City. I go yeah, back to it every time. Are that, you going to be at, at this pl that this crazy panel right here? Woke ass panel. <laughs> 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 Black to the no jive talk black oh, to me no what the ted, TED talk. talk oh my god i am actually wow. hosting that one i'm like <laughs> what excuse me i speak jive Nin yeah. Yeah. how are y'all doing and like you thought i was going there and i'll just be like i'm just kidding i'm not i'm not hosting this i think it's such bullshit. like i i want to tell you this i i don't understand this do people hate themselves because I yes. don't like okay, and this is a funny no thing. I, I don't even like to consider mm -hmm. myself political or what I do political because I'll go to like a boomer con convention for politics, and I'm just like, dude, these people are so boring and stupid. Right. Like, oh yeah, it's like the reason why young people are voting Democrat is because they don't have opportunities in the tax bracket. You're like, no, stop. You you <laughs> you do you know what a computer is? Relax. Uh. But look at this shit. It's like I'm saying I don't even go to events that agree with my beliefs because they're boring and cringe and stupid. You go to defending comics like comics today, contemporary yeah. attacks on comics and like do you give a shit about comics should be attacked, not physically, but like it's fucking funny. Like comics can get their whole careers made by just fighting a, a an audience member. It's like but do you hate yourself so much that you would go to this? Because I want to know, are people showing up to this? You guys have been there. Are people watching this? Are people yeah. actually attending this? And if you're yeah. going, how much do you hate yourself that you would go to this? I don't even go to Trump rallies, and I'm a Trump supporter. Dude, in 2019, I went to the yeah. New York City Comic Con panel. I brought Gary there. It was, what was the title of it? It was uh, Fighting Fascism and Fandom. Oh. <laughs> and the entire, the entire Japan, panel. I am not, already, re I'm not joking. Us. The whole yeah. panel was a clan rally. It was an anti-white clan rally. And I was like, we are sitting right here while they're talking about how bad white men are and how they're all evil and how they all need to get out of the industry because they're all holding black and brown and Asian people down. It was like it was like a clan energy. It had that same energy. You're gonna see how supportive they are, and of, it was uh, full of of wow. having black voices in the comic world. Wait, let me ask you this: I'm invited to none of this shit. <laughs> do we do we need to do what? any exposing? I'm down with any of you because I have good crew and camera stuff. Do we need to like get real press passes and like expose some of this shit? Because this is crazy. I'm it'd reading probably this. Be good content. I, I've that never seen awesome. this, but like no, and I don't even need to be the star of it. Like if you guys know more than me, I don't care. I'm like, we need to go make some videos down at these things, like like properly and like yeah, do some questions and set people yeah. up because <clears throat> again, I have all the equipment and resources that are needed but like i'm looking at this gender parody in geek entertainment fuck you yes what the fuck is that i'm not yeah. even a, I, i'm not even a geek and like this is what that's what scares me away like if you told me hey bro you want to be weird and like go make some cosplay costumes go down get a little buzzed and you know kick it in some like anime convention be like dude weird sounds fun you know especially single guys i'm sure like there's some hot girls that wearing big eyelashes and showing their booties they'd love it and now you tell me hey you want to go to a lack of gender parody or whatever in Af an afro latinx studies at a at an anime I'm like Fuck, dude, no i would just go you know and i would just go and roll in university of texas austin like i, yeah. I, I, long, I, long yeah. days, I, I don't gotta go to a con days. for that I long for the days where you couldn't hook up at con where it was like laughable of people hooking up at con because it was just some paid stripper who was a booth babe. Uh, but those days, I don't even know what this is. I, I do. You have to come on the show. I'm learning. So I don't know what booth babes are. I can, I can think of oh, it, booth babes were, were like back well, in the day. That was like 2005. Dude, yeah, that was like, long they've been canceled. 
They don't like, have like low anymore. kids, but those girls have only fans now, so they don't have to do booths. Yet. Well, yeah. the booth babes are fucking probably too old for only fans at this point. But like yeah. back in the day, no, but I where you a video like... for you how booth babes became only fans girls. <laughs> They're basically yeah. land yeah. stewardesses. Well, they, they, all that the whole industry got ruined because of feminism. It's like the yep. same thing with like the, the grid girls. Like so many people, women actually complained about these other women doing this. Yeah. They basically ran them out of their jobs. It's it's yeah. fucked up. Like, like, there's no picture that. The freaking g4 whatever girl frost oh, yeah oh, frost. oh. yeah <laughs> yeah She's it, bad it, for bimbos yeah it's sexism in gaming it's shut the there is no up. better marketing strategy to like 19 year olds who have never seen a vagina than just like some <laughs> chick who is so fucking hot that they piss as soon as they get in front of her you're gonna buy whatever they're trying to sell you just for an opportunity to like look them in the eye get a picture <laughs> on. Did you, i got a you graph got, though 27 percent of people are virgins now under 30 Oh my god. Oh, that's yeah, that's no crazy. Way. That's, that's the Taylor Oh, that's Lorenz Ari. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, my yeah. girl. That's my yeah. girl Ari. Yeah. That's the, the Taylor Lorenz. Yes, uh, yeah, of course. And, and on this tweet, guess who retweeted it with uh, our panel? There's uh, Steph uh, retweeting oh, with our panel. Oh, <laughs> with only, oh, three, with only three days of preparation, Look we did that. that. Standing uh, room incredible. only. That's amazing. Yeah. You got Taylor Lorenz uh, <laughs> doing that one right there. Bigger so, room. Sure. She has a way bigger they room. They need to borrow yes. those, uh, yeah. those, they those, those too. Made it fucking cardboard <laughs> seat fillers <laughs> that they, uh, they had at baseball. I don't want to dox 15-year-old girls, so don't go to that. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Dude, that dude, that does suck. Though I'm genuinely saying, like that, that did ruin everything because people don't understand that guys just need their spaces. Like straight up, like it's it's this stupidity that you can't, you know, be a good guy. You can't provide for your family. You can't, you know, somehow get married or anything without you somehow subjecting yourself to this feminist ideology. And then if you're against feminism, you're against women. And I always look at like feminists. I go, bitch. I'm gonna call you that because you are one. <laughs> My wife is taking a nap on a designer couch downstairs with a with an imported dog from Hungary hanging out on a couch <laughs> in a bed for I mean in a blanket from Pottery Barn chilling. Your imported and, wife. And she had, my imported wife. I, I paid to, I paid over ten dollars <laughs> to import her. I even wow. I literally she came with she came with a warning label: may curse and drink too much beer. It's Australian. But, but it goes. But it goes. I have my wife down there who's who's waiting for the text to make her dinner, make me dinner, and like she's down there. And it's like she's today she's gone to Target. She's had a good time. She's gone shopping. It's like I literally have given her a life where she's still able to be a nurturer. She's able to live in her quality. It's not saying I gave her an easy life. In fact, it's exactly how, how she was designed to. She She's able to be a helper, and she's down there. She runs this whole house. She runs a big home in Texas. She does whatever she wants. She makes the rules. She helps. She, 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 she designs everything. She's an interior designer. She's a sex slave. She goes out there. She's also a cook. <laughs> she's everything. No, but I meant, I meant like she, she has so many jobs and rules. She's going to be a booth babe. Oh, liberating. Why don't you come a booth babe? So you can experience this for a weekend. The guy dumps you. No, she lives a great life that a woman would want. And my point being is like, I look at them. It's like, what are you trying to do for the world? Why are you invading uh, our spaces? speaking Ryan's language right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah basically. Uh, yeah. yeah. But like, I'm saying, uh, why don't you want that? That to me, I'm not a woman. I like to provide. Like men don't get that. Men are like, I wish I had that. I don't wish I had that. I want to provide. I want to work. I want to be busy. I want shit to do. I like that. I'm not. A, I'm not. I don't want to be a trust fund baby. I want to. I want to pioneer. I want to take risks. I want to have fun. I like working. But the thing is, is like, why do you want to invade our spaces? And we can't be guys anymore. And every guy's like, well, I'm not going to say that. I don't want to offend women. It's like, fucking, who cares? Get the fuck out. Like I'm just saying, like let's let's be back to where women have spaces, men have spaces, yeah. and sometimes we come together, like in church. Maybe at a conference like this one, you come together, but we have our roles. We have our dignified yeah. positions and our places. Yeah, yeah. If you want to be woke and you want to change that, start your own Reddit subgroup and live there. <laughs> But don't yeah. come into my yeah. fucking panel. Stay there. And, and even like, yeah. even in gaming, like say back back when gaming was, and it still is a predominantly male space. Mm -hmm. th there's nothing wrong with that because there were women that game back then too. There have always been women that game because that was just the environment that they were okay. drawn to. The difference is when people start coming in and trying to change it, even for the women Tours. that enjoy that space. That's the fucking problem. And. It, it, it's not a bad thing to strive for. You know what? A, a man maybe wants to be the head of household and the breadwinner while a woman, you know, maybe stays and as is a homemaker. There's nothing shameful about that life. The fact that over the past five decades in this country, when you combine the fact that women have wanted to go into career fields, when you combine inflation and stagnating wages, like all these things, it, it's resulted in our children 
being raised by schools, uh, by mm -hmm. streaming services, by tablets, mm -hmm. by babysitters, by all these things mm -hmm. that aren't like the parent. And that is a that is a far bigger problem than some bitch feeling like she does, doesn't have any opportunities, to be honest with you. Those are the things. That's why our culture is going downhill is because we have lost like proper parenting. Mm -hmm. And so there's nothing wrong yeah, yeah, with striving sure. to get back there. It's so discouraged. My wife grew up wanting to have children and, and raise them and teach them and and be nurturing. But it's all they're like throughout our, our whole life. It's been trashed. Which if you harder, if you're a woman and you want to do that, then you're lesser. Then you're what you don't want to have a career. It's you don't want to go and, and be in an demonized. office. You don't want to die alone. Yeah. yeah. Like everybody else. Yeah. Be great. Garrett, it's like that's great. It's if women well, want to go out great. and do that, you have that option. Garrett, that's great. I, but but I heard but I heard I heard a good example recently from a very wealthy and wise person I know who told me this. He says, you know, in a in a society, here's what's so crazy is that women have been have been lied to in the fact that mm. they just because they're told to be happy, you can't have a career, they think that means that they can't work. And that's yeah. the weird thing because humans are all designed to work because that that that's the mm. fall nature of who we are. We are fallen, and so we we need this sort of like a redemption. We have to work towards our survival. Well, here's what's so crazy. Number one, if we just take housework, housework is so crazy and it's so not a job that if you choose to be a career woman, you have to pay someone to actually take care of it. Or by the way, that's number three or two, I think, on terms of why disagreements and divorces happen is disagreements on housework. It causes tension in the family. But mm -hmm. Also this, like what it means is it's not that a woman can't work. Even in Proverbs 31, the woman would go out and she would create tapestries and she would sell in the marketplace. What a career and, a, and working is different. Working could be you literally have a job or you don't or you're bringing in money. You're trying to build your family. You're trying to build something great. You're trying to make something. A career is you want to be an executive. That's your goal. Your goal is you don't care if you get married. You don't care what happens. You don't care what's going on. You just want to be an executive. And that's what men are supposed to do because we can balance wanting to be a family man and also wanting to be an executive. But as a woman, because of birth, which is this crazy non-negotiable thing that exists in biology that no one wants to talk about, you physically can't raise your kids the way you would want to and be a career woman. You could have a job, but then if you realized, hey, it's cutting up with your kids, you have to sacrifice a career for your children. You might go back into workforce, you might get a job, you might make work from home, you might your your work might be your home. It doesn't really matter. I know everyone's in different socioeconomic places. They don't all have the same abilities. So I'm not talking shit. I'm saying like you can't be a career woman and build a stable family, but you can be a working woman and build a stable family as long as your priorities are straight with men too. It's like you can't let your career get in the way of your family. You can't let the career get in the way of your marriage. You can't let your kids get in the way of your marriage. Like you've got to know your priorities. You've got to have a fucking hierarchy of what's important and how to stay together. Because you could be poor, married, and happy with your kids. You could be rich, single, and miserable. It's like you've yeah. got to learn what matters in this world. And we have no value system. We have nothing that matters. I went to a Walmart today that I've never been in like a long time. And I watch all these old people just spending their checks there. They're just using their life earned retirement and money to build some fucking mega corporation. It's like they don't know one even thinks what they're doing with the time, their money, their resources. It's like you worked for 70 years retired just to make some fucking billionaire of Walmart rich with dumb shit you bought from China. And it's yeah. like that's the kind of shit we need to like think about. Again, where's our money? Where's our time? Where's our decision? Where's our investment? And what matters the most? And that's how we make our decisions. Fuck the money. Fuck the system. Fuck all of the material goods, keeping up with the Joneses. That shit doesn't matter if inside you're miserable and you have no value system to pass your life onto. And yeah. women thinking that offspring is not the greatest gift in the power move, fucking every guy that has kids is stuck to you. Whether he stays with you or not, kids anchor them down. Child support or marriage, that's the same shit. You still got to provide. It's like you have power yeah. to anchor men in this world and to lead generations and you fucking want to kill your kids. That's your vision or have Talk a Talk about empowerment. Yeah. Talk mm -hmm. about empowerment. You have the power to choose the next generation of our society. Wow. Uh, that is a yeah. massive Well, hang power. on. Uh, speaking of empowerment, Chrissy has to leave. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, boy. I mean, we're like, interrupting the good conversation like oh, a woman. No. I'm yeah. kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you guys interrupted my Thor review, no. so it all evens out. Um, <laughs> I, I, tried, I tried to give you space to yeah, do your good. review, it's Chrissy. Okay. So. It's okay. Um, thanks for having me on, guys. I got a bunch of shows coming up next weekend. I'll be doing, uh, in New York City next Thursday, Tannersville, New York next Friday in buffalo and next sunday in syracuse uh i i have all those uh clubs listed on my twitter and all my social media and stuff and yeah thanks for having me guys this was awesome elijah you're great congrats eric so proud of you appreciate that thank you can't so wait much. to buy all your shit hell yeah 
Bye, Bye Chrissy. Bye, Chrissy. Bye. Bye. Chrissy. Bye. 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 And we're going to use this opportunity to let people go who need to go because we're like way past three hours. Uh, mm-hmm. Are we way past? Th- yeah, we're way yes. past three hours. Yes. Right? Three hours and yeah. 30 minutes. So uh, whoever needs to go, speak up now. Or forever. I'm going to hang, I'm gonna hang for another 30. I got another 30. So Okay. That's Same. good. That's that's as long as we're going. So there we go. Um, Anybody else? Anybody else? We good? That's good. Wrong. Okay. Okay. That's right. No, you know, I, th- I I love the the retort back to like however you feel about abortion. I I, I think the one thing, uh, the, the I love the retort is all the guys have to take responsibility too, and we're like, uh, the no those terms are acceptable. Like, yeah. yes, yeah. please, <laughs> yes, yes, please get every uh, sad uh, sack out there that impregnates a girl and runs away. Uh, make him own make up him his pay. responsibility. Yes. Yes. Make him be responsible. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Make him be responsible. Make him <laughs> fucking pay. How about raise the kid? Give it a that, shot. Maybe no. that's how yeah. we actually fucking like we subversively try to get them to be like, look at what you can do. You can just fucking like make this dude have to pay you. Like you can make this guy have to be responsible for the rest of his life. You yeah. really want to stick it to the patriarchy, right? Don't get an abortion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you stay home. Make him work. I yeah. had a boss, a true story. I had a boss at World Pack, the the auto parts place i delivered at back in the 90s and he was uh he was illegally here from mexico but he was the manager of the facility and he went back to mexico to avoid child support payment oh my god wow Wow. got all the way fucking here to america got climbed the corporate ladder and went back home to avoid child support holy shit i was like damn what a dick but uh horror um, i know ryan's all i admire that guy yeah, <laughs> he's gonna have a poster of him on his wall. Yeah, it's whatever. Uh, horror Amarada for fifty dollars. <laughs> Hail the Ripperverse! Hail Friday Night Tights! Hail Chat! Welcome to the beginning of our new creative age. We're here for the ride, for the love, and for the freedom. We are winning. I totally agree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We're we're kicking there, like. Who are they? Um, activists, the uh, the access media, even yeah. here on YouTube, we are beating their ass. Like it's not. It's like, no, I'm still enjoying it. I, I'm still enjoying it. <laughs> it's still, You're allowed to, man. You're allowed to. I, I, I wake up every day with a little smile on my face, going, "Oh yeah, they wrote this article for like point zero zero four cents a word." <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, uh, yeah, it's great. And th- and they're gonna have to the. the and again, I mentioned in the video, and so did Eric. They're they're gonna be ramping up the attacks. And Clownfish said it in their video. And they're right. You know, they they, they need money. Times are tough. Uh, the venture capital money is gone from a lot of these websites. So in the next year or so, they're all, half of them will be gone, if not all of them. So they are or absorbed after, into each other. Or absorbed yeah. into each other. So they're gonna start coming after us to get clicks. And it's, I guess it's kind of up to us to ignore it, you know, after a certain amount of time, but it's fun, you know, picking one it's, once it is, in a while. It is fun. <laughs> we, we ignore, we, we ignore enough of them as it is. There's occasionally yeah. some you just have to respond to because it's just so damn easy, but we are, we ignore a lot of these fucking idiots. Yeah. But the salon one was a particular kind of bad <laughs> because it was plagiarized and historically wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like two years <laughs> late. Uh, oh, two yeah, years late. Sadly. And then like. The Nazis being in World War One was my favorite. Yeah, that, that was the best part of that article. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, like I said, I, 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 I wanted, I should have screenshot of this, but like <clears> it, it, and I still can, but like, j- and tag Salon, but like on my D-Day Cobra channel, no uploads for almost four months, and then because they featured that channel, now my my revenue says like uh, seven or seven thousand percent increase over <laughs> yeah. last month, <laughs> and I'm like, That's more hit pieces. fucking idiots, Come on, yeah, you go. fucking idiots. Like, it's the only reason I even started uploading in that channel again because you fucking idiots. That's the opposite that. of like when you have all oh, you guys have a million view. I don't have a million view video, but I have it one with 800 something thousand. And then the, your next two videos, which are doing great, they're like decrease of 40 <laughs> percent. Yeah, yeah. Like, ah, I hate that shit. you know, yes. <laughs> Yeah, All of these like, on you algorithm. That, that's yeah, yeah. Like, but YouTube, they, they really care about your mental health. They really yeah. 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 Like, Ger- Jeremy put a Jeremy put a message in like our, our team, our Geeks and Gamers teams chat. We're like Ryan just got a million view video, awesome. And my my immediate response is like, thanks. Now every video that doesn't hit a million is just going to be a huge disappointment. To me. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's just how I think. Arrow that's yeah. going. Down. Look at this piece yeah. of shit. Got nine hundred thousand well, views. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like it's like uh, they 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 sit there. They encourage you to try as hard as you can 
to mm-hmm. one up your previous video. All of the analytics they give us on the back end, like everything is designed There's to go, checklist. you better clickbait that motherfucker. Yep. You better get the clickbaity thumbnail and title every time. Like everything that YouTube does behind the scenes is designed to make you try to one up your, your previous video every single time. Yep. And then they go, Oh, these clickbaiters just like yeah. that's how what it's they, designed. That yeah. includes yeah. putting a Murphy beard on a black dwarf female. <laughs> no, comment, no comment, no comment. That's just <laughs> immature, Gary. You <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't have those thumbnails. <laughs> Dude, you know, I was gonna say this so to encourage to encouragement. Well, to encouragement to people who are different kind of creators, there's different kind of creators too. In like, look at me, just go pee and come back. Um, actually, I had to, I had to make sure my wife's fine. I was like, don't start cooking dinner yet. Um, oppressed, <laughs> oppressed. Um, but I was gonna say that, that, like, you know, I've never really had a super viral video on YouTube. I've kind of more just been like on Twitter and stuff. And you know, on Twitter, we've I've had videos like up to 30 million views multiple times. I think I did like a billion views in 2020 or something close to that on on Twitter. But it's like that doesn't really matter. It's not monetizable, right? So it's like the, it's happened. But like on YouTube, I just create consistent content a couple, a few times a week. Nothing ever does amazing. It's always does between like maybe fifty to one hundred fifty thousand views each thing I, I release, and I've been doing it for about three and a half, almost four years. And I've still been able to get almost half a million subscribers and I just keep it consistent. Like I just don't, I don't mm-hmm. fucking wake up one day. Like, I'm hungover. I'm not going to make a show or my wife's mad at me. Like, and so sometimes consistency for men also works where I feel like YouTube tries to trap you in the like, like, and you'll see people like this, where you get one video, that's a million views. And then every other video is like 10,000, 8,000, 7,000. Yes. Like you get like a one, a one hit wonder. And then, and then, which is fine. I'm not mocking that. And then like no, six yeah. months later, you get another yeah. million view video. I've never gotten, I think, more than like maybe 700,000 views on a video in my life. And I, you know, you can feel like that, like Dick, uh, Dick comparison thing where it's like, oh, I don't have a big dick because it's, it's, but mine, hey, but you have chlamydia and I am married. So it's like, you might have a big dick, but you got problems. No, but I just meant like, but I meant like, but it is, but it is, I meant that with people. It is perspective and it's more, where did God call you to be? What did he call you to do? And I think that YouTube tries to get us trapped in a dopamine rush they know it's mostly men that are watching and it's mostly men that are creating and the women that are creating have big breasts and they're trying to attract the men i i know it sounds very bad but it's true it just it's true like e-girls not all of them some of them are very good but that's very common so that's why they even encourage girls to show their breasts and to be kind of hypersexual and this and stuff because they want to attract the men that's fine i'm not even against that i'm just saying it's like it's kind of weird on YouTube that they try to make you feel like you're bad if you don't get. X-ray views, girls just why... taking this all personally. Yes. No, but it, no, 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 guys mad. Cover it all up. Cover it all up. No, 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 guys mad that you're showing a little. Put the burka on, please. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Put the burka on. They they just got the rip rip reverse uh rip rip a metaverse <laughs> rip reverse. No, no, uh, no, good. no, but I meant I meant like Taliban's gonna love that. It's crazy because even as a creator, you're, you're trying to be honest and they. Try try to get you to, to trade truth and being real with your audience for engagement with mm-hmm. people that don't even give a fuck what you think about. So they're like, hey, your engagement's better if you get a million views. Who gives a fuck about those 600,000, 500,000, 800,000 other people? You might have 200 people you meet every day. Your local church only has 90 people showing up every day and they go on for 50 years and support an entire staff. Like you got to realize the power is in the the strength of the group, not yes. in the numbers. The numbers do bring Great. in some money and that shit can help you grow the group. So you don't try to grow and, and hit the algorithms, but it's like, that's why they can't win because the, 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 the more they take away our reach, the stronger they make the foundation and the people fucking come out and you guys give super chats to the show. You come out and you go around, you go back to stream yards and, and skirt with Jackie's, uh, you know, 30%, you know, super firewall. It's like, you guys know that this shit is literally, it's like the 80, 20 rule. 20% of the fans make up 80% of the ability mm-hmm. for the show to run period. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You're right about that. You're hundred percent right. Absolutely. Well said. But same goes for like a small business. It's it's the same as a small business. You know, out of your clientele, you got three. Well, for my comic shop, it was about 300 people. But honestly, it was about 75 of those 300 that kept me going all the time. The guys who came in all the time, every week, line out the door, uh, which looked long, but it was actually a pretty small store. So Well, it's true. I mean, because I mean, you look at the long line. You look at like, uh, you know, we're not all Gary. We all can't get like 40,000 people watching our live streams. Uh, so oh, like yeah, when we crazy. go live, <laughs> <laughs> but like usually like when we go live on our channels, we'll get, you know, a thousand, two thousand people watching, you know what I mean? And like, 
those are the people that are they they make up our channel in terms of the foundation of it and then people rewatch it on the replay if we keep it live or whatever like that but that kind of goes into exactly what elijah was saying what gary's saying and uh we know that but yeah it's we're just i personally and and everybody here can't believe i'm here half the time you know but it's yeah. crazy but we're here because places like lighter and screen junkies and these other places ran off their entire fan base and ruined all their talent by me tooing yeah. each other or calling each mm -hmm. other racist or sexist or not standing up for their friends when some random account with four followers started tagging the company and said, oh gosh this person says something that offended me that, that that's why we're here because these idiots have opened up a space for us and all the normal people have found us and, and then they went independent and didn't get anywhere close to the success that they had on the the big channel <clears throat> and they're still shilling they're still getting their access and everything and so it's like yep. oh good on you you haven't changed at all and yep. you're still suffering from that so yep jeremy you've talked about it and i was a i was a fan of it too like screen junkies collider i watched yeah. all that shit same here yep. and it was really at, over, over time i realized just how shilly it was and how soulless the kind of the friendship it was on screen because then you saw what happened to Signor and whatnot. Uh, just everybody stabbing each other's backs. Yeah. And that's what, like, it kind of goes back to being grateful and gratitude and, and being appreciative of what, ha what is happening now. Cause it's like, you look back at like Dallas when we took a picture together and I said, when I posted, I said, it's a great time to be alive because it's fucking a great time to be alive. So many, so much media and shit outside of politics. It's all shitty. And it's horrible, but it's not. You just go look yeah. outside, spend time with people that, that you love spending time with. And like this, it could stop tomorrow because mm -hmm. the algorithm shifts or whatever reason. And all this stuff is completely obsolete. So you got to be appreciative of what you got right now. <laughs> it's just but it, right is, it is a great time to be alive. You're right. And yep. This is so bad. This is so bad. Before you start this, though, I'll say, and, and the this what is uh, this? I'm about to see this. <laughs> this is so. This is so fucking. Oh, bad. I was gonna oh, say, what, what is this? What's the name uh, of that documentary, a, well, uh, Jeremy, that you had found? Because I was. Uh, it, it was on Winter's Inferno channel. Winter's Inferno. So good. Yeah. Very, so good. good. Very, it's very, very good. Very, very good. Well, I'll, and I'll, after we play this, I'll, I'll actually I'll, I'll follow up my point because I think it'll play better yeah. after this. So this is the Collider crew at Denny's. It's right. <laughs> they're I at, all right. The, the, wonder yeah, if they so got their the, orders the, right. The, <laughs> the, <laughs> listen, was it? Yeah, was Ryan, it like when Ryan, we went we to Denny's? Done this. The, we should have done this. They're at Denny's. They're at Denny's okay. promoting the di the Denny's <laughs> Star Wars. I'm not saying menu. we won't ever be at Denny's eating. We won't be promoting it. But <laughs> yeah. we'll be there. We're in fact gonna fucking make fun of it. But, oh, yeah, we need so, to do yeah. one. So, so this is them shilling for Solo, a movie that. Hashtag lost solo money. lost money, lost money. Um, uh, 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 and hyping it up. And then they're at Denny's eating the Denny's food while praising the Denny's food and talking about the Star Wars food. And there's this chick that has absolutely no clue like what's going on, but trying to talk about it. Go ahead, Gary. I, I haven't so like cool. scanned this video. This could have voiceover. I should give that. I just fucking looked it up real quick. King of Terror is the channel. So, you know, <laughs> give him, give him, give him some props there. Give him or her props. <laughs> Fantastic. Like, yeah, what do we got? Cuisine is always here, Christian. So much great food, great in cards, collector cups to get into. But first, it's basically like you're at a Denny's in a galaxy far, far away, which is kind of how I feel right now. We're debuting some of the new menu items they have <laughs> at uh, Denny's you guys can check out. So we have the Light Speed Slam, which is the healthy <laughs> <laughs> The Light Speed <laughs> Slam is called a quickie when I was growing up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the that, was the light speed that, was, that was called the telling your partner I'm sorry. The Light Speed Slam. <laughs> <laughs> this this never happens. Oops. Yeah. That was called... Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to end that early. Holy my shit. Bad. Blam. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, is this real? It's yeah, real. This, this really it's happened. Real. It's real. And fresh spinach, sauteed mushrooms, and hash browns. Topped with good at cheese sauce, cheddar cheese, and two eggs. The Star Wars experience here at Denny's because we also have these collector cups <laughs> that I'm very oh excited goodness. about. With some yeah, of your favorite that's why you go to Denny's. You're very excited about there. it. The more packs you get, the better chance you have. You shouldn't remember when you go to Denny's. You know Denny's guys. right if you remember it. That's the key thing. It should always be like someone telling you, like, hey, we went to Denny's last night. And you go, yeah. oh, we did? fuck, we, we should did. be mad. Yeah. Yeah, like, hey, you still have part of your moons over Miami on your shirt, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you got to watch yourself. 
that, that's how I got syrup on my shirt. Oh. Yeah. That's not a syrup, sir. That's a hey, that's, oh, that's something else we'll talk something later. Else. <laughs> we were all like physically together. We were in a Denny's at yeah. two in the morning in Dallas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They fucked waitress. up my order, stupid bitch. <laughs> I saw that. I saw guys leave the studio. Cook. It's because you ordered mad. the pancakes, Ryan. They had yeah, how dare you order the like pancakes? Fucking hardest thing, and they don't make waffles there anymore for some the, reason. The best part the was that the waffles. waitress, the waitress oh, yeah. that didn't going give off a on fuck her about anything, walks up to <laughs> us. I think we had like. 20 people there yeah yep. uh, walks up and before she's like taking her she's ranting about other employees and how they're not doing their job we're like this is gonna be so bad i, I, I could tell when i walked in <laughs> could tell when i walked in the type of service i was gonna like, fucking oh, no. <laughs> what, you, what you're trying to say there ryan what you're trying to make say? your own whipped cream he, type of service just he just said they're not sending their best that's what ryan was no. saying. <laughs> right. i had a great experience at waffle house in nashville <laughs> I had a great experience there. She got all my shit right. So. Foil cards. They made these special foil cards. There's one in every hundred packs, and they're already gone. Like a guy who fucks a toaster. Right now with- <laughs> oh wait, wait, go back. Wait, go back. Go back. Go back. He talked about how much those were going for on eBay. Yeah. He's like, they're going for like hundreds of dollars on eBay right here. What? The special foil cards. They made these special foil cards. There's one in every hundred packs, and they're already gone. Like a couple hundred dollars on eBay right now, which. <laughs> the complete set. That's complete pounds, right? set. That's pounds, that's pounds. Yeah, yeah, the complete set. It's not going for hundreds of dollars. It's going for that twenty-two needs, pounds. One of y'all needs to get that for bragging rights, just to say I got. Like, right. look, I got a foil set. <laughs> the music. Something that's really cool that you can check out right now. Denny's dot com is the Smuggler's Dice Sweepstakes. Which God. is basically giving you the fans the opportunity to roll the dice. You're rolling Han Solo's dice. You see the dice <laughs> hanging? He hangs them onto the, I think it's the little. Uh... Have so much to do in this movie. Right? Like, especially after everything with Flash Jedi. It's all like this. And when you go back and watch. This guy wanted Busting to, his ass. This guy wanted <sighs> to be the Howard Stern of nerddom. Yeah. 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 So yeah. much yeah. more to what those dice mean. It's so exciting. So look at what Howard Stern is and now. Back, yeah, he kind of turned into him, didn't he? Yeah. 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 Unintentionally, accurate. or Howard Stern turned into him. Whatever. Watch that scene. There's going to be so much yeah. more to what those dice mean. It's so exciting. And I'm starting to get more and more excited about this movie. Way more than I was three weeks ago. Yeah. How do you feel um, about it? Me, I totally agree with you. Like, I didn't know that I needed it. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I need this movie. But now that I've seen all this material, I need to see this movie. It looks so well oiled. It looks, I mean, the movie oh, looks solid. People are starting to get excited. Well oiled. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I was like, <laughs> don't you just want to see like Yoda sailing. and oil? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Geeks right. right there. Yeah, I wish I, right there. I wish he was talking <laughs> about uh, the pre-sales. And Ron Howard was the captain of the ship. Tell us your name. Nice. My name's Anakin. Great shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Is that your real name? Oh, That's yeah. What no, if not. after episode nine we get maybe exactly what we all wanted after after the last Jedi? Who's after controlling this video? Right we get to see him. Gary. Gary, him. pause this, please. Can we just? Okay, this is a very nerd production standpoint. The double audio, the coming in through a maybe like this double audio and the sound with the music going on, feeling like I'm watching like a porno from 1962. <laughs> it's just like it's like I usually skip this part, you know. I just they're, they're just usually I do, and the, look yeah, at that yeah. tension. Like the, like are they gay? Maybe. And then she comes in. Now he's happy. The black guy's just happy. He got some wings. And you're like, what is going on <laughs> here? Like the production quality coming in hot. Uh, uh, now I will say you, if you I'm if, if uh, I'm pretty sure that this video that we're watching is them recording from a phone probably yeah, yeah. I know, but 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 the video i'm just saying like overall like i feel like i'm watching a porno like i feel like this is the part where you're yeah. like am i gonna see a nipple and you're like, and then, and like, slip. And then just get a bad review of, of solo you know what is funny that i just noticed you know how youtube's implemented that like most rewinded spot that shows you throughout the video they got that from pornhub like they've been doing that on Pornhub for years to show you where like the most Gosh. rewatched parts. So they just like automatically show you, you know, basically what's going to happen yeah, every place. It's not popping up now in this Maybe one. Maybe it hasn't been watched enough. Yeah. That's yeah. From a long time ago. It's not consistent. View content. We have to be more honest as men. Yeah. I just uh, like feel they're such bitches. Honest. They like, they just try not to be honest, but it's like true. We rewind parts. Men watch something and they only take in like 8% of it, but they rewatch 8% of it. 100% of the time. Like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's like, it's like your favorite. Like, 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 think about this. How many people have just watched Star Wars Episode 3 
150 times, possibly. There's a lot of people that's their favorite movie. Maybe it's not. Even even with Lord of the Rings, I'm gonna ask the I'm gonna ask the people watching, which which movie? Maybe it's the whole trilogy. I I, I have to always go through the whole trilogy two again, every time. But but is there? Yeah, two, yeah, two towers. You said you watched it again. Mm-hmm. No, I watched oh, that Fellowship of the Ring is the one I watched the most. Ex- extended or 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 just extended. Normal? Extended. extended. You've got to because the Please. war. It's extended. You've got to keep it up. Yeah. Yeah. Can we have more that can we have more movies made like male sexual climax? That's what I'm gonna say. Twin Towers. Oh, yes. <laughs> it was like, it's like it's like it's like it's like it's like a little bit a little bit like uh, I don't know. It's if all the way to get to the end with no, the no, ring see, and that's, then it explodes. No. That's so how it starts I got with the girls in high school. I made them the mixtape, and the whole thing was a male climax. That's what so, it was built on. So this is gonna be very out kind of slow, then it builds up, then it boom, exactly. right at the end of the cl- this, There you go. This is called this is called it's, the, then you fall asleep. This is called the yeah, the that's why you have to mellow. That's what I'm saying. This, this is called the Lord of the Rings Twin Towers sexual comparison Two arc. Towers. And I'm going to explain this to Twin you. Towers. So you have an idea, just like any sexuality, where Nine you go, 11. oh my gosh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I want to get involved in something intense. So you start something, but you don't know how you feel about it. You look around you. Am I ready to get into this? You do. So you start the Twin Towers. You get into it. You go. You're like start building it up. You're like, I could just jump to the battle scene, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to let the story build. I'm going to let the arc increase. You realize that it's not just you who needs the fandom. The fandom needs you. You're part of what's growing up. You both need each other. So you watch all of the slower parts. You let it build you up. You get more excited. As the scene delays, it comes. Not you, though. <laughs> and then, <laughs> you. And then <laughs> you wait. And you wait. You wait. And then as the scene comes, right there, it's building up. The orcs, everybody's on the periphery. You have the elves, everyone's on the wall, and you see the explosion about to come. But it's not coming yet. It's running down the aisle, and everyone's cheering, and you have the flare, and you know there's the weak spot because you have one too. And all of a sudden, <laughs> at that synergy, boom, explosion. Yeah! The wall, the bed, the sheets, the, everything is gone. The armor is away, and the battle begins. And that is, my friend, why you have to stay in it because you know what it's when you all come together is when <laughs> unity happens that's true nice wow. oh my goodness oh, wow, wow, wow. that was one of the dumbest shit I've ever said uh, in my entire beautiful. life oh my God. love it what yeah. a nice. uh, great place to like get close to ending we got some super yeah. chats to read well before so. Gary I'll, before I'll you read those I just want to say Ripa I don't know if you're here right now Um, but Ripa set at 9200 signups now on nice. yeah. rip a verse. So well, I need oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 201 coming. Yeah. In. So I'm, I think I'm, we can I'm get the 10,000 before the show wins. Yeah. We still got 9,000 people watching. So yeah, Let's anyway, do this. good shit, man. That's uh, all. Awesome. Not- Another dime has gifted 25 neurotic memberships for $125. Bless you. Boom. Not another That's dime. Nice. That's a lot of dimes. I know I say that every time, and I always will. Uh, WG has gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. Hail, WG. Oh, WG's yeah. the man. <laughs> WG. We have to talk to him about Florida. All the Jeremy and Ryan. Mm. We got to talk to WG. Good dude. Okay. 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 So remind me before, you know, October. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Crow Foo for $100. <laughs> Random question. I love evil the Evil Dead trilogy. So do I. So do I. Fuck and yeah. TV series. So do I. Fuck yeah. And think they are some of the best in horror comedy. They are. I found out that there are making they are making an Evil Dead Rise with Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell writing. I'm worried it will be woke due to the main cast being all female. Thoughts? Yeah, it'll be woke. Yes, I it's think. gonna be woke. Yes. You you, yeah. you go read the like synopsis of kind of what the story is gonna be. It's gonna be woke. One hundred percent. Yeah, it, it's it's a cash grab, uh, and it's also a way to maintain the rights. I remember I got killed on when my channel was like teeny tiny because uh, I didn't like the Evil Dead remake. I thought it was dumb. I thought it was predictable. But man, people I like it outside of outside of Evil Dead because it's not Evil Dead. It's like something it's else. It's some other movie. I liked it in that aspect. But as an Evil Dead movie, no, no, no. it's got to have Bruce Campbell. Okay? Yep. It ain't Bruce Campbell. It ain't and the Bruce post credit scene yeah. doesn't count. No, post- yeah, I know. I know. Does not count. The reason I watched it. Uh Systems curmudgeon for fifty dollars. Thank you very much. Uh, Disney has killed Star Wars. Yes, they have a long time ago <laughs> in a galaxy a far, far ago, away. But I'm glad yep. people are realizing Kenobi, like, uh, was the final nail in the coffin, or you know, the the uh, the stake through the heart. 
of the vampire that Disney Star Wars is, uh, whatever. It's the aneurysm that brought you down. It's the aneurysm that brought you down. And Marvel. The brain. And I'm afraid that Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Defenders, and Punisher are next. Yes, they have announced that Daredevil and the Kingpin are returning in Echo. In Echo. To be in Oh, good God. <laughs> when, when Marvel redoes to Echo. When Marvel redoes Jesus to keep Christ Superstar, we know that we've gotten all our superheroes over. Like, I, I swear they're this close to just, like, blasphemy. Uh, and we're close to it. We're, if we haven't gotten there, we're, like, almost at blasphemy. We didn't even talk about, like, Namor. Right. The, what the, up? Aztec, what up? the Aztec, 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 Aztec name Aztec. Aztec. A fucking Aztec. And now there's a rumor that Dr. Doom is going to be from a Mediterranean country. Uh, of course. Like, Do uh, you have some hummus, sir? Instead of like an <laughs> Eastern European country? He has a hummus and olive oil empire. <laughs> 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 this is not oh, yes. halal. Yeah. Would you oh. like some dolmas before I kill you? Oh, yeah. my God. <sighs> I'll wrap because, your body because in. Because they don't want Dr. Doom leaf. to be... Like an alt right symbol or something like that. Um, like okay. it, he little like it's literally like Latveria, right? Like that's he, he has a fucking country, country that he's from. Yeah. Yes, Jesus. Where they love him, right? <laughs> yeah. He's from Syria. Have me from Aleppo, and he's like, "You've destroyed my family." Like, at least let's go there. No, no, to like Aleppo. making name more South American and like the wrong kind of South American. I mean, I can get in the weeds on this one. They could go. There are Atlantic the wrong kind. connections. <laughs> Yeah, there is. There's a bad. Okay, well, that probably sounded bad, but I don't give a shit. Uh, Even was, I thought it sounded bad. It like, save, oh. save it for my show. Save it for That's my like, show. We'll, we'll go down are, together. Okay. Save it. Save it. Save it. Don't. Aztecs are a derivative culture from another culture that they could have used, like the Mayans Olmecs, before Mayans, before the Olmecs, Incas, uh, before the Incas, way the before that. <laughs> I don't uh, fucking know. Quetzalcoatl is supposed to be the feathered serpent, and Short he was a quote-unquote white god who came and gave them yeah. civilization from, and like, the, the, you know, eh, it's the in their mythos. Oh, he's a white people. savior. The fringe, literally. People, yes. Well, that's why they can't use him. But he's an actual yeah. god, and and a lot of people think that's Atlantean, which is connected to Namor. And since it's a fantasy, you could use that and still make it South American. But they're making him fucking Aztec, which is stupid as hell. So, uh, were you trying he, to make he, an aliens reference there? Is he gonna be saying, Aztec? I don't know what aliens. No, you, you were saying like what? before them, before them, before them, and something that Chad had been saying. You mean no, aliens? No, no, dude, dude, aliens ripped that shit off from Art Bell and a bunch of the age. It's the ancient astronaut theory. That's gotcha, but, gotcha, that, gotcha. Oh, but it's not ancient. It's not but alien. the Aztec. It's Atlanteans. Mythos. It's the ancient <laughs> civilization <laughs> mythos theory okay. that a lot of people run with out mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. They could have used that instead. I mean, like, we've got Wakanda, which is in a chi giant ethno state, which we previously talked about being based. That's there because a meteor crashed in Africa and somehow stayed intact and gave them this super fucking rock that makes everybody super, except it, not it also everybody. didn't wipe out everyone, too, at the same time. No. I mean, one that for one, the, the that would have been a, the yeah, amount that killer. there would have uh, ended civilization. Yeah, whatever. That's a retcon. See, you know, Black Panther used to be just a guy with the suit on. That's a, he was he wasn't all uber super powered or anything. He was just a badass. Right. I, I preferred that version. Uh, Patty Q for fifty dollars says hail Racist. and well met. Uh, hmm. Well, obviously. <laughs> Duh. Staying on brand. Uh, Patty Q. <laughs> Hail and well met. Hail. Eric D. July. What is this? Julipa? 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 I've never heard of that. Julipa? 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 I'd like to see in a thong. Julipa? You know what? Julipa? You guys aren't very to, cultured. I would like to assume that they were in the gym and they just missed. You know, it's a typo or something. I don't know. So stoked. For your mags, man, uh, my boy Putin let us know the other day that he he's anti-globalist, uh, that he's anti-globalist regime. So now I'm firmly in the rooting for Putin camp, not <laughs> even remotely. <laughs> or MCU is a snooze, snooze fest. I, Patty, I agree. I oh, agree. it was uh, when you said August. I think. August. August. Julipa, your, your months. Oh, Oglis. Okay. Uh, 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 I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. There that's, we go. that's lore. I'm not even remembering my own lore for my own show. <laughs> and I'm sober. I'm the sober one here. 
Uh, <laughs> hey, at least you put it on. I'm glad you have the metal now. <laughs> oh I like my how God. happy my my face is. <laughs> yeah, you're like, eh? uh, who's on the far right? <laughs> that's, that's the guy that was actually there. <laughs> that's, that's not You're a like, photoshop wait, that, old guy yeah what is that what is, what, what, is he, what is he there's so many people you could have used that you left him in there Chrissy been which there. makes it even better it makes it better that you that is the art of the meme you know it's, 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 this is why photoshop Le yes Legion yeah. of memers understand the details. <laughs> right the, ma there. the masking is pretty good, though. I do, I do I have to give uh, credit to the masking there. That's pretty good. The beard mask. Look at oh, comics. Yeah. Look at the shape of comics head, though. Fuck? <laughs> yeah, this is. <laughs> I she like how shaping isn't good, but the masking is good in terms of. Like, I like how yeah, yeah. Lawyer. I, mean, I like I how it. Eric has a. Uh, it looks good. Has like a yeah. reverse Black Widow body going on. You yeah. know how in Black Widow it was <laughs> the male body. Little. And yeah. Yeah. Can, I, can I make a request to the Legion of Memers? Whenever it is possible, can you please crop that guy out and feature him in future memes? Just sitting down, chilling. Yeah, just have him randomly in there. That's <laughs> like whenever. Like, that's, we're really, that's, we're that's, please. That's, that's as his dad or something like that. <laughs> yeah. That'll be the lore. Okay. Memer, just, create a story. I'm, create I'm a, not, lore yeah, for I'm not, be a lore. I'm not changing your show, but you know what changed my life? This guy wrote me one day and he said, make a telegram for your memers. And I did because they can create sticker packs that create all these people inside the sticker packs and they can steal them. And they wow. have like 500 of just all these people already pre-cut out Noted. in PNG. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. And they create yeah. a telegram. <laughs> and so that you just go into the telegram and create the most fucking crazy memes ever and you can just like put the feet up no i'm not even joking though like and there's sticker packs that are like things faces i've made and people have never oh that is, <laughs> that is ridiculous oh. it's evolving <laughs> we lost the it's guy evolving. we lost the guy we yeah. i demand you put him right next to as put him yeah. right next to as. <laughs> don't take say, as you don't want to miss these you don't want to miss these characters that's what i'm saying you can save them for 10 years like they're just in a sticker pack of like 2022 bitches and just let's save yeah them. go like i want to see Odin yeah. heads. Yeah, see you see faces. bald, bald boys. Oh, the book of <laughs> I can't get over quarter black as this black woman here. <laughs> oh, he looks like you go, you go, girl. You, you get go, your medal, girl. girl. <laughs> but if you lost to a fourteen-year-old team, works. you go. You get that that's, an old, that's that's an old quarter black, yeah. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Yeah, his hair is a little shorter. Yeah, quarter black is a, is, a, is thinner now. Oh yeah, that was my yeah yes. Yeah, he's whatever. I was fatter, uh, fatter, still fat now. But it'd be like one eighth diluted black. Yeah, smaller. Let's dilute you. Like yeah, you, you know, you know I mean? spread out. <laughs> yeah. Right, so, oh, blue. Uh, you have kids. You know about that. So. Yeah, he does. For fifty dollars, toxic man flu. Thank you. Room is booked and plan tickets Plane are tickets. purchased. Now the search for the best place to have pineapple pizza in Vegas begins. Yeah. Yes. Damn straight. Oh. See you in a month, Gary. God bless the fellowship and God bless the USA. America. I Fuck guess. yeah. Yeah. What's up? What? I what? disagree with pineapple and pizza, but I will fight yeah. to the death for your right <laughs> to eat it. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. Right. Someone super chatted a good place to have pineapple pizza in Vegas and I lost it. Good. Good. Did it lose? Did no. It lose? And Get nothing of, of value it's was somewhere. lost. It's so, oh, by the way, Gary, great it. shirt. Thank you. Oh, you're wearing that damn shirt again. Yes, I gotta bring it the up. Swinger shirt. <sighs> Wait, I had to watch that. I had to That's look at that video. live. It, it, it really is yeah, though. I'm not joking. I had to joking. look at that live in our. It says I like uh, pineapples, but, uh, but uh, it is so a sign. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah's right. Pineapple is like so a, gay. A, a secret symbol for swingers. <laughs> I, I, I ate a Hawaiian pizza. I ended up in Thailand with some strangers, but like it's what happens. It's like it just it just goes. I think uh, if Gary had like the top two buttons unbuttoned, it would be very quick. Questionable whether he was a swinger or not. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Gold <laughs> chain. He's, gold he's chain. throwing his keys in the yeah. closest bowl. My silver chain on. A, a medallion. Oh, sexy yeah. Gary. Medallion. Extra girl sweating. I see that. Oh, I see all the brown. Want to see Look what the shirt? Hang on. Hang on. I was not ready for that. Oh, oh he's is he going out? Oh, 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 oh no. Uh, this is the worst oh, he's ever. Grab, this is the the fucking butt fuck picture here. <laughs> oh, no, that's right. Oh, God. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, oh, pineapple having sex with a. Oh. Wait, it's, yeah. oh, he hands yes, me this at the meetup, wrapped 
the, the shirt is right. And I'm saying, like, that is some fucking mixed messaging it's right pretty there. Pretty good man. art, though. It's, yeah, it's not good. mixed messaging. It, 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 that's it, on yes, point. That is effectively what pineapple does to pizza. It fucking <laughs> ass rapes. <laughs> that's, like, that's what your friend right. says. There's some great Canadian bacon pineapple pizza, and they bring it to the parlor. Some... And there's no one else there, and that's on the wall. You know what's happening. You just know what's right. happening. Now I'm turning you see, right you, see, you, you see Nerdrata come out with uh, two buttons <laughs> down and a gold chain. You're like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. It's happening. <laughs> it is definitely a conversation starter. That's for sure. No, we you know what? By the way. To the orgy. No, but I'll say this. I'll say this. <laughs> it is a desecration because pineapples are from God and they are so delicious. They and I think, I think the reason why the pineapples are. They kill are, you. They slowly kill you while they're inside of you. If you eat too many of them. No, no, no. You drink diet soda. Yeah. Don't drink so yeah. I don't drink soda. Don't well, drink the air soda. you breathe technically Period. kills you. I mean, come on. Hey, oh, Rippo, how, come where on. are we at on that number? One hundred percent of all see. people. I'll die. fight you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Gary. <laughs> yeah, but not as <laughs> early. Of all if people, don't die. eat pineapple. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> not job and we're not getting out of this alive. Ha hang on. How many? Nine thousand five hundred forty-five. Bro, we are less than five hundred away from ten thousand. Come on. Click the link. Come on, hey, 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 hey Rippa texted no. me this, Dave okay? Dave Dave Rippa, Rippa, yeah, Rippa texted me. He said on Tuesday night's main event, he's going to shave his shoulders if we hit 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. All right, he said yeah. it. He said it. And Lady Rippa <laughs> confirmed it. No, so yeah, good enough. Going they got the Clippers it. out already. Let's <laughs> say, yeah, who's, who's buying the lawn uh, equipment for that? <laughs> <laughs> I just bought a lawnmower. I'll try it on. Yeah. It might not work. Electric, huh? <laughs> She's like a weed whacker. Yeah. Hey, hey, no bullshit. Like, like, it's awesome what we do every week and all the viewers we get and everything but like the fact that we got a friend of ours and come on here and launch this and all the money ripa has put into this shit and we can help mm -hmm. out in some way because look he's done he's done the leg work, he's done the foundation so we're just trying to help you know and the fact yeah. that we can help in any way to, to to support him and what he's doing means the world to all of us man it is fucking cool dude man. it means like, everything to me man like i said um, i know our audiences you know blend in a lot and so to have the support of Really, everybody in this community that has been sharing it around that's on our corner internet, internet man, has been so, so appreciative. We got all these signups, which is just, I I'm, I can't wait to Monday, man. It's going to be interesting to see where this number goes. And as we all just kind of look at it and watch it publicly, it's going to be fun. It's uh, awesome, man. Check out. Be the first to get the bathwater, man. Hey, support us, support Come a on. black business, uh, right? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Black I support black business. Black I you water water is. <laughs> uh, Systems curmudgeon for fifteen dollars has one of the best super chats of the night. We finally found Elon's threshold for, threshold for pulling out. <laughs> How many kids you got? Like eight? You gotta know nine, what nine, nine, I thought. Like nine? Okay, you gotta yeah. have a good pullout game. Obviously, he doesn't since how many considering yeah, how many shit. baby mamas he has, but he can afford it. So and it's fun to live life on the edge, Gary. It 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 certainly does if you're gonna or take just, care of that just kid. Edge out. Sure. Don't live right. I mean, think about it. He's a he's a nerd. He's just happy somebody's trying to fuck him. Yeah, dude. The, the, yeah, there were, he wasn't getting any. Dude, attention. he doesn't like, understand. His mom he was a model. Male female relations. You're a billionaire. You're not just a man. You are. His, yeah, his mom was a model. Else. So he Start saw these chat. freaking hot women coming in and out of his house, and they were just like patting him on his little bald head. And he's like, he I want that one day. Yeah. That like, will be mine. That will be I'll put my rocket in your <laughs> Mars. I'll do that. Yeah, I will <laughs> fuck the sky to get pussy. Yeah, he probably. Nah. He was probably like, Hey, can we have sex? And they're like. Pfft. Call me when you got a hundred billion dollars. He's like, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. I'll give me ten years. I'll want put. I'll put my Tesla in your Las Vegas loop, and you're like, okay, let's go. <laughs> hey. All right. I, did, this is retarded humor, but it's loop. true. <laughs> it's true. This is true. true. So he didn't finish the loop in L.A. Right, that whole tunnel he was digging. No. He has some boring company. He he uses taxpayer funded money from the liberal the states to fund his tunnels that don't finish, and then he doesn't finish them. He doesn't care because he makes like a billion dollars from it. It's he owns the boring company. That's the key thing that he uses. So he yep. takes the money to pay for his projects that they don't finish, which Flame I think is genius. Power. I would like to create a company that liberal taxpayers pay to never finish. That's cool. You know, you're company. not responsible Smart. for it. Imagine you build a shitty yeah. tunnel for two billion dollars. It doesn't work, but you never have to finish <clears> it. Mm hmm. And what Boom. was the fucking point of that tunnel again? Uh, was it traffic or a train? Or I, I don't even remember. It's supposed to be like Chlamydia. a dark train, wasn't it? A dark train. A dark well, we already have train. one of those to the base in New Mexico. Eh. 
Everybody knows that, dude. Oh shit! Yeah. That's where the kids are transferred. Honestly, I, that's it's what I think. Mag. It's I think, I, think, I think they make fake tunnels to do shit. That's I think they do. They use mm. taxpayer money to pay billions of dollars to make tunnels. But they just we don't we don't ask about them. That's another story, another day. Anyway, we're all gonna live in when Smod shows up, the sweet meteor of death. Garrett knows. That's all Garrett. I saw Garrett up there, literally yeah. being like, <clears throat> Ashcore on the Streamlabs side for one hundred and sixty nine dollars. Nice. FNT just saved my life. Wow. Wow. There we go. We're lifesavers. We've saved as many lives as the Eternals now. More Was lives. About yeah. to turn left <laughs> on a green light, but adjusted my phone for watching FNT. Then a van blew through its red light. Oh, damn. Jesus. Which would have me directly all hail Friday Night Tights. Well, I'm glad you're here for one. Yeah. Okay. Yes. How to save a life. Yeah. Stop How those motherfucking save- red lights, people. And uh, man, mm. saving lives. We had a marriage proposal last week. Yes, I heard about it. That was awesome. That's and she what? cooked yeah. him, a, and she and she made him a sandwich to she celebrate. Him a good Ryan's sandwich. clearly having a mega mm. influence around here. Yes. So do we make a difference? That's right. Yeah. We make mm-hmm. a difference. She automated in our audience. Right. And after that, it's like doesn't matter mm-hmm. what she looks like. She I heard she's sense. already pregnant. Well, I hope so. <laughs> you got to lock that one down immediately. Uh, shit. BBDC, Venice Beach Dub Club for $100. Oh, yeah. Are you dubbing? Uh, what's up, fam? My new single, Winter Soldiers, was the number one streaming reggae song on July 4th. That's awesome. Uh, That's cool. It's named after the very best Marvel film. Yes, it was. Yeah. Uh, make music based again. Uh, it's... 1B. I like Guardians a little more because it's fun. Mm. I was thinking about that. I, I like Winter Soldier a little more because it's not. I, 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 Winter yeah. Soldier uh, like, technically is a better movie. Yeah. Like, Infinity, Infinity, that's my top three probably. <laughs> Infinity <laughs> Wars number one. Guardians is number two. No. Nah. Yeah. Okay. Winter well, Soldier's up three. top three. Well, I, I, I think I, Infinity War is more impressive because of I, I, I think <laughs> because of how tight they made that movie with all the moving parts. It's yeah. like a more impressive feat to me and like a bigger scale. And then Iron oh, Man one, of course, a, Iron, Man, Iron Man one, Iron Man one, yeah. the captain America trilogy. It's all good. Like yes. phase one. I don't like the first phase one. one. I, I wasn't a big fan oh, of the first, first one either. Awesome. You yeah. Are the, first oh, right. the first one's fucking awesome. So Actually, me, really, it I got, was the CGI to be honest. The CGI just drove me nuts. Shit. I don't care yeah, less. I've seen a lot of good CGI. Oh yeah. The giant directed by the man that created Oh, yeah. do, you do, know I, do you know like, I peed next okay. to Chris Evans one time? That was crazy. Really? <laughs> what? How did small try to... was his dick? No, I didn't look, but I was I was in a in, at a Beverly Hills hotel. <laughs> did he flirt in, with you? A, because was... we're pretty sure. Yeah, yeah did he put his foot under the oh, did, stall? Did think, Why did are you gay? <laughs> do we I think? Chris Evans is like 40 <laughs> years old it's, and it's never blowing, been married. Is blowing Captain America gay? I don't know. No, but I was saying, but I know I don't know what happened, but I meant like we're just going pee. And like I just realized I was peeing in a urinal next to Chris Evans. And I was like, are you Captain America? And he's like, yeah. And I was like. Yeah. Then he says, "I want to suck your dick," <laughs> and he was like, and it, well, "No, he said, so you want to suck my you know, dick." He actually said, "Oh, because my dick is already in the mouth." But that, that's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> He's needs a shield so and a fast. battering ram. He's a battering ram. It's fine. Yeah. I am not gay. I have relationships with women, sex with men, and I got news for you. That means you're gay. Elijah that probably so never seen <laughs> that was done so fast. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I looked at my phone to see if I, I were ready. I was Bluetooth ready to go. You were ready to go. I literally was like, did I just turn something? I looked up and, like, <laughs> and I was like, okay. Gay. Shout, gay. Shout out Yellow Flash. Shout out Yellow Flash. Flash. Oh, Flash yeah. Saturday night. Go check it out. Uh, Joshua Travel for forty nine ninety nine. Oh. Says don't trust Federals even their blue coats. You are correct. Uh, dismantle everything, Fed. The FBI, oh, yeah. the yeah. Federal yeah. Reserve, yeah. Patriot Front. Yeah. Patriot, Patriot Front. Front. That's good. <laughs> what was that? He, he said Patriot Front. Yeah, everything Fed. I agree. Yeah, everything yeah, Fed. Yeah, even Patriot Front. Yeah. I mean, Front, I mean, Razor Fist pointed this out. Front is in the name. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the fucking name. 
Dude, that is such a joke. Uh, they, what was their last march? It is so fucking Boston or something. so obvious. And it's like, but when the reality hits, is like we're joking about this, but this is something the government, well, wouldn't admit to doing. But they did in the ago. past. That was considered the wildest of fucking <sighs> conspiracy theories, and now it's fucking happening right in front of our face with our drooling president who can't. Bro, bro then they then they all got arrested. They're like a bunch of them got arrested for right. marching, but all of them they were they still kept their faces covered yeah. and stuff. Why, That's why, ridiculous. Like, they would never do that. There's no way you're no. telling me that they put all these guys in cuffs and had them sitting there kneeling and left had them leave their face masks on. Fuck off. Their hats and their, their glasses. No. When they were covered. going. To attack an LGBTQ plus parade or whatever the fuck they were going to attack, but they got caught right. for it. They, they, they there should have been more face. worried about Highland Park. They showed one face. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I would love is, to- it's funny. It's just funny. It's, yeah, it's, funny. Mm-hmm. it's hilarious. <laughs> it's like it's like the non-white supremacist supremacy group who keeps getting arrested everywhere they go. Let's go over there and get arrested. It's like it's like hey, everyone in a Facebook group. You guys want to get arrested in Maine? There's an event going on, and we're all going to go to jail, but everyone's going to get released. That could be kind of fun if you have like a sadomasochist sort of fetish or something like that. It's like you like to be like put in handcuffs. Don't don't give yourself up. Just go. You you want Fed to beat you up a little bit, but you want to live your freedom. Become a Patriot Front member. That's our recruiting video. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, if there's any good like real Patriot out there, a real citizen who works at like U-Haul and wants to rat these people out, like because the, the government's fucking sloppy, so they'll be sloppy at some point. Like there's no way that thing that is real in any way, <laughs> shape, or form. Uh, Wolf Wine for $50. Hey, Gary, check out Malazan Book. Oh, I'm saying this wrong, but Malazan Book of the Fallen. Ten books of dark, dark, epic fantasy. It's hard to get into as the author trusts the readers to figure out the world as he drip feeds info over the series, but well worth it. Second best series after Lord of the Rings. I'll check it out. Ooh. I don't mind. I don't mind uh, an author trusting me to be smart. That's fine. <laughs> I just mind one boring the fucking shit out of me. Yeah. Frank Herbert. Oh, people are gonna get mad. I've tried. I've tried so many times to get in fucking Dune, and it's just like, ah, oh, I can't. I can't. You just don't like sand, Gary. I don't like it sand. Gets everywhere. Rough and coarse, coarse and, and rough and irritating. <laughs> it gets everywhere. It gets everywhere. R- read. Read. Read Elric. That shit gets to the point. Uh, read, you know, H.P. Lovecraft. You know, it's like a hundred-page story, a thirty-page story. That shit yeah, gets. Lovecraft to the point. is great. Yeah. Lovecraft. His short stories off. are fantastic. They're really fucking uh, good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy who overturned Roe v. Wade. Gary. Yeah. Justice Gary. Justice Gary. Uh, I've been in more courtrooms than I care to admit, <laughs> but not in the robe. Not in the robe. No, not on that side of the court. Now you're on the right side of justice. <laughs> An orange jumpsuit. Yay! <laughs> orange is the new black, anyway. So it is. Yeah. Uh, Michael O'Connor for fifty dollars. Was that supposed to be? Was he Irish or? <laughs> no, it was kind of Irish. O'Connor. That was almost as bad as Russell Crowe's. Accent. <laughs> oh, he's a Greek accent that sounded uh, just like this. <laughs> what? What is that? Not invited to the orgy. <laughs> hey, it's his. Oh, 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 okay. I see. Yeah, the he's Z's doing accent. Russell Crowe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah Russell Crowe. It's taking me a second. I'm like, oh, wait, that's the Russell Crowe. You thought you were doing Irish again. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. I'm Scottish. I can't even pretend to do those Irish dogs. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> 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 I am offended. <laughs> Twitbot had been outed. They are the Millie Vanilli of media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, are we surprised that it's probably 20 to 30 to 35 percent bots? No. What That's why I called it 20 to 35. Yep. I, I don't know. It, it depends what they mean by bots. A lot of people refer to bots as people that run like sock accounts. And it's no, like, I think uh, uh, overall you know, the whole thing, not know. just like Star Wars fans are. I'm talking about the entire thing. That's how they categorized it. It was yeah. dead, dead accounts, dead accounts, accounts that were run bots. by other people that weren't actually like people, and then robot accounts and accounts that just couldn't be contacted. Yeah. So there's like a bunch of little caveats under it. Dude, there's That's bot it. farms that you can pay for. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, They're real uh, things. It, it inflate sure numbers. It happens all the time. <clears throat> yep. That celebrities use, companies they use. Lose, companies they, use, use they use it. You'd be surprised how regularly and they it's used in like the in entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I got something, something gay stuck in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> Should get that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Comics Division's platform shoes for $100. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulate Comics Division. For crossing ten thousand. Oh, that's right. You got ten thousand. Nice. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Nice. nice. On YouTube, maybe now he will be able to afford another pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been uh, to more mini orgies than one pair of platform shoes can take. <laughs> Congrats, well, comics. The shoes aren't wrong. They have been abused. So. I'm not gonna apologize. Uh, we are, we are, we Speaking are two. Phones. We are, we are two hundred and twelve signups. Yeah. Right now from not ten thousand. That's crazy. Right Just floating around four hours too. Nice. Be yeah, let's go. Mo toxic. And that's how exactly it's spelled. Be mo toxic for. You do it so much better than I do, X-Ray. <laughs> for $50. Long-time lurker, first-time super chatter. Why? Thank you. We'll be gentle. Thanks to three-quarter white Garrett, who brought me from Crowder. <laughs> Rarely able to catch live, but watch like a fanatic. By the way, Chrissy's pregnant, crying at Thor. Did she plus sign her fiance? <laughs> All hail Friday night tights. That's it. That's a good call. I think you're right. <laughs> She's a little too emotional. She just got the ring, probably thanked him for it, and boom. Chrissy, are you craving anything weird? And here comes a little mayor. A little filing cabinet junior. Uh oh. We're calling it right now. It's just a folder. Mr. <laughs> folder. Uh, Mr. Fish for 50 Australian dollars. Mervyn Vaught, nephew of A.E. Van Vaught, sci-fi writer, passed away on my 59 on on my 59th birthday. Strange. He was the model for the captain of the Space Beagle and founded Whistleblower Assist in Australia. I didn't understand any of that, I didn't Mr. Fish, up. but I'm sure some people in Australia did, and we love all of our people down under. Good day. Get the hell out of your prison country. Come yeah. to America. <laughs> or change it. I don't know. Have a, I can't say have a revolution. That would get me in trouble. Yeah. So, like, Just little. Don't have one at all. If you enjoy your freedom at all, mm -mm, uh, Sean know. S for one hundred dollars. <laughs> Gary, I am Sean the Pineapple Pizza Butcher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> More has ruined me. I will find pineapple and I will kill it. I will find pineapple. Oh, and uh, FNT is going to stop me. I don't see any fake CGI arms or King Lesbos running around. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza, <laughs> Gary Hale. You can CGI X-ray girl's arms. Yeah, X-ray girl's arms are already bigger than Natalie's naturally. True, true. <laughs> She's looking kind of supreme lesbo right there. What do you think? Maybe not supreme lesbo. Basically, my favorite lesbian. lesbian. Girl? Yeah. Hmm? Well, who else would I be talking about? You. Oh, I thought you were talking about Natalie Portman. You fucking no, were just talking. You. Pay attention to you <laughs> I mean, you do kind of look like Kella Brimbor, so that's kind of lesbian. <laughs> well, to be, to be fair, most, haircut. Yeah, most lesbian women steal my haircut because that's how they look most like a man. Oh, dude, <laughs> Rapino, everybody in the Rings of Power stole your fucking haircut. Every elf did. <laughs> uh, Except for the black one. <laughs> Except for the black one, dude, dude, yeah, he got a tight, he's tight got a, he's got a taper face, and he's he all lined up. Face. Yeah, he's got a nice shape up. Mm -hmm. Man, gotta go to the barber shop in Middle Earth. Uh, <laughs> got a good son on the Streamlab side for one hundred and fifty dollars. Holy shit! Nice. And he says, shout out to the new geeks and gamers D and D campaign. Oh, that's awesome! I love that channel, by the way. It's doing yes. really good. I especially love. 
Hollywood scholars Reva. He was effing hilarious. After the show, I checked out his channel, and it's great. He's criminally undersubbed. Can I ask you to pull up his channel to get him over 500 subs? And that's Hollywood Hollywood Scholar. Scholar. He's one of that's our writers wonderful. for the website. Yeah, I'm sure that's, a, that's like a sarcastic scholar, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how many channels do you have actually? <laughs> oh, oh man, you got you got five hours. <laughs> I don't think we have time. <laughs> well, how we do you manage like, that well, with two people? It's kind of crazy. I don't, man. I've uh, like thirty people. In the yeah, team. we got a lot. <laughs> so, I got yeah. his channel. I have yeah. more things. Good. Yeah, that's it's not here. enough time to explain everything that I have going on. So Hollywood scholar Jed is awesome. He's a writer for GeeseGamers.com. And uh, got a really strong fan base. There was one night on Tuesday night's main event. You remember this, Ryan? You'll be we, were, uh, we were getting like, oh. we were getting like super chats, like crazy, o- over this, and like all these people were just like fanboying over Jed. He's hit great. play on his sixty-seven hit subscribers. Hit play on his preview video there, Garrett. Because it, well, it's thirteen minutes long, but I just want to hear oh, yeah. this fucking opening with the, uh, because I know what this is. Hit it. Oh, hit your sound. He didn't oh, share. No, I was gonna. I didn't think I was gonna be playing a video. <clears throat> there we go. Oh. Would be turning boomer. Wild doctor is a man. Hi. Hi. Welcome, <laughs> Hollywood scholar. There you go. We got an upgrade. Fuck hey, doctor no. Who, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I like, yeah, dude. Absolutely. Subbing right now. I just. Uh, Four hundred. Ridiculous, uh, Franken. I. I, I heard that he described his channel as like mine but smarter uh, on the <laughs> Houston game. Oh, oh. <laughs> I like I like I, this I like this because I, I want to take suggestions from the audience from you guys. So I have this old show that I ran. It's not running anymore, but there's like 150 thousand subs on there. I don't know what to do with the channel. What do I do with it? By the oh. way, I'm overexposed. My producer's a lot darker than me, and this is usually zoomed in, and so I look like a very um. I'm in the producer's chair now. He's very white. Well, white. I didn't know. I'm gonna, uh, but I'll change it next time. But I did not know that the 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 feel of this show was be behind the producer's cam, not on your set. So now I'm like in the producer's cam, hanging out, having a good time, realizing I'm like with Legacy Media, and we are always on sets, so I'm always stuck on teleprompters and sets. Yeah. But yeah. I could turn this into some dope shit and come here and then control shit and not be on my phone and then also look at midget porn and like you know let the sound. Yeah, on, you have another. That's yeah. why you have other screens. Yeah, the moment the, the right. moment you get the moment you, you had to get up it. and change your microphone before we started, we're like Elijah's out of his element right now. <laughs> 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 I'm like, no, no, I'm, cool. I'm I'm cool with this shit. Like I I have an only fans. No, I, know, I have a, so I have a porn hub. Like I'm good. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, I, 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 under, I understand. No, but what's crazy is because everything I do requires so many people. It requires like three people, two people. Like it always requires people to do because it's like that's just the format that we work in. And I'm like, yeah. dude, I'm down to just get behind a camera, get behind a mic, and talk shit. I love that fucking shit. That's great. But I also realize that my producer must be like ten shades darker than me because I look blown out. Like, look like I'm hurting my retinas. This is how I look in the mirror. This is like when you go to Vegas and you did stuff you shouldn't have, and you wake up and you open the curtain for the first time and you look in the mirror and that's how you see yourself. After like <sighs> mescaline and coke. About yeah, like, 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 28 nose beers and like, yeah. and, and, and a forgotten eight hour period. You wake up, and this is how you see yourself. You're like, no matter what shade you are, even Eric After sees himself. This way. Eric sees himself. He's like, oh my gosh. No, but I'll say, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch this up for that in terms of live streaming, but I'm like, I'm like tripping out because I'm like, dude, like, but I'm saying, like, with channels, is it's very hard to grow channels. It actually is like pretty fucking hard. It's like, and it's difficult. And they, and they make it that they want you to do dumb shit to grow your channel. When you actually want to do other channels to be more like helpful to the people, like either a clips channel or like a certain topic or something, like you want to actually help people, and they punish you for helping people. Mm-hmm. Okay. They make it harder when you're when you're actually helping your audience. They should make it where it's connected, where you can like transfer your audience over to that channel, and they get notifications from that channel. But you also, everyone that subscribes, you should have a main channel network, and when they subscribe, it should say, "Do you want to join the main channel network?" And when you do. Then you say no, and you can opt out. You don't want the main mm-hmm. channel network, but they yeah. get notifications from all the channels that are in there. Maximum, maybe like five. Like I'm okay with YouTube putting like a max on there, like a three or five channels. But like, think about this: yeah. if I had a show like A, and that show had three or four hosts, I would love that the host channels were in that multiple channel network, so that I just went, I'm subscribing to everyone at one time. I want all their notifications. Yep. We're all good. Instead, they're like, hey, fucking get the scraps, little bitch. There's tons it, of it, functionality it, that YouTube it, just does not have. Twitch did it first, yeah. then YouTube would do it. 
Maybe. Nope. It, the thing is, like, the reason we have so many channels is because we're catering to what YouTube wants us to do. Because mm -hmm. YouTube, like, encourages you to just, like, talk about one thing. Like, if you just ran a straight fucking political channel and then all of a sudden you started doing food reviews or something, those wouldn't perform well for that audience you've cultivated in all likelihood. And that yeah. you wouldn't do as well in the algorithm. It won't yep. push your shit out. It wants you to do the same stuff. So that's why yep. we did Geeks and Gamers. We did a specifically mm -hmm. then uh, Geeks and Gamers Play where we just did video games. We created Sports Wars to just talk about sports. So, yep. And, just and, kind of, and a lot of other shit. So, uh, yeah. I'm just saying, you're teaching me. I get. I got to get back in like the actual YouTube world. I've been around too many legacy people. Like, fuck that. Yeah. yeah, on your own little yeah. fucking set yeah. away from your keyboard. All fancy. Yeah. Well, no, no, I'm back. I actually got a proper keyboard. I'm there like, I'm like, no, but I'm like here. I'm like, I gotta get back. It's, I feel like the that naturist who's like naked, balls out with his feet, being like, so this morning I woke up and put my feet on the grass, and I like touched back with society. And this is my grass nudist moment where I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I've touched base with all these people and that one guy in the upper right hand corner, and so we're here, <laughs> and it feels it feels so good. I love it. And by the way, we'll talk about way, touching my base. That's private. Touching your grass. Yeah, you love touching your grass and you love your balls. That's why you have those oh quarters. <laughs> well, not, it's fucking airing out my it's private quarter shit. black, so it's probably weed. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, a quarter, it's a quarter yeah, felony yeah. then. Yeah. A quarter felony. Felony. I go in for double time though. <laughs> for $55. Hey, gang. I love the show. I try to listen every Friday. I recently completed a song for Amber Heard. I would love to get your feedback on it's called don't poop in my bed on spotify <laughs> you guys are awesome well that's for you to get out stop pooping I'm jay pooping. schwalbach for 132 67. i told my wife we're going to the rip of us tonight <laughs> uh, get out your best teddy bottom trim heels up it's going to be great time oops could only register my email. Okay, just a quickie then. Hail all. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You can go to your own personal rip of verse if you want to. Take your wine. Do, do what you will. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Call it what you like. Uh, Slade Lawton on the Streamlab side, circumventing Mama Susan for forty dollars. Appreciate that. Hail Friday Night Tides. First off, I wanted to say rest in peace, Alexander the Great. So I'm going to be turning 21 on Monday, and it will be interesting to see. Oh, by the way, I think that's a callback to the Tuesday night's main event for Ripa and Sean Connery. Yeah. When it was that, uh, yeah. <laughs> when we were saying rest in ah. peace to all the dead people. <laughs> yeah. been dead for a thousand years, you know. Oh, <laughs> uh, so I I'm like when Jake the Viking showed up in the chat that the first comment after was like, RIP Jake the Viking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he was like, what the fuck did I walk into? <laughs> uh, I'm going to be turning 21 on Monday and I will be interested. Uh, it will be interesting to see how well my Italian ass does. Well, uh, <laughs> does in terms of holding liquor uh okay thank god i was worried you were going to be holding something else <laughs> on the 2008 clone wars vid spelled it out for boomer oh are you talking to me because no? you would have said, said tcw it. yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> i don't like your wooden stick figure cartoon by dave filoni okay yeah. it's Me going either. to take more time than i expected well your video will probably be better than most of the cartoons uh the list of continuity errors i've compiled in seasons one and two alone may be longer than gary's list of infractions against the law i don't know about that buddy uh no I've no already, he's totally he's completely right <laughs> trust me uh i've already set aside some cash for the rip of verse r.i.p right. harold harada who's harold harada is that the Yu-Gi-Oh creator oh yeah yeah, oh, yeah. there was right. there was yeah, one did yeah. somebody tell nick ricada that he's dead yeah. i'm just kidding it's a bad joke Jesus, that's <laughs> that's a, yeah. Nick, womp, womp. we're really going that's after what? the Japanese recently deceased in this show. I'm excited. Yes, Drew. Yes, Drew. I'm excited. Holy shit, that's the funniest thing. Look at that. <laughs> MC, you say to clip this too. Dude, this is perfect. <laughs> Dude, oh, Drew, you know, I know it sounds crazy. Drew and I used to work in church together back in the day. Really? Yeah, we were. 
I know I went to seminary. I know it sounds bad because my potty mouth, but I just married an Australian. That's where my potty mouth came from. But mm-hmm. <laughs> but but uh, but I used to like I didn't curse for like four years. That's like that. That's even better than alcohol. So your four years of seminary, you didn't curse. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't curse. But Drew and I started, and and I met Drew, and like now he's like me. He's like a psychopath, and we're just hanging out, and like 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 filming people doing crazy stuff. But he's looking good. <laughs> to Drew, you look really good there, my yeah, friend. Man. Drew's yeah. fucking yeah. awesome, man. Out. Lots of swimming. Uh, yeah, Lots Drew's awesome. I, I think uh, Jeremy was on his show just the other day. I We recorded an mm-hmm. episode just the yep. other day as well that will be releasing soon. So much love to Drew Hernandez. We love Drew. We love Drew. I yeah, love Drew, awesome. too. Good, good dude. All right, Odin. Uh, last. Well, we're just he's about finished. But, Odin, you need to go? Yeah, I do. I just didn't want to, you know. Go. It's okay. Are you married, Odin? Are you married? I am. Yeah, then you have to go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. You need to get the fuck out. Go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, y'all have a good night, everybody. And I also, don't. some people were asking, was I knitting during the show? Actually, you know, I actually made these uh, rosaries. So He was, was not yeah. a knitter, okay? No. He was not yeah. knitting. I'm not knitting. Because he knitters was, are annoying, and they're loud, and they're crazy. You don't want to come to yeah. yeah, aggressive. Sometimes I really want to just... Throw sauce you know, in a restaurant. Use the hard R knitters, you know, <laughs> uh, like you really mean it. Yeah, I don't really know what it's called to to do the whole knotted. Like, I guess I'm a rosarier. I don't know. Yeah, Doesn't make Peter. Your no. cat. Oh no, Peter's <laughs> not. And on that before. note, <laughs> bye, Odin. Sorry. Bye, Odin. See you later, Odin. Odin. Uh, Hollywood scholar did hit 500 subs. Oh, yeah. Guys. So yeah. shout out to right. Jed. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Awesome. You guys are brilliant. I love you. I think that's the thing. The thing for smaller channels is go on to other Ba-boom. channels and plug your smaller channels. When you go into a show, you go, well, I don't care about gaining 500 subs from a show. Go into a smaller show, plug your smaller channels, gaining 500 subs would be big. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I, I think plug it the works smaller on like, a channel. Yeah. The first, the first thousand subs are crucial because that's the yep. monetization threshold. What I've yep. told people is beyond that and – you know, oh, no. it, it really means nothing after that first thousand. Like if I if if I or Gary or anybody's got fun, if they plug your channel and get you five, six, seven hundred, a thousand new subs, well, you have to earn the audience. So yeah. it, it really doesn't you know matter what type of shout outs you get out after that first thousand. You have to earn your audience. You have to build that audience and you have to make them keep coming back for more Mm -hmm. um so a shout out is nice for a temporary boost but it's not sustainable your content is sustainable Mm -hmm. and being consistent and knowing what your audience wants and again to ryan's point i would talk about sports on geeks and gamers and i would learn real quick how no fucking body cared about what i said so i would go okay let's just create a new channel you know because they want to hear that over there but they didn't want to hear it on geeks and games dude on your live streams even on ours the early friday night tights days when we talk about football for like (sighs) two minutes (laughs) (laughs) like a rock yeah dude they would go they like Luke go. Skywalker, Obi Wan yeah. Kenobi, fuck football. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. I agree. So. I agree. Uh, we're gonna end it with this bashy washy. Well, bashy wash. Bashy washy. Been a mm-hmm. bashy maniac lately. Two hundred dollars, forty nerdrotic memberships. Damn. Damn. Wow. Damn. Mm-hmm. It's been 40. a hell of a night. I've had a ton of fun as always. I always laugh my ass off with these people. And I, like my cheeks and my face hurt, my cheeks and my ass are asleep, and so are my balls. Uh, my dogs are hungry, hungry so we got to go. But uh, we're going to go around the horn. Everybody's going to plug what they like. And uh, how are we doing on Ripaverse? Did we, we hit it? Okay. Oh, yeah. yes, I just posted about it. We uh, yes. we, we, we're over Heck 10, yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 Everybody, congrats, man! Thank you. So thank you guys so much. That's um, crazy. Monday's gonna be crazy, man. It's gonna be fucking nuts. I told man. you on the phone shit. today. I was like, we're gonna do it. We're yeah, gonna do it. it. So yeah, yeah, yeah man. A well, big I'm, shout I'm, out to everybody, man. man. Thank I, you. So I'm much. invested as a fan, bro, and just as a friend. I'm just invested. I'm just happy. I'm happy to see it, man. So happy to see it. Appreciate y'all, man. That's awesome. Uh, you know, it's gratifying seeing good people succeed. It's also inspiring. So yep. you can inspire a lot of people. Yep. Uh, let's start with Comics Division. Hey, everybody. I'm Comics Division. Um, as always, Gary, uh, thanks for having me on. It's fantastic. Elijah, it was awesome hanging out with you. Uh, my fellow panelists, as always, oh, great hanging with you guys as well. Um, 
come check me out every i stream every monday and thursday monday we talk about politics and thursday we try and talk about entertainment pop culture and highlight people in the fellowship that are creating awesome things thanks everyone thanks comics division we're gonna have to like hang out so i like move all the way to san antonio i've only seen you once yeah i know we're gonna have to but hang out we're going tomorrow to see reverend horton tomorrow heat. reverend yeah. horton heat yeah god where is that hang on uh it, it, paper tiger paper tiger yeah paper tiger i know, I, so. I know where it's at you do yeah it, it, well, it's where GPS. the right rabbit used to Dude, be back in i the day. can't I can drive to the gym without GPS. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the fuck You've been I am. There for like I don't six know. Months. I barely know which way is west. I've only been here six months, so I just moved to Texas, Elijah. I was I I grew up. I in moved California. here 2020, though. To be fair, okay. On the night that the George Floyd riots started, so I no moved shit. in an apartment with no furniture. I didn't even have a phone because it broke in my trip. And with my wife's phone, thirty percent energy, and recorded stuff that got used in impeachment hearings. And so I don't even know what oh, I was shit. doing here either. And I spent a sleeping bag that night with tear gas in my ass. So I'm with you. Damn. Wow. Okay, that was I, crazy I didn't time. have it that bad to be honest with you. I slept pretty good uh, in a bed. Gang, uh, gang, charged. Gang, gang. <laughs> And I live in a house. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'll stop complaining right now. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to go to River Horton Heat tomorrow. So yeah, excited. It, it oh, no, awesome. just, yeah, yeah. just to warn you, it's a small venue. Oh, that, good. The, the smaller, the better. Reverend Horton Heat plays like little closets. And it's Can we clarify? Quarterback, do you have a black magic or something? What is this camera quality you got going on here? What it, It's a Canon. It was mine. Yeah. It's a Canon EOS. Wait, you said, I just thought of you, you said Paper Tiger. What are you Canon EOS? Yeah, what is it? Canon EOS two fifty. Didn't Paper Tiger? Didn't that used to be White Rabbit? Is that the? Yeah, it used to be the White yeah, Rabbit. Yeah, yeah, what lens do you have on there, oh, dude? Holy shit! Just White Rabbit was the amount of times I used to rock that fucking place, man. Yeah, oh, you played there? Oh, Everyone's missing work for a big show one time. I played fucking White White Rabbit. I, I can send you Elijah. I can send you the link to this camera. It yeah, took, I had to buy. Yeah, I, I, I need to buy like three more cameras for this home studio. So I like I just moved in here recently. Get this one. Get this one because you don't need the extra cord. What's what this one called, Garrett? That's the EOS M50. Oh, no, wait, the M50, M50 is the one that you have. No, the M200. one that I have and the one M200. that I got him is the M200. And 200. It just right. plugs you don't right need an extra PC. cable. No, you Does it stay on for more than 30 minutes? Yes. 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 You okay. don't. That, that's all. Isn't every the dummy battery? Well, probably not Ryan. I got a fucking here. Logitech. Yeah, I was just like about to say, you probably see my I tried. I had a Logitech for a long time. It never no, fucking worked. Yeah, Elijah, if you want to stay on for longer than 30 minutes, you need to run a USB cable to it and use the software. And use the that software, one. and yeah. you don't. Can someone help me with this? Because I have a, like yeah. quite a few cameras. I don't know how to use yeah. them. Don't you live like right down the street? I'll do mine. I have a USB plugged into it. I have cameras. Software. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So help. you just, uh, just wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just what, be it, real. It, you know, want me to come over to your house? I'll come over. Black okay, black. fine. We'll have some beers and whiskey and some barbecue okay. and we'll hang out. Fine, All fine. Right. We'll do it. We'll do it. I'll pretend to like you for a night just Thank so we'll you. make it. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Wow. Just for the text. We'll pretend. I'll we'll sabotage just, all your shit. Just so uh, you can show me cameras. I'll give you great food and we'll have a great night. <laughs> Pretending wow. to like yeah. each other. So and I'll pretend to knows. like you as well. We don't like each other. Everyone has to realize we hate each other. Oh my God, they're so gay. But we don't because of YouTube. He was texting me love notes while we were on the show earlier. It's true. Yeah. It's true. It's true. That means that I want that man bun on. to be in my bun. So, <laughs> <laughs> wow, this thing's it and on a high note. All right, let's end. Let's end. Wow, 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 let's end right wow. now, I've, I've revealed uh, too much. Gonna, uh, plug something. Oh wait, that's a bad uh, uh, X-ray girl. <laughs> I was typing. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no! I wanted to clip this for later. <laughs> Sorry. You want, you, okay. Anywho, um. Say? So I am part of the um, people who got affected by the Rogers outage. So I, my phone and my internet didn't work. I had to find a place to stream today so I could work, uh, which is why I was late. Yeah. Yeah. Which oh. she's Chinese, but I mean, yeah. Condolences. <laughs> she's not yeah. Chinese. I'm Vietnamese. You know, yeah. I'm close, but mm -hmm. you know, they, they don't like each other usually. So, um, but if. <laughs> not really at all. <laughs> my son's if... born Vietnamese. You know about that. If I can get internet, I'm going to try and watch The Last Crusade and hopefully Monday stream about my reaction to that on my channel, YouTube, um, X-Ray Girl. Nice. Yeah. X-Ray Girl, what's a Rogers outage? It, it's oh, like sorry. Internet it's like, service in Canada, it's, right? Yeah, it's so whatever. I, I'm trying to remember any of your companies. It's like um, AT&T yeah. going out of business. Yeah, like AT&T. So, so AT&T going out in Texas. No, the, well, 
I have no data, no internet. I can't call. Wow. My debit card didn't work this morning because debit machines were hard. Oh, they, they're, they're, the they're testing the kill switch. They're so, testing the kill switch. They're testing the kill switch. I don't know what happened. Yeah. It sucks because I, I, I woke up thinking, oh, my God, I didn't pay my bill. No, no. Right. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I paid my bill. Is it still down? Is it still uh, down? Yeah, it's still down. I don't have full service. Wow. It's actually a, it's a terrorist attack on Canada. They've actually put out a, a statement of demands. They want to see Trudeau dressed up in blackface again before they turn the power back on. <laughs> <laughs> Too easy. <clears throat> it was the Taliban. They didn't get their uh, rip reverse. Help me! Where's my book? <laughs> Perry, Perry, <laughs> see what happens when we give Perry Chan too much free time. Oh, <laughs> Go do it. I'm gonna be First Disney, movie, now Rogers. I know. Damn. Damn. I don't know if anybody remembers this. Back in the late 90s, the power grid went out in the entire western United States. Anybody remember that? Yeah. I was three. No traffic lights, <laughs> nothing. No phones, no computer, no traffic lights, nothing. For hours, entire western half of the United States. Who, really? How many people died? Not Texas. Uh, people did die. People yeah. did fucking die. Yeah, it was 97, 98. Do, do you remember uh, Y2K? Uh, when when yes, people were like remember. filling up their bathtubs with water and like all, all this like insanity. Yeah, me too. My mom was they, freaking out. Bought, Our I, neighbors I, I shut off their the, power yep. right at 12. They just shut it off. Just to <laughs> that was going to happen though, let's be fair. They didn't reprogram the computers. That actually could have happened. That could have happened, yeah. It yeah. could have but I would say I did stand at the end of the hill waiting for Ellie to blow up at 1159 with my family. So that might explain a lot. <laughs> it's too bad it didn't happen. I'm actually surprised, surprised there wasn't story. as many issues as there shit. was. It was it was pretty light. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Look at life after 2000. I think there's been enough issues. No, I'm so shocked. There's no the issues. that caused all seen? that. That, that's what, that's why they had to do 9 11 because they went, okay. CERN, fucking CERN. That's so what I'm 2000, Y2K didn't work. Let's do 9 11. Right. They did it. It worked. 9 11 worked. Uh, <laughs> Black Garrett. The hanging. Hey, dad. uh, I'm gonna follow that up by saying go to my channel where we stream and we play games with as an x ray girl on Sundays. Hopefully, x ray girl on this Sunday. I don't know. I know, me given too. her internet. Uh, and also on Adam Krigler's channel with based F Mondays, obviously on Mondays. So go check us out. Obviously, so based. As fuck, based Mondays as fuck, takes Mondays. place on yes. Mondays. It Bass does a hell of a Bass marketing M's? campaign you yeah. get there. Hey, it's like Friday a, night. We should try that with Friday Monday. Night. That's sick as fuck. Hey, yo, yeah. you just want to get lit as fuck on a Tuesday? Let's do lit <laughs> fuck drinking Tuesdays. Right? Yeah, there you right. go. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You know what time it is? Friday night you tights. When you on get lit? Now on Fridays. Third day. I might. I might start having Tuesday night event on Tuesdays. I might start doing that. This is, I'm starting. I'm I don't starting know. It's a marketing strategy. Out. It's a marketing starting strategy. Figure this thing. out. Starting to figure this out. So, <laughs> can you call it uh, Liddy Teddy Tuesdays? I'm joking. I think you should. <laughs> I think honestly, you should. honestly, if you, if you come on this week, I will rename it because we'll get like we'll probably double our viewers. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Liddy Teddy Tuesdays, starring X Ray Girl. Mark <laughs> into that door. Subscribe to the rip of verse. Yeah, Boom. Showing my tits not to <laughs> Just not being pissed But off. it's you, but it's you. Not her. <laughs> 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 the, the no, you heard what I said. Uh, Ryan. Uh, thanks for having me on, Gary. As always, great to see Ripa succeeding just like we knew he would, blowing it out of the water. 10,000 sign up. It's fucking awesome. Damn I want to see Ripa versus shit at Anime Matsuri, though. That's the next goal. Yeah. You got to get it ready. Get these people's ass in gear so we can see you selling Ripa versus shit yeah. at the booth at Anime Matsuri in Houston. Oh, yeah. Wait, I will bring my comic book spinner rack for you to put Ripa verse stuff on. Hell if you yeah. want, nice. Okay. Hell yeah. Yeah. Right Fuck over there, right. It's empty. I'll put it on there mm -hmm. for you. Hell yeah, yeah man. And, Hell yeah. and Honestly, listen, uh, Ripa has been doing this a long time, even though supposedly Jeremy built his channel. Uh, <laughs> like, so, so much so that, you know, I, I've emulated a lot of shit that I've tried to do, like between breaking videos out that I do on my stream into individual videos and stuff like that, because to see how, you know, successful Ripa's been at it. And one thing he also has that 
I don't think anybody else has is a massive Facebook presence. And so I decided to copy Ripa again and I started a Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. I have one person who's following me there so far. I just started it. So if you guys search RK Outpost on Facebook, you'll yeah. find my page because I figure, listen, I, I already have like an old white boomer racist audience. I figure I can really capitalize wow. on Facebook. That's where they are. Go check it out. No, don't, don't, because because uh, I, I made a Facebook as a joke too. And, and people followed, but then they got like demoralized. So, like we're not showing you ninety percent of your audience type of thing. That Facebook's very very cringe. I have three oh, yes. followers, so we're working on it. <laughs> three. Oh, there you go. I, I just. <clears throat> I mean, you can't get that kind of customer service anywhere else, but no. right here, Friday night That's tights right. with Ryan. Exactly, Ig. Ig's, it, well, the boys are exactly where we're at. But I'm gonna say, follow Ryan on Facebook. Ryan, you can just use, you can like rate my Facebook in terms of the fact that it is. I don't have a big one, but it like they just wrote me one day and were like, "By the way, we think you're a sexist homophobe," which I said, "Oh, thank you." And then they went, they went, um, "You can't show yourself to ninety percent of your audience. We're gonna like reduce your page." So I went from getting like you know a hundred thousand videos per like a hundred thousand views per video to like ten thousand on and Facebook. They just did, yeah, it's like overnight. They just yeah, said this is Mark Levin as well. Oh yeah, sounds about right. I get no yeah. traction over there. I've been on there for years. I have the same uh, well, same I, problem. Yeah, yeah. Like Geeks and Gamers has like I don't know ten ten thousand likes on there, and like I, we do, we get no traction. None. I don't, yeah, Fox, I don't know. Facebook, Dying, man. Platform. Young Rip is big account. everywhere though. Where it counts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not where it counts. That's right. Rip up for sure. Uh, yeah. I see a bunch of people. We're already up like two thousand percent on on likes and followers 2, over there. Thousand so percent. So you're up to like <laughs> yeah. uh, Maybe I'll start uh, using the Geeks and Gamers uh, uh, Facebook page. I mean, we use it, but I, it's just that we just upload articles and stuff from the site. That's what happens. Every time I have an idea, like I have an idea for a fucking second that Jeremy you stole take it off from and he Ripa. starts talking. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> then I do it and then you hop on top of it. Just like I started uploading TikToks mother, and all that shit and Jeremy's mother, like, let me okay, do first TikToks. First of all, I'm not fucking like, uploading them. Krista's uploading that. Krista and Stephanie are uploading my TikToks just like you ain't doing shit. No, yeah. doing I'm going to move us, you. our relationships well, yeah, yeah. together. Here we my go. Employee. Yeah, here we go. Okay, wait yeah. a minute. You guys can be together yeah. and I'll be together. No, 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 no. I've got, I've got a fucking Mexican woman working for me. <laughs> little sellouts to the CCP. I don't, I, I don't give a flip. I've said this multiple times. I don't give a fuck that the Chinese Communist Party like has access to TikTok or like can control my phone. I don't care if they want to watch me fucking jerk off in my bathroom <laughs> through my fucking front facing <laughs> webcam. Go for it, Chinese spy. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's true. It's what's yeah. in the. It's what's in the that matters. It's their goal. It. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. got a dick, but the transgender black midget porn is exactly what I'm worried about. And kind of it ain't about well, you everyone's seen a dick. Y'all have it. one, but what some shit you're looking at, man? I'll yeah. be trying ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> Ming Lao was like, "Oh, Ching Pao, oh, Ching Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit." You just Ryan. Ryan's, Ryan's dumbass moves to Orlando because of Geeks and Gamers. He's like, you better make this shit work. I fucking moved over. And now I make ideas. He's shaming for the ideas to try to grow the motherfucker. You see how he's he like says, I woman. make ideas. He can't, he can't, he can't. He's like a fucking woman. You can't make him happy. He's always <laughs> fucking Jeremy, Jeremy, I make Jeremy, ideas. Jeremy, I don't oh, mean no, to call you out, but did you just say stealing his me. idea that was stolen from Ripa was your idea? Coming yes. up with an idea? Yes. That's what I'm yes. saying. That's a Trumpian yeah, move. That's a Trumpian move. That's I love it is what it as is. As long as you can Some come under a minute, he's not a woman. I just wanted to get so clarification. I'm totally fine with it. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to get clarification. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, <laughs> <laughs> tell us more about your ideas. Plug some ideas. My ideas you is <laughs> you need to go support the Ripaverse. That's all I yeah. care about promoting right now, the Ripaverse. Yeah. It's all, uh, all all the promote. Like, oh, Jeremy just promotes one of his 200 channels support the Ripaverse. that's all i care about right now obviously we'll be live on you know main event ripa yep. me ryan um probably have a guest on we're, we're working on trying to get a guest rotation on that you know just like you know what we've done here and 
Uh, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm really excited. But if you do want to see Ripper get his ass beaten to on Sunday, Mario Kart, because he can get his <laughs> ass beaten. Yeah, yeah. Get fuck how many Monday, signups I'm he got. Feeling good. I, don't, I don't care how cool his edits good are. Going into Monday, oh, dog. He's going he's to come in there so high. Oh, he's going to be so he's going to be so excited for the rest. And I'm going to beat his ass down nah, and bring him I'm back to reality. Through, That's what's going to happen. I'm be on a and high Dan Vass, too. Monday. We'll beat Dan Vass's ass, too, with this man bun wearing ass. Fuck him, too. <laughs> hey, but support Ripper. I believe in Dan Vass. Appreciate that. Appreciate you're the that. only one. You're the only one. But uh, you and your whalbone, man. It is. Uh, it is great, man. I'm, uh, congrats, Ripa. I'm, I'm really happy that. for you, man. So, as, as as confident as Ripa is, and he's one of the most confident people you ever meet. You know, he tried to keep his expectations low because it's you know this is a big, massive project, and you guys have blown it out of the water, man. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, Ripa's dope as fuck. Honestly, like I've never been on this kind of a uh, platform with him, but. You know, I've had, I, I tend to only have people in studio on my show and just like hang out in the studio. Man, he's dope as fuck. We have to cut shit out. He says sometimes. <laughs> 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 that dope? We go on a five minute rant and you only saw two and a half minutes of it. Like, it's like, <laughs> the studio's like, nah, I can't put that in. But I'm like, that, but it's like, that's the shit that I learned from. And like, you got to follow him because it's, it's never bad shit. He's not nasty guy. He's not crazy. He's honest and he's true. And, you know, he's never trying to fuck you over. And he's transparency, like networks, media, everyone will try to silence him, but you can't silence truth. So as long as you can't silence truth, you can't silence Ripa. Hell That's yeah. true. Appreciate fuck that yeah. big time. Yeah, What's, man. Here you go. All right. Oh, yeah, hey, man. you hit 10,000. I was just retweeting you hitting 10,000. Yes. Yes. We hit 10,000. That's why I wasn't behind a computer where I could click my screen. So I was like, escaping earlier to go pee just like, I was like, I was like, hey, I'm like do i just like leave out the no. frame how just do i do this you just get up and leave <laughs> this is friday now. night diets we don't give a shit uh ripper is there anything you need to plug <laughs> yeah uh of course man like i said at the beginning man thank you guys so much for the support um we're reverse with us finally launching it and having the actual site um, with the you know you guys can get notified we have over ten thousand signups i appreciate you guys but i can't really wait till monday where you guys get to see what all we have in store what all you're going to be able to purchase the story everything will be revealed of course uh going into monday we just wanted to give everybody some time because we do have some limited edition items we'll be going live of course monday morning and of course those contacts will be the first to be notified uh certainly of it so um yeah reverse.com appreciate everybody here everybody here retweeted it and everything like i can't i can't say that enough um i mentioned it again it was gary that who who, who really was one of the creatives that are like look man you're gonna do in insane and you know yeah like jeremy said it's hard for me to i always try to keep myself tame to keep everything everything that i do tame and realistically realistic um, I'm a realist. I'm an optimist, but I'm also a realist. And I was like, you know, I got this amount of books and uh, yeah, it looks like we, we're going to do something special, which is a good problem to have uh, considering how much we have worked on this. So thank you guys so much for the support. Mm -hmm. We'll of course be streaming over the over the weekend and uh, Monday will be the big day uh, where everything can finally come out. And um, I'll be making my various rounds and talking about everything. So, again, thank everybody. Uh, Friday night, Tice crew, um, everybody in the chat that got signed up today uh between you know the beginning and end of the show so thank you guys so much for all the continued uh support and we're, and we're just getting started this is a real venture not a side project this is my main project so i i, I can't wait to give you guys uh uh some more material so thank you guys so much for the support of me it means a lot i said this on my stream earlier i'm not like i don't get teary-eyed that's not how i am but if this if there was a time and pun which that would happen it would be now considering how how much support you guys have already thrown behind it um and how much enthusiasm and optimism that you have so thank you guys so much man seriously hell yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, yeah. thank you for putting skin in the game and putting yeah, your money sure. where your mouth is man and i look forward to laughing at the future hit pieces <laughs> yeah yes. oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah god i yeah. hope to write a couple so we can make videos yeah i can't wait till, can't wait till the article comes that I went on a Nazi's podcast and I read. Oh, that, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's what. Elijah well, went on a Nazi's like, podcast. Friend like, with, he's friends with Elijah, who yeah. did this, 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 and that, and who also. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be opposite. It's gonna say, yeah. Hey. I'm on a Nazi's podcast. To make, you know, Elijah Shaver, who's known for making jokes, is on a Nazi's podcast. And I go, <laughs> what the fuck? And I look at him like Fuentes, and they go. July. No, no, no. But it's August, July. but it's August, and I go back. Oh, and, uh, and Eric in July. 
oh fuck, it's that black Nazi guy. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I just wanted to make comics. I didn't know comics were racist. Well, we're good no. now. now. Hey, the Tal <laughs> Taliban likes his comics. So yeah, cool. big fans. Yeah. Taliban yeah. now. We're Taliban. <laughs> Taliban. Uh, Elijah Schaefer, thanks for coming on the show. You're fucking hilarious. Did a great job. I appreciate there you, you uh, taking your time and staying for the whole show, man. So yeah. please plug your wares. <laughs> I definitely had my uh, my outs, but I'll figure it out next. Next time I'll have a proper backdrop. I just built the studio like a month ago, so I'm going to work on All it. Right. But here's the deal. Uh, if you uh, like dumb shit, you should go subscribe <laughs> at uh, Slightly Offensive on YouTube. It is a very – it's a channel that shouldn't exist. Like we've had the channel frozen like three times by YouTube in investigations that all turn out to be fake. We have slander. We lose advertisers on a regular – like it's like every year we lose about 75% of our advertisers and we get them all back through phone calls because we're real. And I talk to people and I'm like that fat, ugly shit over there. That's lying to you. He's just a bitch, but we bring it all back and we <laughs> can't been, stop it, autism. Exactly. Yeah. Can't stop autism. It's spreading one out of 30 and in media, it's one out of two, but, uh, <laughs> Um, but, but, uh, but it's, it's a great podcast. We have a, we do street videos. We have a lot of good stuff coming out too. Um, I'm doing a lot of, stuff planned in the works like it's a very independent show it's very a lot of fun and we've had to restart the show about four times so if you're into <laughs> a show that like has been crashed by the media i mean i, I like i still i'm not gonna get into this but like, i've been in hiding before <laughs> recently like i like people just like to talk shit and you know what let's fuck with these people let's just have fun and let's have a good time and they never win because we never give up and we can't give up because of you. And it's not because I'm cool, because clearly I'm not. And it's not because we have all these followers, because <clears throat> many of them leave. But, you know, we've got a couple million of you guys around different platforms. But most importantly, it's the couple thousand that stick around. And you're like, well, I'm not a couple million. I want to be one of a number. It's like, no, trust me. You can talk. You get in my Telegram. Get in my YouTube. We'll mm -hmm. talk. You want to be around? Some Super Chats will be around here. You can't because we're demonetized, but you can go in there and go to stream labs <laughs> and you can send stuff and we'll hang out. We're getting, re we're, they're remonetizing us. We didn't even get demonetized for a reason, by the way. I got demonetized for, for reporting on January 6th. They literally oh wrote that. Oh my God. Of demonetization of for a report. <sighs> it was for live reporting from a sensitive event. I got demonetized. They're going to give <clears throat> it back bullshit. to us. I know. I know. We didn't violate a single terms of service. We didn't do anything on the, on the platform. I got demonetized. We hadn't made a video in a week and I got demonetized for no reason. They give no effort. And we, we emailed them. They mm. said, Mm -mm. You're demonetized for reporting on January 6th. I have a license and a press badge to be doing that. I never went to jail. I never got prosecuted. We're fine. But that's why I need you guys to support us. It's slightly offensive. And make sure you support Nerdrotic. Make sure you support everyone on the show, and except for Quarter Black. And then also, <laughs> no, no, but, but support everyone on the show. And also remember that that's the key thing. They can't cancel us when you are us. Because us is plural. It's we. It's all of us. They can't stop you from finding the truth and from reaching out. So please, everybody here, follow them everywhere you can, as many platforms as you can, and the show, follow it too. Thank you to Neurotic. Thank you to to uh, to the – I'm not going to say – I'm going to use your name here, the DD Day Cobra. Where is that? I don't remember that being your name. DD Day, D -D -Day, D -D -Day Cobra. Okay, my gamer tag and okay. my okay. personal channel. So. I, was, I think so. And of course, to Ryan. Like Jer Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers is what everybody That's calls That's what I thought you were Jeremy, from the but I'm going, let's go DD yeah, Cobra. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not Jeremy from the quartering. Uh, no, no, not Jeremy from the quartering. <laughs> Eric, yeah. Eric, quarter black and comic and x-ray girl. Thank you. And please just continue to support because as much as we make jokes, you know, you might get fired for making these jokes. So could we, but we can't get fired because you're our employers. We love you. We serve you. We're servants and we appreciate you. We're not oh, entertainers. Yeah. We're not even producers. We're not content creators. We're servants and we serve you. So give us feedback. Continue to support us. We love you so much. Thank you. Hell yeah. Man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Wow. Hell yeah. Wow. Thank you, Eliza. And uh, I just want to mention uh, our boy Salty Cracker in front of twenty thousand plus. Just mentioned Ripaverse. He was talking about nice. it. Oh yeah! Yes. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. No, yes. Salty, shout so out salt. to Salty man. Salty's like, giving wow. some yeah, love. Man, fucking love him to death, man. So, like, Salty's such a fucking cool he is person, just dude. Fucking awesome, so. man. Like Fist that, that he's out. one of the most humble people. Like when I when I I talked to him about coming on FNT, and you know he's just like ah, it's just you know he don't do that. Yeah, and he did. He finally did come over here because Alex Jones was on here, and Alex Jones asked for him live, so I texted, and I'm like, That's "Bro, Alex me. Jones is asking right now for you." Yeah, <laughs> like what? But that was like <laughs> he was so like, 
you know, he's so humble. He's such a humble person, but he's a rock star. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right. His um, wife is fantastic too, by the she way. She is awesome. Mrs. Beautiful, Salty, lovely best. woman. And she yes. just advocates for him, lives in her best role as a woman. She's living her best life. Shout out to traditional couples like that. God yep. be with you. A lot of us have fucked up our lives in different ways. Thank God for people who haven't and who are. <laughs> so, I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, so. I just hit pretty close to home, you know. Uh, <laughs> chances, you know. Yeah, we're we're down with all that. <clears throat> Especially with the ladies oh, who are very very forgiving. Hey, um, so uh, yeah, for sure, Mrs. Nerdotic. Hello. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, the forgiving really? ones are the ones that are keepers. Um, the terminal list by Jack awesome. Carr. Okay, the show's fucking awesome. I just yes. downloaded it on uh on my Audible and I just saw that Ray Porter. Ray Porter does the Ray yes. Porter reads it. That's fucking yeah, awesome. Really? Yeah, yeah. Hey, we're yeah. we're gonna review it tomorrow. I'm gonna watch tonight with my wife and my, my dad who now lives with me, and we'll talk about it on my stream tomorrow night, eight o'clock. Make sure you tune on channel slightly offensive. But I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna give you my is it is it a series? Yeah, it's eight, it's it's series, eight episodes, yeah. they're okay. about an hour long we'll, each. So we'll maybe watch like not... two or three, but like okay. we'll give it we'll, we'll give a review from where we're at. We'll watch it over a couple of weeks because I have a family, so I got thirty eight thousand five hundred and ninety yes. rating. It's at five stars. Yeah, Where is it at? Netflix? Nice. Uh, this is on, Audible, Amazon, Pr on it, Amazon Prime. Amazon okay. Prime is uh, where okay. the series is at. And okay, cool. honestly, it is Chris Pratt's best acting performance ever. Like, I, 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 I like wow. Chris Pratt. I didn't think he had this in him. Like, Ryan it, told me that before format. I saw it. Ryan yeah. told me that before I saw it. He's so accurate. So man. accurate, man. I mean, it's man. like, again, I, I'm, not, I'm not going sacrilegious here, okay? It's not... It's not Denzel Washington, but it's like Denzel level emotion in that at times. Like he's that good in this series. I'm not bullshitting. Yeah. It's amazing. Chris Pratt is Brian, also not black. Yeah. Um, that is true. That is true. <laughs> and I'm not either, except for the waist down. But that's uh, another Chris story for Brian? another time. Wow. So, I have a uh, micro penis, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow on the screen. So uh, we're gonna wrap things up. Thanks everyone. Thanks to the mod Rodics. Thanks to everyone who left a super chat and donation. You uh, are the wind beneath our hot wings coming in hot so thank you, <laughs> love you. speaking of wings <laughs> wings of liberty uh feathers of liberty coffee geek grind coffee that's right that's right yeah geek grind coffee com commercial geek we can just play the commercial before we go right perfect yeah. yes no, yeah just want to make sure that got in there thanks thanks that's what she no said. i appreciate that ryan oh hey mm -hmm. uh i was gonna say something else i mean before i plug the rip reverse oh yeah um i released a video today uh, and uh, go check it out. It's about Lord of the Rings. My Thor Love and Thunder review will be out Sunday. I watch them all, uh, by the way. Oh, thanks, man. Every one of your reviews, I watch them. Come out like what? Every week or two? Yeah, I do a Literally. video about every five, seven, ten days. Depends. <laughs> <laughs> but, I follow them. Uh, well edited. I don't know who edits them, but they're very uh, good. Uh -huh. The man next to you. Uh, I guess to you. Oh, in that case, they're not that good. <laughs> and, wow. and, and Perry Chan. <laughs> the ones that are better are Perry. Perry Chan and Perry Chan. I got, like, seriously the best crew, even with Exudega. No, I'm just kidding. You're <laughs> awesome. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. So, yeah, but uh, most importantly, please support the Ripaverse. Yeah. Support yeah. it often, early and often. Yeah. And we are not done talking about it. I'm going to shill like a motherfucker for the Ripaverse because I just want them to succeed. Thank you. Damn straight. Uh, yeah. So Appreciate please do that. And uh, we'll be talking about it a lot more. I'll be talking about it on Real BBC on Tuesday. With uh, with as if he decides to show up, I don't know. <laughs> I know he's listening out there. I'm just giving you a hard time, motherfucker. Um, I love you so much. I love you so much. So thanks everyone, and I guess we will bid you adieu. We can fire up that geek grind Talk commercial you guys later. Bye. Bye. Mm. God damn, Gary, some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. Huzzah! Hey, we're back. That's so awkward we're here. No, oh, we've got See the. You
not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Dame, dame.